Hello everyone! My name is Chancellor, I am the Community Manager of Heavy Metal Machines and it's a pleasure to be here for the Grand Finals of the Metal League North America. So let me introduce my special guest today. How are you, Saramans? Welcome! Thank you, Chancellor. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm really excited to watch tonight, tonight's matches. Let's see what we'll get. Yeah, and it's very fun because, you know, we have this this dynamic with the Thursday's live stream. So now that Seth wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to come, so you were you yeah. had the, the the chance to to make it to the spotlights. Yeah, I uh, got a chance to be here. I hope I can contribute with some nice commentaries, perhaps some jokes on the way. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so if you like Saramans, share your love with uh, with him about him in the comments on Twitch hashtag I love Saramans. Let's see how many people we can. We can get okay. So we already have the quarterfinals between the eight playoff teams. Uh, we have already already our semifinals defined and a lot of surprise. So the Neo Knights, the winners of the European edition of the Metal League, and Road Kill, the winners of the South American edition, they didn't make into the quarter the semifinals. So we, this is a little bit a surprise for us, but actually the the teams who uh, who who, uh, who beat them actually they are very good teams. You know, Metal Faka and Metal Sect Assembly, they they showed some good skills during the championship, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm very shocked with the results so far. So we've already started this uh, Metal League now with many surprises and, well, I can... Okay, so let's let's see the brackets right now, Sanamans, because our team already uh, prepared. So, uh, Neo Knights, you can see on the top uh, left of her, from your screen, they lose, they lost the first match, they won the second, and on the third game, a 3 2 for Humerus, Humerus Faca. So, Humerus Faca advanced to the semifinals. And on the bottom left from your screen, Humerus Bala, two matches, 3 1, 3 0, won against Hachi Blue. So, we're gonna have a semifinal from Humerus. Humerus Faca against Humerus Bala. On the other side, MS Anarchist. So, I, I want to correct myself before I uh, uh, said that they were the assembly, but the Anarchist, they won against Roadkill. So, the first match, 3 0, the second, 3 2 for Roadkill, and the third, 3 0. So, when Anarchist picked first, they won. Uh, we can say easily or at least without uh, uh, suffering any scores. And the Metal Sector Assembly won the two matches by 3-0 against Hachi Red. So both Hachi are eliminated. The Road Q, the champion of the South America, is off and is out. And the Neo Nice, also the European uh, champion, is out as well. So one side, on the left side, Rumenus Fak against Rumenus Bala, the semi-final, and the other side, MSA against MSA, the anarchist against the assembly. So we're gonna have now the semi-final two, from, since they are the top seed of these brackets, the anarchists were uh, the seed number two, so we're gonna watch their semi-finals, and we know for sure that we're gonna have a third place game between a, a Humerus team against an M MSA team, and a grand final between a Humerus team and other MSA. So a lot of emotions coming to this night in heavy metal machines. I'm so excited. Yeah, we could see that Roadkill and Neon Knights, even though they went out, they put on a fight. So it was a three match game. And yeah. And, and one thing that is, uh, is interesting to notice is that uh, Neon Knights, they got the first seed overall, you know, they, they were the, the, the favorites for this, but yeah. the road queue, actually, they didn't play that much, and they lost one of their uh, starters, man. yes, and right now, they uh, since today, they were the, the seed number seven, so for them, the, the road could be some uh, trouble, yeah. yeah, because they, they, they were um, not in the the top four teams and they had to face the the anarchists but for neo knights they got they they had the advantage and it was expected that they could uh go uh and and win against the humerus faca but humerus faca surprise everyone yeah it's also important to notice that these teams are playing in the north american server so they all yeah. are facing like latency while they're playing and that's they have been practicing for a while now and um, 
Yeah. You know? and, and one thing important also to highlight against the Romero's against MSA crew uh, uh, matches that we're going to have is that we know for sure that the third place game will be one European team against the South American team and the grand finals will be one Brazilian team against another European team. So we know that North America is the middle term between the two communities and this uh, tournament is proving that the, on the youth mate uh, game we're gonna see one team representing one community and the other representing the other. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah, right? it's also interesting because these communities they have different ways of playing the game so they're gonna bring yes. like different compositions I'm really curious to see how they will perform and we'll see like the clash of these two meta games okay so can we see the stats of the the metal league so far we had the the um, uh, qualifiers divided into six stages. so here it is on the screen you can see the most picked heroes rampage with uh, 274 picks, uh, Killer J with 215 picks, and Stargazer with 200 picks. The top three uh, hero, uh, pilots on this tournament, on the on the qualifiers. We can see the average match duration. It's 10 minutes and 41 seconds. So it's uh, almost two and a half minutes above the average of the the other. Um, tournaments because since they are facing a uh, latency it could make the the match uh, dur uh, length uh, less less, lo longer, less longer yes. yes and the highest win rate composition is made by a black lotus a clunker a rampage and a stargazer 38 matches they won in 27 so 71.1 percent of we hate. And Chancellor, that's something we already expect because having Black Lotus as the most picked transporter, you would expect to see a Stargazer coming along because these two go along together very well. So, Yeah, you were right. So let's talk now about the metal partner, you know, because we are right now, I'm, I'm putting all my efforts during the, my work days at Hoplon, uh, recruiting right now people who have the interest to join our partners community. So we are offering a partnership program for streamers and YouTubers, for influencers in general, for content creators. And the objective is to help them to grow by promoting our game. So if you want to know more about the Metal Partners, just join our website. It's heavymetalmachines.com slash metal partners. Okay, I believe this is it. And we can start to talk about the the I, I didn't get him. Black Star is here with us, so the the old guys are behind the scenes. Uh, let's talk. Let's see now the wildfire spotlight that we just released. Go on. This is wildfire, the pyromaniac. There are those who seek to make the world a safer place. Others who just want to watch the world burn. Wildfire falls into the second category. Raised by the famous scientist Artificer, Wildfire learned how to work with machines from a young age. Then she decided to build a car and join the arenas of Metal City. Wildfire uses her great power of destruction to light up the arenas. Her flamethrower guarantees that the enemies get hit, being either close or far from the hot rod, her machine. Wildfire's passive weapon is called In Flames. Every time when she hits the enemies, they remain burning for a while, dealing with the pain from the fire. Wildfire's weapon one is the Flaming Spear. This is a long-range weapon. Wildfire shoots a fireball that can even destroy enemies who are fleeing from combat. Wildfire's weapon two is the Blast of Fire. It causes an explosion around the vehicle that keeps burning the enemies for a while. Wildfire's weapon three is the Volcanic Road. With the wheels ablaze, Wildfire is boosted forward, leaving a trace of fire on the floor that burns the enemies who drive over it. Finally, Wildfire's special weapon is Hellfire. Wildfire concentrates her power of fire literally and causes a massive explosion around the vehicle, obliterating the nearby enemies in flames. This was Wildfire's machine spotlight and she is already available in Heavy Metal Machines. Play now!
So if you want to play heavy metal machines, it's a free to play game. You can uh, download it on Steam right now and it's uh, available for everyone. And this is Wildfire, one of the most used uh, pilots for the beginning of a, a journey inside the game. So you can see on the link here, download right now is heavymetalmachines.com slash play. Okay, so Saramans, let's talk about the semifinal that we're gonna see, that we're gonna uh, broadcast right now. It's MSA Anarchists against MSA Assembly. So we have two MSA, they are part of the same organization and they uh, were able to classify themselves as number two and number three uh, teams from the qualifiers. Uh, do you have any favorite between them? Do you see one of them uh, as favorite with, uh, based on not, not your team, you know, like who is the best for, who you think yeah, is the best well, for this uh, contest? As we can see, uh, Metalsec Arnicus seem to focus more uh, on dropping the bomb, where uh, Metalsec Assembly seems to be more focused on damage. So okay, the, so in the in the screen you can see that MS Anarchis they are from Europe. Uh, they had 39 victories in 54 matches, so win rate of 72.2%. Uh, they got sixth, then third, second, fifth, first, and then third places in the qualifiers. Uh, Surgic is the captain. Wallon, bad time, winking to us, and no name. They are. This is our, this is the roster of them, their team. And Black Lotus, Clunker, Rampage, and Stargazer. They use the most used and the most uh, uh, victories composition of this tournament so far. Yes, and we can see here again Black Lotus and Stargazer, Stargazer being picked together and they bring in a clunker to secure like bomb drops and rampage which can do a lot of damage while also dropping the bomb. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good thing to gather the bomb, the uh, pass of the bomb, possession of the bomb, uh, be it through damage or dropping it. Okay, so now let's see the stats of the Metal Sect Assembly, the number third, number three on the uh, the third team on the qualifier. So the Metal Sect Assembly from Europe as well, 22 victories in 37 matches, a win rate of 59.5%. They got the first place on the first stage, then fifth, seventh, third, third and second. Uh, Scratch is the captain. We have Biakudark, Magenta View, Grilled Pain, and Devil Driver. Their most used composition has Black Lotus, Killer J, Wildfire, and Stargazer. So the both MSA use the Black Lotus with the Stargazer to transport the bomb. Yes, but Metalsec Assembly brings Wildfire and Killer J. Both do a lot of damage. Their dropping uh, pilot is um, Killer, Killer J. J yeah. Yes, but it's not as strong as in dropping the bomb as Anarchist. Okay, so I think the teams are getting ready for the draft, right, Hafalino? Hafalino is also behind the scenes here to uh, help us with the whole uh, structure of the Metal League. It's the third edition that we are doing here at Start Play, and it's a pleasure to be here one more time. So uh, we are about to see the draft for the first match between uh, Metal Sect Assembly, Metal Sect Anarchist, Surgic is the captain from the Anarchist, and Assembly has Scratch as their, um, their captain. Okay? Uh, okay, we, we don't have yet the draft, so we're gonna see another video because Blackstar is offering such good suggestions. Okay, so, yeah. Can So 
the that peacemaker model we're gonna see later because i know that you guys are excited to see that dragon and that two-headed ogre in game so this is the draft from um, msa anarchists and msa assembly so the team one is the anarchist and they banned killer j first the team two was assembly and they banned vulture so the first team to pick is the anarchist and they got rampage as their their first interceptors like interceptor like we already saw in their most used composition that they really like to play with rampage and rampage is the most used interceptor and pilot overall this uh, tournament yes yeah, so right now bomb dropping is a very important thing for them so i think we'll see them focus like maybe on a clunker killer j is banned so that bomb dropping <laughs> is out so we'll see how teams will uh favor their bomb dropping pilots yeah and now the assembly has the chance to pick two pilots in a row so probably they will do, do you think they will guarantee their black lotus and stargazer and take it away from the uh, the enemies like they, that, they both teams use this composition of transport and support maybe this will be their strategy yeah right? probably because we have seen black lotus and stargazer all throughout metal league na so this is like something they have to prioritize right now that's what i would do if i was in their place yeah, so uh, Clunker was the, the, the picket pilot, so they were trying to get away the Clunker from the Anarchist. The Anarchist used Clunker a lot, and now they are getting the Clunker for themselves. We can see that the Metro Sect Assembly used Clunker 16 times during the qualifiers, and they won 8 times with Clunker, so a 50%, a straight 50% win rate for the assembly. Yeah, probably one of the things that they're focusing here is taking the clunker away from Anarchist because Anarchist has played with clunker 32 times and they won 20 of those. That's 60% win rate when they have clunker. Okay, and the sec, oh my God, we're seeing a peacemaker here. So the assembly got two interceptors, clunker and peacemaker. The peacemaker, it was played just one time by metal sect assembly during the qualifiers so they were hidden their their they were hiding their uh, strategy with peacemaker and then on the playoffs they're finally showing to the rest of the world so peacemaker and clunker are coming for the metal sect assembly yeah honor kiss now will have to answer i think they will they will pick their pilot uh, their transporter and their support um, they might get Wind Rider if they like dropping the bomb so much because Wind Rider is also great at supporting while dropping the bomb and we'll see how they'll answer. Okay, so 30, 12 seconds on the screen. Let's say Little Monster. Oh my god, they were surprising us a lot yeah, today. Yeah, a lot of different pictures. So MSA Anarchist got the Little Monster and Little Monster were, was played 15 times and they won 13. So it's a huge win rate of 86% and Stargazer came as well. Oh, so yeah, you have both together. Uh, you usually see a Wind Rider going along with the Little Monster. So what they're doing here is probably prioritizing taking Stargazer away from metal sec assembly uh, because if they're gonna tick they're probably gonna pick black lotus and if stargazer was open for them that would be a very strong okay so now the metal sect assembly has one pick and then the anarchist has another and then finally the assac the assembly had the final has the final pick so probably I i'm seeing here that the, since the, the anarchists already picked uh, Little Monster, they will uh, use their last pick to pick Black Lotus, but they have to find a support on this. A Black Lotus, uh, you think? Yes, I think it, it'll be a Black Lotus on the last pick. Here they are going to probably pick one of the supports, or maybe they will try to transport with Photon and get another interceptor. Yeah, there might be some interesting picks, yet we still don't know what they're going to play okay, with. Okay, sir. That's okay, yeah. Okay, we Artifser. See, Artifser is a lot more played by the, the European team, so this is expected as well. Uh, but do you know one fun thing? The Metal Sect Assembly didn't play Artifser during the entire qualifiers. So, so far they have Clunker, Peacemaker and uh, Artifser and Peacemaker and Artifser combined. They have one match during the entire qualifier. This is a surprise for us and I'm eager to see how they will perform with this composition. So the Anarchist now got the wildfire, right? Yeah, so their only dropping pilot is Rampage. We'll see a lot of damage coming out of this team 
and they have Little Monster, which is a very tanky transporter. Uh, we'll see how uh, Metalsec assembly will defend against those interceptors. Okay, so now the last pick uh, belongs to the Metalsec assembly. They need a transporter, but maybe they will try to do something different since they are just being crazy today and doing a lot of yeah, different things. With the amount of damage that Honor Kiss has picked, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you picking a photo transporter or any different uh, transporter like that because... It yeah, would, it, the Black Lotus, right? It needs they, to take damage. Yeah, so. their favorite, their, their favorite uh, transporter. So, Team 1 is Metal Sect, Honor Kiss. They have Rampage, Little Monster, Stargazer and Wildfire. Three, two of their most used uh, pilots. And the other side team too is Metal Sect Assembly with Clunker, Peacemaker, Chiefster, and Black Lotus. They have just one of their most used pilots. The Bannon pilots were Vulture and Killer J. So the, the, I think the community is afraid of seeing a Vulture on the playoffs. And the Metal Sect Anarchist showed some respect to the Killer J from the opposite team. You know, Grill yeah. Pain plays very well with the Killer J. Yes, absolutely, Chancellor. And also Vulture progresses a lot, gets very strong at the end of the game, so you don't want that ticking time bomb going to the end of the match. Okay, perfect. So now they are going to the custom match lobby. I believe that the captains were already creating the custom uh, lobby while we are discussing the, 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 picks. the, yeah, the picks. And Blackstar is about to put in the screen, so we're going to have the first match of the day, Metal Section Archist, with the, the, there was, there was the... The second uh, seed overall against Metal Sect Assembly, the third seed overall, okay? So both teams from Europe playing at the North American server. If you want to compete and have Metal Machines and create your own team, you just have to join our Discord and talk to us. We're going to help you to find new people, to meet new people, to make some friends and to help you showing the... the, the 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 tournaments that we have in brazil we're having a lot of community uh, tournaments and university tournaments and for europe we are planning the same for the second uh, for for the next year so uh, get ready for what's coming uh, uh, there and, and if you know any organization or if you play um uh, any games, any esports in your university, you can also talk to us. We'll get in touch to maybe organize one of those championships. Okay, so I want to see if our community is uh, sending their love to Saramans in our comments. And I want to see which tie they like the most. If it was the, the mine, the pink one, or yours that is like a butterfly, right? Yeah. I, I really like your I'm style. I'm actually not sure how this is called. Oh, it's a bow tie, actually. It's, bow? it's called a bow, bow tie. Bow tie, okay. Yeah. I, I, I really like my version, so you guys can comment yeah, yeah, about you that. Yeah, absolutely lovely, chance. Oh, I love that color. Yeah, we, are, we are different than we are usually on the Thursday, you know? We are not using the, the sweater with the hat. Yeah, and we're, we're looking fancy. We are fancy. fancy. This, this, is a, this is a fancy night. This is an important date for our competitive scenario, so we are almost ready to show so two minutes yeah. okay two minutes so things are the things yeah we can already show the, the lobby i believe okay so we can see which which pilots they will okay. use so you can see that grill pain devil driver and magenta view for the metal sect assembly they are the red team on this lobby and we have wallon surgic bedtime and no name uh, on the blue side for the MSA, MSA Anarchist. So we're not gonna see Scratch or Grill Pain. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Grill Pain's there. We're not gonna see Scratch or Biakudarki on Team 1. I believe that Biakudarki plays very well with the Stargazer. So I, I, I believe that since they don't have the Stargazer right now, they might go with Scratch, the yeah, captain that... of the, the MSA Assembly. So let's see what's going on but we we can see that the the msa anarchists they decide to not use wanking toss on this first match we also have a, another special presence in this lobby right now chancellor which is t-bone we can see t-bone's picture yeah. so here is t-bone uh our russian community manager participating in this match yeah we can see it's bad time t-bone so msa against msa is gonna be an msa mess for you with a lot of fun action and have metal machines match. So the teams are ready. Let's go to the match. I believe they are 
starting right now at any second. So it's not be a Kudark that will play for the MSA assembly and it's not gonna be wanking toss the player, the starter player for the uh, MSA Anarchist. anarchists, right? So yeah, this is the Black Star saying his uh, encouragement words for both teams and at the same time we have the other semi-final between Humerus Bala and Humerus Faka. We're gonna talk more about them later after this first game. Okay, so with this composition, with these uh, players, uh, which one do you think is gonna have the advantage, the early advantage of this game? Who do you think is gonna have to uh, to adapt their strategy more during the match. Well, the team that has uh, Black Lotus as the transporter, they will start getting the bomb probably, and they will have to keep alive that Black Lotus alive mm -hmm. because Metal Sack Iron Kiss has a lot of damage, and if they hit all that damage, Lotus might not be able to keep up. So let's make uh, let's make a deal here. So we're not gonna use MSC anymore because my head is already hurting. So let's let's try assembly and anarchies, like you Perfect. said. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for 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 supporting me on this tough moment. Oh, so yeah. they are ready to go. Let's go to the match, guys. I know that they were. Uh, yeah, I'm really ready excited to, to watch. This. It's Champy, the ESL uh, staff that is. Uh, controlling the match, you know. So we have to say to Champy to start the match. Uh, the arena, remember, on the playoffs, the arena is the Metal God Arena, the most competitive arena that we have, and the most beloved by the community. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see how they will uh, face those droppers with the, this latency, you know, because I always struggle to to avoid them. Yes, Chancellor, that's true. You and me always when we play with latency is always a disaster, but our community has been playing with the, in that server for a while now. And the match is starting, Chancellor. Yes, it's starting. Remember that we are on season five of our Metal Pass. So right now it's the Rockaway Beach season. You can see the logo on your screen. Uh, now we are on the peak screen. The teams are selecting. Remember, they have to choose the machines that they got during the draft. So you can see the Anarchist in the left side, the blue team, and the Assembly on the right side, they are the red team. So Grill Pain will play with Peacemaker, Magenta View with the Black Lotus, Scratch with her Chiefster, and Devil Driver with the Clunker on the other side. Surgic will play Rampage, Bad Time will play Little Monster, uh, No Name will play Wildfire, and Walland will play with the Stargazer. Yes, uh, Chancellor, and we'll see for how long that Peacemaker will stay alive, <coughs> too. Uh, Metal Tech Anarchist will have to really think about who they're going to focus. And if you want to know what's the coming, what's coming for Heavy Metal Machines, what's the next season, the season 6 will be about medieval fantasy called Knights, Dragons, and the Two-Headed Ogre. So we already showed some spoilers, and we're going to show more. We're going to show the full video later, and... We, we are not reading the comments right now, but Sadamans will try to, to reconnect again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll try to fight technology and see if yes. I can get this thing to work. It's Sadamans against the technology. It's like Marshall from How Met Your Mother, you know, he's always facing the machines. But now it's Heavy Metal Machines, the name of this game, and we are uh, ready to see Anarchist against uh, Assembly, MSA against MSA. One MSA will play on the third, uh, third match game and the other MSA will play on the great finals of this championship. So we are seeing uh, on the top of your screen, we can see their ranks in the ranking mode, right? So uh, Surgic is, I believe, Silver 1, uh, Bad Time Silver 3. Uh, no Name is Silver 5 and Wallon Silver 2 on the bottom part of your screen. Group Pain I think is Silver 3. Uh, Devil Driver with Bronze 1. Uh, Magenta View is not ranked and Scratch with the bronze, the Silver 2. Chancellor, so now I want to update you that I have won the fight against technology and we're able to see the comments. Okay, the comments. Show who, which team are you supporting right now. Send in the comments, we're gonna check <coughs> who is the who has the the biggest cheers? Okay, so the match has started. The Black Lotus has the bomb for the first time in this match. So it's the anarchist, the, the assembly, right? With the the 
with the Black Lotus and I want to ask for the production to put the name of the... Yeah, thank you so much Black, Lo uh, Black Star, you, you understand me. So now Rampage got it, so it's the Surgic with the Black uh, the Stargazer's help and here comes the little monster but Saramans, we already saw that the Black Lotus didn't last that much so the Archivester was gone, the Black Lotus was gone and now it's time for the Honor Kids to carry the bomb. Yes, as expected, as we mentioned before, uh, Metal Sec uh, Assembly would have a hard time staying alive against Anarchists and they'll, we'll see how they'll get the bomb back because they have Clunker so they can drop the bomb from that little monster without having to kill her. Okay, so T-Bone and Biakudark, they're already talking about their, uh, which team they're supporting and they say that um, MSA will win. So yeah. yeah, I want you to know which one, okay? Yes, we have a hashtag problem going on, hashtag Chancellor, because problem. they are cheering for which team? Okay, Little Monster going to the first score and Black Lotus saved the day for the MSA team, for the MS Assembly now uh, reflecting the damage and oh my god, that goal was against their own score. 1-0 for the Anarchists. Yes, Assembly is having a hard time staying alive that Black Lotus was out. Okay, we are here. I, I, I think Black Star is trying to uh, repair the names issue. So yeah, we are uh, expecting to see the names. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let's see the comments. Biakudark is cheering and said yay. Yo, oh no, it's <laughs> Zeppi Keno saying yay. Say just aw. Okay, Oh. So yeah, let us know in the hashtags which team you're cheering for, but use Yay! hashtag assembly or hashtag anarchist. Okay, now we have the match again with the names, and we can see that who's carrying is the Black Lotus, reflecting some damage, trying to dodge the enemy's weapons, the rampage, and trying to find some space to advance through the uh, enemy's field. Uh, now Black Lotus one more time, the, the little monster is coming, uh, Black Lotus reflecting one more time, the Artifster is there but it's not re uh, repairing that much. Now Black Lotus almost dying and he's gone. So Devil Driver with the Clunker is, is sneaking away with the, the bomb but they, he has uh, been taken by the Rampage and now it's bad time with the little monster carrying the bomb for the MSA Anarchist. Yes, exactly, Chancellor, because if Anarchist chase or Tipster, then it's a Black Lotus that has no, m not much protection or healing, and if they focus Black Lotus, our Tipster has a hard time keeping it up because Lotus is a hard pilot to hit those skill shots. Yes, especially with the hitbox that our Tipster has with the weapon one. Exactly. So, bad time with the little monster trying to uh, jump over that Peacemaker, now with some patience here, the red team is getting back and the clunker tried to give some damage, to deal some damage and now he missed the hook so it's 8 seconds without the hook and the little monster will have like an easy life right now because this is the only pilot oh my god the hook again and then it's gone the devil driver is gone and here comes the little monster for the second score and oh my god that was too much emotion for me 2-0 for the Anarchists! And I think that Wildfire actually made the goal with Weapon 2. If I'm not mistaken, the explosion yes. might have pushed the bomb. So yeah, there are people cheering for uh, Assembly, like Biakudark, who is the 50 player from them. And some players are like T-Bone is cheering for Anarchists, I believe. So yeah, these are the teams you can see on top of your screen, the Assembly team. Uh, let's see who's going to pick this bomb. I believe that will be the... the the little the black lotus one more time but they have some hard times to pass the middle of their uh offense field of the of the the arena so yeah the, this black lotus is always uh being able to advance on this point but the archivester we can see the archivester is being very focused so the archivester is there with almost no life scratch is trying to survive black lotus is there magenta view playing black lotus and now scratch with black lotus trying you you see that um uh scratch almost got no life the most part of the time so magenta view with low life trying to survive trying to dodge all the weapons one more time low life 
The Chipster still has no low life scratch, he's trying to do something. Now finally hits the weapon one. This could be the first score for the assembly team. Now one more time reflecting the damage. Here comes the Rampage and now it's gonna be tough for this Black Lotus to survive. But here comes, oh my god, it's our Chipster helping and the score! 2-1 for the Anarchist, but Assembly has the first score of the day with a beautiful play from Scratch with the Archipster, being able to survive and to keep Black Lotus alive. Exactly, Scratch managed to stay alive because Archipster's best uh, help, uh, hope of staying alive is her uh, small hitbox and Scratch saved that uh, uh, special weapon to the last minute so Guaranteed bomb. Yeah, and Scratch is using the Metalophobia model from our Chiefster. And one spoiler for you guys, we're gonna have more heavy metal models for the Metalophobia. So Magenta View with the Black Lotus one more time with the bomb. The Metal Sect Assembly is going tr to try to tie this match. Right now it's 2-1 for their opponents. Bad time with... Oh my god, that was... That was uh, reckless from the, the, yeah. the Black Lotus point of that view. That little monster shredded back yes. Black Lotus. She, she tried to go towards the, the crusher of uh, Little Monster. It so now could be the last, the last uh, play of the match with Little Monster um, delivering. Because we noticed that it's very hard for the assembly team to take the bomb away from that Little Monster. Especially with a Stargazer. So it probably won't be using damage that they will take the bomb away. It's probably they have to use their clunker that is in trouble. Low life tr uh, clunker on the top of your screen. Now ready to use weapon 2 and the hook is missing. So 8 seconds for the little monster and now uh, the peacemaker respawn back to the arena. Bad time from the anarchist is waiting for his time to advance. So here comes the clunker. He has the, the, the hook one more time. He's trying to force little monster to... to uh, Oh my god, it's a score! Like I said, he was trying to force the little monster to jump, but that wasn't enough to prevent the Metal Sector Anarchist to score for the third time. 3-1 victory for the Anarchist for the second, the top two team from our qualifiers and the highest seed that we have right now playing Heavy Metal Machines. No name was the top damage, wall on the top hill, uh, bad time the top carrier and devil driver with the control. Okay, so now the Metal Sect Assembly will pick first and we're gonna see which strategy they will use to uh, tie this, this match, okay? Yes, Chancellor, let's see how they adapt after having lost the first match because that Black Lotus against all that damage with her tipster didn't work out very well. Uh, Bad Time was actually having a great performance with Little Monster as well. Uh, his weapon too, his jumps were right on, spot on. It was beautiful to watch. It was beautiful, yeah, you were right. So now I want to ask you which pilot should uh, MS an, uh, Assembly pick first during the, the, the draft because this is... This is going to be critical for them. Do you, do, do you think they will take the Rampage out uh, away from the, from yes. the Anarchist yeah. or they will use their bans to uh, ban Vulture one more time? They'll probably ban Vulture one more time because Anarchist has played with Vulture and Rampage would be a great pick to take away also from Anarchist. So that would be a good start for yeah, Assembly. And the uh, Anarchist with Vulture, they played 22 times and they won 19. So it's an 86% off yes. win rate. Yes. This is huge. So it's very important that they <coughs> ban that and the Rampage they can take and use it to their advantage because Rampage is a great pick because it deals a lot of damage while also being able to drop the bomb. Okay, so now Scratch is creating the draft and sending to Surgic, the captain of the Metal Sector Anarchist, and we are almost ready to show the draft on the screen, and that's it. So, uh, on the other side, do you know, uh, Rafalino, which, which team won in the Homero's contest? Do you have this information so far? So we don't have the, the results of the first game because it didn't end so far. So it's gonna be probably it's it's been a tough game. And if this match uh, uh, can be decided in two games for the Anarchists, we will watch the remaining match from yeah. the other semifinal. Let's see how quick the second match goes and if Assembly is able to respond and win that game. 
Okay, so if you are cheering for the anarchist, please comment hashtag anarchist in our Twitch. And if you are cheering for the assembly, hashtag assembly. And if you are cheering for ceremonies, you put hashtag chancellor is the best. Okay, <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, uh, Black Lotus against Little Monster. That, that, that was tough for the assembly to deal since that Little Monster is very strong very evasive and at the same time they had only clunker to drop that bomb since they they couldn't they wasn't make to they wasn't able to kill that little monster with so much healing coming from the stargazer yeah assembly actually needed to have stargazer mm -hmm. because their tipster actually had a hard time staying alive uh, against um, honor kiss yeah it, it was a tough match and from the point of views of the interceptor so we didn't have the killer j that was the 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 main uh, uh, strength from the the honor the assembly I'm sorry and grill pain didn't play with your uh, with his, his favorite, favorite pick favorite, yes. favorite pick yes what we can expect from this next uh, match from the second match well it worked for anarchists to ban killer J so I don't see why they would change their strategy it's actually on assembly now to think of something so we'll see but do you think they will pick rampage first do you see any of the assembly teams picking one of the of their their uh, enemies most used uh, pilot so far it could be an advantage to make anarchist weaker against the next match okay so we have in the assembly uh, we have the stats that they played 26 times with black lotus so far having 19 victories it's a 7-3 uh, percent win rate during the qualifier so we can see that they uh, usually play with black lotus and they were being so good with that and it was tough to not have stargazer so far so now they are uh, getting ready for the draft i believe and the stargazer from the assembly actually made a real impact so far we we noticed that without stargazer black lotus wasn't able to survive for um for time enough you know like black lotus always picked the bomb first but didn't yes. it wasn't able to uh held that bomb yes. for long all the rnks had to do was chaser tipster and then black lotus from assembly would have a hard time and this is a lot alive. of pressure on scratch right. who played their chiefs on that exactly. match exactly because stargazer has an easy time to get away from the damage and iron case had a lot of damage so they needed assembly needed and, and, and one thing that i want to bring the the attention of our public is how well the the little monster played like saving uh, their the jump jumps. the jumps for the right time if you have one uh, control machine on the other side and this machine is clunker you have to use the jump when clunker used the and hook. that's exactly what bad time did he saved those jumps for when clunker uh, used his weapon too so clunker was actually neutralized only by uh, little monster remember heavy metal machines is a free to play game four against four battle car moba it's available for free on steam you can download right now heavy metal machines.com slash play okay it's a very cool game and if you need anything any help from our community we are here to help you discord.gg slash heavy metal machines you can talk to me to Saramans, to t-bone and the other community managers like uh, no 62 no sd on turkey uh daylight. daylight on north america and this week we're gonna have a surprise for you guys you know we're gonna have new members joining the crew right so um, let's talk now more the, the, the tournament and how these stats they they interact with this match. So Rampage was the most picked machine at all, 274 uh, appearance during the qualifiers. Yeah, we see that both the most picked interceptor are really great at dealing damage while also dropping the bomb. So they're balanced in that way. So it's something the teams can have in case they need damage. They can switch to damage, but if they need the bomb dropped quick, then they can also use their, their pilots kids to do it and what do you think about that peacemaker that we saw because this is unusual for the assembly they didn't play peacemaker and they tried to take this shot during the playoffs in an important match it was unusual yeah to be... I, I was very surprised with that pick uh, especially because of our tips are also in the black lotus so mm -hmm. it was a lot of picks that i didn't really see connecting very well and we saw that the match ended very quickly so they will have to think of a new strategy. Okay, so Scratch and Surgic, the two captains of the MSA teams, they are uh, creating the draft. We can see right now, I believe, 
So yeah, on the screen we're seeing the first team to pick right now is uh, the assembly and they ban Vulture. So they are keep their strategy to take Vulture away from the anarchists. So now it's time to the anarchists to ban one of the pilots and I believe that that will be Killer J one more time, right? Yeah, it would make sense to to uh, have uh, Metal Sack Assembly. Oh, weekend. it's a Rampage. So they won't Ooh. play Rampage, but they don't want their enemy to play Rampage as well. So the most picked pilot during the entire qualifiers is out of this match. This means that MSA uh, Assembly could pick their Killer J yes. on the first pick. Do you think they will do that or they will try to keep and, and guarantee that Stargazer first? That's a good question. It's a good trade they will have to make. They might wait for Arnakis to make their picks before choosing which uh, transporter and support they will use, Chancellor. Yeah, and Stargazer was by far the most used uh, support during the qualifiers. 200 appearances with 127 victories, so it's a win rate of 63%. So it's a huge uh, performance of Stargazer during the qualifiers. And the second most used support was Wind Rider with 163. So very different that we saw in the in the uh, South, South America, America edition with Wind Rider uh, being dominate. So now Stargazer was the first pick from the Metal Sect Assembly. I believe that we're gonna see Biakudarki playing the, uh, her favorite role on this uh, semifinal and it's gonna be a great challenge for the Anarchists to deal with that uh, Stargazer because even though they got the Black Lotus first, they will have to deal with the Stargazer and possible a uh, uh, little monster together. Absolutely, Chancellor, and I'm very curious to see if Anarchist will respond with Wind Rider as support or if they will still favor or tipster uh, as their support. And yeah, right now the, the other Humeros teams are playing on the other semifinal. Remember, this tournament is on the North American server, so even though we have two Europeans on one bracket and two Brazilians teams on the other they have to play on the North American server so uh, Stargazer is the first pick from the MS assembly and now we have Clunker for the anarchists they use Clunker a lot during the qualifiers and let's see if the second pick will be Black Lotus I don't believe that we'll pick Black Lotus without the Stargazer I believe they will uh, will guarantee a little monster that is stronger without uh, with other exactly. support. Yes, Chancellor. With Little Monster, it's a lot easier to keep Little Monster alive with a different support because if they pick Little Monster, which they probably will, uh, our Tipster is has it's more easy for a Tipster to hit her weapon one and keep Little Monster alive or have Wind Rider in front of her also keeping her alive. Yeah, and let's see if the um, the assembly will follow their their strategy of picking Killer J because I'm I'm not sure if the anarchists will let the oh yeah there that was go. what yes. I was thinking so Killer J for the anarchists so assembly won't have the Killer J for the second straight game but they have their uh, Stargazer they probably will pick their Black, Black Lotus. Lotus and now it's time to see which interceptor they will have because I don't I, I'm not seeing them picking another support or two transporters so far so one of those picks must be an interceptor yes they had the chance to grab the duo like Stargazer and Black Lotus which we've seen a lot so it's their chance to do this and the interceptor they will go with we'll see because two of the greatest uh, droppers already picked so if you were uh, msa assembly would you pick little monster like to to leaving only black lotus for the enemy to play without the stargazer do you think this would be a viable uh it could make strategy? sense they could put honor kids in the situation that they were before so that could and that be was advantage. very hard you know scratch played very well with that archivster but it was a, a tough match for them Yes, and, and Bad Time had a great performance with Little Monster too. So yes, it's very dangerous. Okay, so that was uh, they, they just. I, I think they are listening to me and just <laughs> doing whatever I'm, I'm saying because now they got the Little Monster and they have to pick one uh, interceptor. I'm not seeing them picking Peacemaker one more time. I don't know. I don't feel like they they had the the. Yeah, Peacemaker didn't have a great performance, so it might be too risky because this is a game they have to win. Chancellor. Yeah. So do you think they will pick? 
a wildfire or another control machine like Wind Rider? I, I, I really don't know at this point which one will be. If we see a Wind Rider, they will be lacking damage, so I think we might see a wildfire for assembly here. And it's, um, do you see how powerful is the crowd, the crowd control machines on this game since Rampage? Uh, was one of the banned uh, pilots and we, we saw Metal Sect Anarchist getting Clunker and Killer J so the top three crowd control machines uh, were, away, were not available for the MSA assembly so it's gonna be tough for them okay Peacemaker yes, one more time they Peacemaker are gonna... deals a lot of damage that's very important and, and can cause some crowd control so let's see yes. if now with Stargazer on their team Peacemaker will be more effective right yes and Peacemaker is also very good to help Little Monster get to the bomb first because Peacemaker can use his weapon too to have the bomb thrown to Little Monster so that might give them an advantage too Okay, so Miss Full Screen is remember everyone on the chat to follow Heavy Metal Machines on Instagram. So remember, it's Instagram.com slash official Heavy Metal Machines. Okay, um, thank you so much, Miss Full Screen. So now, 14, 13 seconds on the screen for the Metal Sect Anarchist to pick their third machine of these. Uh, of these matches. The second match, the first one, has been won by, for, by the, the Anarchist. It's an Artificer chance. Artificer. So yeah, they will, they will pick their, their uh, transporter we, in the last pick since Little Monster was already taken. Maybe and Maybe we'll see a Nice Bringer here. I a think. Nice Bringer? Yeah, yeah. Could, could make some could. sense because Bad Time can play Ice Bringer very, exactly. very well. Bad Time is very a very good Ice Bringer player. And we already saw that Artificer and Black Lotus didn't perform well, so Anarchist might not try that because they know it's a hard combination. So the last pick for Metal Sect Assembly is coming right now, 20 seconds on the screen. Uh, I think they will have to pick an Interceptor and I believe that it will be Wildfire to maybe counter any... Yes, they're actually in a hard spot because they need some drop, so they but might they... be thinking about which drop, or the, because the only one we have left is Wind Rider, which is a support, and then they will be lacking damage. Yeah, do you know, do you think that Peacemaker would be able to uh, secure the whole damage that they need right now with... Okay, Wildfire. They, yes, they're going for the damage. They're going to kill, so, so I that, believe that... That, that's, that makes it even more possible that we see an Icebringer because Black Lotus would definitely have a hard time staying alive against a Peacemaker or Wildfire and an Artificer having to heal Black Lotus. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It's an Icebringer. So Team 1 on the left side of your screen, Stargazer, Little Monster, Peacemaker and Wildfire for the Metal Sect Assembly. Team 2, Clunker, Killer J, Artificer and Icebringer, they are the Metal Sect Anarchist. So we're going to the second match of the semi-final between uh, Metal Sect Anarchist and Metal Sect Assembly, the team number two and the team number three of our qualifiers. Remember, the European champion, uh, Neon Knights, they uh, are out of this, comp the, this competition. They lost their first quarterfinals and the South American championship champion, the Road Q, they lost as well. So we're going to see a new champion this night and we're going to see for sure an MSA against Rumeros on the finals and on the third place yes, because we'll one, one semi-final is Rumeros against Rumeros and the other is MSA against MSA. Exactly Chancellor and I'm excited to see in the match how this composition of transporter will work out um, I think a metal Sect assembly has an advantage here because they have Peacemaker, they will get to the bomb first, but RNKs have a lot of droppers, so yeah. we'll see if they'll be able to use Little Monster's jump effectively. That Little Monster must jump well yeah, on we'll this match. Yeah, we'll see a lot of this, jumps happening. This will, will be important because, you know, Little Monster can be very evasive, but the, the jump has a cooldown of 8 seconds, and it's just a matter of coordination between the interceptors to pick the time, the right time to use their Weapons. Yeah, and Anarchists will have to position themselves on the arena to avoid have Little Monster jump again and again on top of them because that resets Little Monster's uh, boost neutral, so that's very dangerous as well. They yes, can cover a long You distance. have to be patient with Little Monster if you are dealing with a lot of crowd control machines. If you're facing yes. a lot of damage, it's almost okay for you to go towards and try to score. But if you're dealing with a Killer J especially, it's hard for them to avoid. The, the weapon one can make a huge uh, Exactly, a, a especially huge in, that, in that long um, 
part of the arena with a lot the, with the droppers. Droppers, so, the, the straight line of droppers, yeah, right? Yeah, straight line, exactly. Thank you, Chancellor. And with a Killer J weapon one, little monster might be in danger. So it's a lot of uh, weapons that little monster will have to dodge with that jump. Okay, so thank you, Bia Kudarki, Neros, and the other people who are talking in our chat. Remember, you can chat, you can talk to us here, ask questions, and um, show your support for the team that you are cheering. So uh, I believe that the teams are already on the custom lobby, right? Uh, Black Lo uh, Black Star. I'm, I'm always uh, forgetting <laughs> Black his name. Star. Like, Black Star now became Is Black, Black Lotus. Star Black Lotus Could secret be, identity. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a secret, you know. But I, I, I'm not seeing. Uh, I, I didn't see Black Star any time at the same time that Black Lotus yeah, was. Yeah, me neither, Chancellor. We I, might have figured out who Black who Black Lotus is. This is a huge mystery coming to you on the North American Metal League Grand Final. So on the left part, left side of your screen, we have the MSA with Real Pain, Magenta View, Biaco Dark, and uh, now they have to, yeah, to... Uh, and by MSA, Chancellor means assembly, right? Assembly, because okay, assembly, the full sides. assembly team is on the red side, on the left side of your screen. So now we're waiting for the Anarchist that is Wallon, and let's see. The, you, you already saw that Biakudark came and took the place of Devil Driver. So we're not gonna see Devil Driver, we're gonna see Biakudark playing probably the Stargazer. So on the Anarchist side, we have Bad Time, Wallon, No Name, and Wanking Toss. So this time, we don't have the Surgic, the captain of the, the Anarchist. So this will be tough for them. They don't have their captain. I believe that their captain will be giving some instructions from their call, right? Yes, absolutely, Chancellor. And uh, they have Clunker and Killer J as their, their interceptors, right, Chancellor? Mm -hmm. And although they have played really well with their Clunker, uh, with a 60% uh, victory uh, rate, uh, Killer J, they have played four times. They won three of them, but th that's not a lot of matches with Killer J. Okay, so um, let's talk more about this. Uh, Metal League North America. So there's a $5,000 prize pool at stake. So uh, we have $2,000 for the winner, uh, uh, $1,500 and for the second place, and we know that one of those two teams will get. The MSA Assembly, they were the, the second place on the European Metal League. So they know how it is to be on the finals to compete for the great prize, and and they lost. So maybe they are they are uh, and, and they are losing right now. So I believe that there is a lot of pressure on them, but yeah. they they could be more focused since they were already on the spotlight fighting for the big big yeah, prize. I think they did very well the draft. I think we'll see a very different match now, mm -hmm. and we'll see how they actually apply it and how they perform with it. But I think Honor Kiss is in a tight spot. And remember, we just released a training mode. So if you want to play heavy metal machines, but you don't want to face uh, players right now, you can train in two different modes, the interceptor and support mode and the transporter mode. So you can have a different match with uh, modifiers for you with the bots with a different behavior and you can train your skills to be good to join a team and maybe the next metal league i'm gonna say your name uh here on the on the transmission the official transmission so we have on the left side the uh assembly the uh, anarchist with wallon bad time no name and wanking toss and on the right side grill pain magenta view be and scratch we are seeing Biakudark playing uh, Stargazer like we predicted, and we're seeing Bad Time playing Icebringer like we also predicted. Yes, we have seen Bad Time play Icebringer a lot of times. He does he does really well with uh, Icebringer. He's not facing a Clunker, so he doesn't have to worry about that because a Clunker is Icebringer's uh, worst nightmare, Chancellor. Okay, Bla Miss Full Screen said that probably one MSA team will won that will win yeah, this match. Yeah. I believe that Full she's screen, right. I think, I think she's absolutely right. That's okay. like a 100% uh, of being correct. Okay. The, the the can you see the the models of both teams? Which one is your favorite so far? Because I really love that Wanking Toss or Chiefsters Metallophobia model. Yeah, it's hard to pick between that one between Stargazers uh, model from season two. And Icebringer. And Icebringer, also, yeah. yeah. Because the Fafnir's treasure is amazing. Yes, those wings, when he uses his weapon three, they're beautiful. And there's more dragons coming to have metal machines. Oh, yes. Just right? So we're going to show more dragons after this semifinal. We're going to show the Metal Pass trailer with the 
new uh, Metal new Pass season, season Metal Pass is, season yes it's Knights Dragons and the two headed ogre so and it rise it arrives in, uh, in heavy metal machines this week this week on Wednesday you can download heavy metal machines for free and you can join our community also for free we are here to help you and maybe you can compete on the metal league next time so good luck to everyone said scratch the captain of the metal sect assembly the teams are ready to compete and finally the green light appears on the screen and let's see who's gonna take this let's bomb peacemaker. first peacemaker there you and go yeah he did his job oh my god two jumps in a row and we are seeing that little monster uh very sharp with the jump yeah already. that's a already very good recovery with assembly let's see if they can get to the end yeah i believe bia kudarki has played the match because she had some problems we saw that the stargazer didn't leave the the the, the, the grid yes so we are waiting for bia kudarki that probably had some technical issues to handle right now yes because without stargazer well you know it yeah will be, <laughs> it'll be tough for that little be monster very tough we don't especially if the bot took con uh, control over <laughs> yes, that, that stargazer exactly. you know so uh i want to see in the comments uh, in our chat which team do you think is going to win this match specifically after this draft yes yeah, so let us or assembly yeah, assembly let, let us, us see know. hashtag honor kiss or hashtag assembly for your favorite team and who you think is going to win okay so uh yeah they are back to the match and scratch has the bomb with the little monster like we said the stargazer is back with bia kudarki and one more time here comes the ice bringer beautiful job from scratch by jumping that weapon too ice bringer is really hard to counter you, you see that he's just still in the middle of the path waiting to the little monster to fall on his trap yes chancellor and icebringer has a whole different strategy when you play because it's a transporter it has a lot of control so icebringer can actually get the bomb back by himself just by dropping okay so now the chiefsters got the bomb back for uh her team and killer g has it but oh my god what a youth made by killer by peacemaker and uh the archiefster is gone now the killer j is gone and we have the assembly with three pilot missing three pilots so the clunker is the only uh pilot for the uh anarchist so now it's a full uh, quad quadra kill the tetra kill from the assembly and grill pain with the peacemaker pass the bomb to the little monster now maybe we can see a score coming from the metal sect assembly with scratch Carry Scratch is not uh, known by being the transporter of his team, but now he's uh, playing with Little Monster, and Little Monster is very patient, waiting for uh, his teammates to wipe up the the, the path. And yes. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. This for is a completely different match already, Chancellor. We see how the strategy worked very well. For the, the Killer J has the youth mate, so he's waiting for something. The the. Icebringer is trying to, oh my god, that was a combo on the wildfire, very strong. And the little monster has the whole patient of the world. Scratch is really, really, really waiting for uh, the right moment to advance on the arena. So it's gonna be a tough match, three against four on the score point of the anarchists. And they will wait for, oh my god, here comes the little monster. And finally, with the score 1-0 for the assembly. And what a jump, right? Yes, exactly, Chancellor. A lot of patience, it paid off. That's what assembly needs to do because they need to win this game. I think they, they've waited for the peacemaker to have his special weapon to use, right? Yes, yes. If you're waiting in front of the goal to defend and you see a peacemaker ultimate there, you are in trouble. Okay, so this is the second round of the second match of the second semi-final MSA against MSA Anarchist against Assembly uh, Scratch one more time with the little monster getting the bomb first with the help of the Peacemaker and now Stargazer is there to help him with the repair point so Scratch is going to the enemy's field and waiting for some uh, for some free way from, from some space the clunker is trying to to help his teams but it, it doesn't seem that it's working you know I I, I, I I didn't see the clunker uh hitting any hook so far yes chancellor and it's very impressive if you notice scratch performance he has to deal against a killer j a clunker and icebringer three of the enemy pilots 
are trying to drop the bomb and Scratch is having actually no trouble going through the droppers. Okay, so now Scratch one more time waiting for the first uh, for the first uh, stretch of the field. Scratch one more time with the bomb. Now he already passed that that the droppers and bad time try to get him with the Icebringer, but it's a tough match for the Icebringer so far. So our Chiefs are with the ultimate Scratch being pulled, and then uh, bad time with the Icebringer who have the chance to transport the bomb, but he's almost dying. And here comes the ultimate from Wildfire. Oh my God, that Icebringer is in trouble. He's almost dying, and our Chiefs here came to help him and now repair his life. Yeah. Also, so Clunker pulled them away. That, that was very good by uh, Clunker because uh, Bad Time needed some, some breathing space for his Icebringer to recover his health. And now the Metal Sect Assembly will have to will, will have to manage some way to get that bomb away from that Icebringer because it's very hard since he has that shields with the ice barriers with the on the front and on the back of his truck. So Icebringer now in the middle of the arena going for the first time for the Anarchist to the enemies side of the field. So Grill Pain trying to get some space. Uh, the Clunker got him. Uh, uh, Grill Pain almost dying with the, uh, the Peacemaker, but Grill Pain escaped and Icebringer is going. Now Grill Pain is dead. Wallon killed him, but uh, our Chiefster recovered the bomb and now it's a three against two for the Metal Sect assembly. Let's see if our, our Chiefster can survive for that long. And now a pass made to the Killer J. Uh, almost dying, our Chiefster is gone, the Clunker is gone, and Icebringer will come back. So the Metal Sect, uh, same, uh, Anarchist will have the time to, um, to use his Icebringer to, with a lot of patience to find a space in the enemy's field. Yes, and here Anarchists are going through what Assembly went in the last game, which is they have a lot of control, but they don't have the damage to take out the, the other team faster. So Assembly is doing a great job at cleaning up Anarchists so they, have, they can have possession of the bomb again. One more time, our Chiefs are with the ultimate trying to open some space for the Ice Ringer, but this is going to be tough for that our Chiefs are, since the Ice Ringer is showing a lot of patience here, and now he has the ultimate ready to use it any moment of the game and still no uh no uh, it's not advancing so now he used the ultimate throws only one pilot it was the the wildfire and one more time bad time trying to get some space to take away that uh peacemaker from his path so the match now becomes very very tough and it seems like they were uh with they were afraid of making like great moves, like uh, something risky. Yes, they're being very careful because it is a hard fight. But it's for... not the score point like we saw before, you know, it's different this time. The score point? Yeah, uh, we are almost close to the goal when honor, when Assembly had the chance with Little Monster. Yeah. But now they're doing the same thing, so the, but in the middle of the arena. Yes, that's true, yeah, and with a different transporter. But it's a hard fight for them because Honor Assembly actually has a lot of damage, so I don't see how they can win. Okay, this. now he goes and the Icebringer is still alive with the help of the Archiefster. He's going to the final straight line. Maybe this could be the tie for the Metal Sector Anarchist. They are losing by one, and but they are winning the, the they won the, the first match. So Anarchist with time, one more time, trying to get some space. Here goes the Icebringer, he's going to score, and the score! Weapon 2, and the Icebringer took the bomb for the Metal Sect Anarchist 2. 1-1, one, one, and the Anarchists now have two go they're two goals away from getting the, fi the final spot, right? And we know that Bad Time is a known Icebring play player because of that. He's really good at delivering the bomb with his weapon too. We've seen that actually as a spotlight um, uh, play from him in the last number. Yeah, and the captain of Hachi Blues, Two Blames, is also uh, making his comments here saying that uh, he said just bro so we, i'm not sure what he was, he meant with that but scratch with the bomb now the little monster has the chance to score and we saw that if metal sect assembly some some way lost that bomb on that point oh my god that just happened it exactly. was going to be very hard for them to get the bomb back to his team so now it seems that the momentum is all for the anarchist and the um, killer j has the bomb i thought that was the ice ringer do, do you think they were gonna try to uh, 
transport with that killer G? I don't think that's gonna last long, especially because Clunker definitely cannot stay alive for okay. too long against Wildfire and Peacemaker. Yeah, that was a pass, so now Icebringer is going to transport the bomb since he is the transporter. So, uh, one more time Icebringer on the same point that he was waiting before, and now I think he has the free time, because the free way, because they are just scared from that Peacemaker, and I believe that all efforts from the Honor Kids is going to kill that Peacemaker, so uh, that Stargazer should really keep that star that Peacemaker alive for a while. So here comes an ultimate from the Wildfire, a nice use of the weapon 1 from the, the Icebringer. I think that the Honor Kids now have the advantage of trying to score for the second time on this match and maybe being one go away from the finals. So bad time with a lot of good patience, do you see my, my joke here? And Icebringer trying to find a space, the, 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 the um, Peacemaker is not gone, so he's going to wait one more time. The Wildfire is pursuing that Archivster, you can see on the minimap that they are trying to pursue. The Archivster had survived, so now, oh my god, something happened and I believe that they are going to pause the game. So we're going back, they're going back to us. So, so far the Anarchist uh, found a way to... Uh, counter that composition that the assembly has made with the draft. What do you think that assembly must do right now to uh, find a way to to tie this match and, and a, win? A lot of the pressure is actually on uh, Little Monster because she cannot lose the bomb, but she's dealing with a lot of control from the other team, so that's very hard. And they have Icebringer, uh, Arnakes has Icebringer, which is uh, the transporter with the most HP, Chancellor, and Assembly made a choice of focusing on damage, and that's not the best way to get the bomb back from Icebringer. But what, what Arnakis did is they picked all the good interceptors at dropping, so, and then they could secure uh, Icebringer. So there is no way for Assembly really to drop the bomb except by killing uh, Icebringer. The, the Icebringer, and this, this seems like an impossible task for them because they are having a real a hard time trying yes. to face that, especially with an Archivster close and Archivster uh, hitting so many times the weapon yes. one since Icebringer is huge. a huge, yes, a huge, a huge hitbox. hitbox. It's a lot easier and they cannot, they have to focus on the interceptors and it's hard because that damage should be going to Icebringer. I believe that the, the bad time, the captain of the Metal Sector, not the captain, the Icebringer from the Metal Sector Anarchist, he's facing some technical issues and we're going back to the match in a sec. So let's see our chat. I think the guys are too quiet today. I want That's to see true. some action here. Do you want to ask some question for our public? We could think of like maybe a giveaway here, Chancellor. Let's think of a number and a very high number and maybe if they guess they very get some. Very high number? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so one number between... Or have them guess something. Them guess something. Okay, but uh, I, we don't have time for that because <laughs> we still have a match to uh, cast and now they're ready to go. So uh, let's see who's going to... Um, score it's one on one on this MSA contest and in the in the bracket it's one zero for the anarchist they won the first match they picked first and they won so now let's see bad time with the icebringer trying to score for the second time right yes so bad time with the bomb the peacemaker also showing some patience because uh, he knows that he is the the the, the target of the enemy yes. team. The clunker is trying to get him away from that path. The uh, wildfire is just uh, shooting some weapon one, but this is not enough for them. And so what's going on here is that Grill Pain, the Peacemaker, has to stay there in the middle because of his weapon three. In case Icebringer goes for the delivery, a Peacemaker has to be there to push him into the side and drop the bomb. So okay, so. Oh my god, Killer J with the, the ultimate from uh, uh, spinning around that, that uh, Peacemaker and now the Ice Ringer, but nice, nice little monster with the with Scratch saving the day for the, for the assembly. So the, the, day, the, the match is not gone yet, the, the 
The metal sector assembly is showing some uh, resistance. Resistance, resilience. yes, you, you're right. So it's not actually the, the metal sector is resisting like Stingray used to do. <laughs> oh my God, they lost the bomb again. Killer J got it. So we're gonna see another. Uh, the Anarchy is trying to score one more time. That little monster is gone. The Killer J is trying to go, but they're, they're trying to pass the bomb to Ice Bringer. And if I was uh, the assembly, I would be very close to the ice bringer now ice bringer with the bomb trying to move forward the peacemaker is there and the peacemaker did his job by taking the bomb away from that uh that um ice bringer and now the uh wildfire has the bomb and the stargazer is there to help so let's wait for the little monster to take that bomb for the assembly and now finally she did so now the metal sect assembly is going to have some space and some time to think about what is what's going uh what's not working and what they have to do in order to go to the enemy side so one more time that ice bringer with a good usage of weapon uh, two but little monster was able to pass the bomb now the youth mate from the wildfire trying to kill that archivester wildfire one more time passing the bomb to the little monster oh my god what just happened clanker with the bomb and using his youth mate clanker trying to pass the bomb uh, the peacemaker tried to kill the clanker but now the wildfire has the bomb and as it seems that this uh, change of possessions will end with the assembly getting getting the bomb for his little monster. Uh, Peacemaker using weapon, uh, uh, special weapon to open the space but uh, our chiefster has used the youth mate as well so it's a very hard match for both sides. Yes, you can see the pressure is a lot on Scratch because Scratch needs to hit those jumps to avoid control and also hit the, the other pilots to keep jumping so she can go back to the other side of the arena. Scratch with Little Monster, the public is saying that they were slipping because both teams are showing too much patience and they are not trying to uh, risk this time. So yeah, Miss Full Screen is asking me to sing Bon Jovi, maybe I will at some time, but right now I want to talk about that Little Monster with uh, Metal Sector Assembly trying to move to the center of the arena with Scratch. So finally, Metal Sector Assembly with the bomb and now going to the Anarchist side of the arena of the metal god arena one more time ice bringer trying to intercept with his control uh, scratch one more time able to uh, dodge that now he is turning making the turn uh, ice bringer is there and oh that was tough for that little monster uh clunker has the bomb now he's going to try to pass to the ice bringer and this is a pass and one more time we're gonna see an ice bringer trying to go to the other side so this match is tough and it's going to be hard for a metal sector assembly to get the bomb one more time yes chancellor and that's what's happening if scratch misses the jump and or gets hit by one of the controls he drops the bomb and then it's with the icy bringer again it's a hard time they have to get it back Okay, Ice Bringer one more time in a blaze of glory and living in a prayer trying to carry the bomb for the Metal Sect Anarchist. I know Miss Full Screen that you are very happy ever, anywhere you are. So, wherever you are. So, now, uh, bad time, one more time with the Ice Bringer. Now he's pulling the, the, other, um, the other enemies away so he's trying to get some space. The Stargazer is almost dead and the Ice Bringer has full life. The Peacemaker is there trying to open some space one more time and it seems that it's tough for them. The Killer J is gone so we're gonna see one player uh, away from the Anarchist. Now the usage Killer of the Anarchist special Anarchist weapon. Uh, oh my god, that was a wrong time to use the special weapon for the Clunker. But the Ice Bringer is going towards the enemy side and Peacemaker is there one more time to be the block that the metal sect assembly needs on that moment of the match. So one more time Ice Bringer trying to use weapon one, uh, holding that uh, ice barrier in the in the front of the car to avoid the, the damage coming from the wildfire. And now the peacemaker is almost gone. The clunker tried, but the peacemaker is there one more time. And we, we're seeing peacemaker and little monster trying to save uh, right in the front of the dropper line so they're not going to the go to wait for the the ice bringer there because they know that ice bringer is very strong 
when uh, we are when when he comes to the final turn, right? Yes, and you see, Stargazer is doing a great job keeping the Peacemaker alive because Peacemaker staying alive is what's keeping Bad Time from advancing with that Ice Bringer. Yeah, and I believe that they are not focused on getting the bomb away from that Ice Bringer, but actually uh, killing that uh, the whole team. So now. One more time, Peacemaker with the Weapon 3, saving the day, Grill Pain, what a terrific job for the assembly, and the Wildfire has the bomb, and now he's going to try, she's going to try to pass to the little monster. So, using the walls to pass the bomb, and Ice Ringer with the control, taking the bomb away from that little monster, and Peacemaker being a beast, not uh, just uh, a figure of speech, but literally, since it's true, three, dogs inside the, the tank, <laughs> so Peacemaker being a beast to save the bomb and Grill Pain is going to pass that bomb to the Little Monster. So Little Monster uh, was frozen but now full life one more time. I, I believe that the toughest, toughest uh, pilot to face for that Little Monster is actually Icebringer. Yes, Icebringer is very great at doing that and Bad Time excels at uh, playing at, with Icebringer. You see uh, Bad Time dropping the bomb from Little Monster several times. Little Monster can barely move out of her side of the arena. Scratch passing the bomb to, in order to not lose it. Now Scratch one more time with the bomb. They're trying to advance, but it's a very hard match and very tough match for the Metal Sect assembly so far. So now Little Monster with a little bit more conf uh, of confidence, uh, trying to jump towards all the enemies using the, the Weapon 3 to get some boost and advance more, but that Ice Bringer is being really uh, annoying for the little monster. And finally, the Ice Bringer got the bomb back to the Metal Sector Anarchist. 101 Metal Sector Anarchist against Metal Sector Assembly. This is Heavy Metal Machines uh, semi finals of the Metal League North American Edition, the third Metal League that we have in this year. The champion of the Europe the, from Europe. Uh, has gone the champion from uh, south america has gone so now we're gonna have a new champion on this tournament and maybe could be one of those two teams I'll, at least they are showing a lot of patience you know they they, they are showing some uh, skills by knowing that heavy metal machines must uh, uh, oh my god that peacemaker now trying to kill with oh i believe this is the first kill that i've seen of that ice bringer in a while, can we see the stats of the match? You see how many times did the Icebringer die? Three times in 17 minutes. That is huge. Yes, that's why we've seen a Clunker carry the bomb a few times because, yeah, Icebringer has been taken down sometimes. Okay, so Little Monster with the bomb, we can see, we're gonna probably see that the time possession of the bomb is gonna be huge for the Anarchists because they had the Icebringer really, really, really. Uh, waiting for the right moment to advance so far. So scratch with the bomb. It's one one on one on this match is a tie. And the people at uh, at home they are uh, asking me to sing now. Uh, BGs, man, come on! I want to see the result of this match. So uh, little monster with the bomb one more time. This is a, a, a tough part of the arena for that little monster to go. She's really spinning around and trying to find a space, but this is very hard for, for that little monster. <coughs> and now the Ice Ringer missed the weapon too, so little monster is gonna have a space, a window to advance. And now the clunk, the Killer J tried to use weapon two and little monster has an easy life. Oh my God, not, not so not easy so because easy. there comes the Ice Ringer and now the weapon, the special weapon from Peacemaker. Oh my God, how much damage. We are seeing little uh, wildfire is gone with weapon two, so Ice Ringer will take the bomb back to the metal sector under his control and trying to score one more time. What a match! What a long match! 17 minutes and counting on the second match of the semi-final between metal sector Archis and metal sect assembly. So our staff now is gonna check how was the other matches from the Homeros team, right? Because they were playing right now, and we have to know who has won the other, the, the other, uh, the other match. So that was the first match, 1-0. The the whole the whole uh, semifinal is done, right? So Humerus Bala has won 2-0, two, two wins for Humerus Bala. So Humerus Bala is on the finals. They got the third place on the South American uh, Metal League, and now they're going to the. Um, they're going to the finals of the North America. So, Romero Spaca for the third, 
the Homeros Faca for the third place game and Homeros Bala for the finals, one Homeros in each uh, match. Uh, the first match was 3-2 for Homeros Bala and the other 3-0 for Homeros Bala, so 2-0 uh, on the semi-final. Uh, Ice Bringer, now he has the special weapon ready to use at any time. Here goes the Ice Bringer, could be the second score. Here goes the Ice Bringer and the score! 2-1 for the Anarchist and they are one goal away from getting to the finals and face the uh, Humeros Bala. Yeah, if you pay attention to where uh, the Peacemaker was, Peacemaker was not waiting in his position, so Icebringer had a clear way to go to the goal. So, good job for Anarchist. Yeah, that was a nice round, like a group pain point. So, green light on the screen, let's see who's gonna take the bone first. I believe that Metal Sect Assembly one more time, but now they are facing some hard times and they have to keep this bomb with them, with their little monster, because um, th there is a tough match uh, for little monster to face so many crowd control machines, right? Yes, while Stargazer needs to keep that Peacemaker alive, it's a hard spot for Assembly to be in. If, if it was, if it was uh, Metal Sect Assembly, which pilot you, should you would concentrate your efforts to take it away first from that little monster? The it's Clunker, the Killer J, or the Icebringer? I would go with the Icebringer because Icebringer is doing a great job at dropping it from Little Monster. Most of the times the Little Monster lost the bomb was from Icebringer and also Icebringer cooldowns are very low. So it's hard for the Little Monster jumps to keep up with that low cooldown. But the Icebringer is, has a lot of AGP, HP, you know, health points. So it's going to be hard for them to take the Icebringer away first. I believe that they were focused on the, the Killer J since the Killer J is also very dangerous and this is why Icebringer is being so good like uh, they, the, the little monster is not facing the Killer J all the time because they are taking the Killer J away and only Icebringer is there to, to offer some threat, you know? Yes, you're right Chancellor and that's the biggest difficulty for Assembly right now because they don't have a, a lot of droppers Whoa! Another kill for Grill Pain with the Peacemaker so now the Metal Sect Assembly will have a chance to score and maybe tie this match one more time. Uh, the wrong pass now for... Oh my god, that Stargazer did just ride with that teleport, you know? Yes. That was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Scratch with the bomb, now he has two jumps. The jump from Weapon 2 and the jump from the Ultimate. I think you, you keep it from uh, using at any time, so he's gonna use on the right time when he has the chance to score and the Scratch is coming. He's trying to find a space, again, now making the turn. That's a good uh, good um, improvement yes. from his gameplay. And that's so exactly far. what Scratch has to do. You can see that every time the little monster uses the jump, uh, Scratch stops and waits for the cooldown to be back so he can okay. use the jump again. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, that Clunker got the bomb and he used the jump one more time, but that was not enough. The bomb is loose, but Ice Ringer got it. So now it's a Peacemaker and a Wildfire against that Ice Ringer. I think it's gonna be tough for them because uh, the Archivester is there one more time to help. And yeah, the Archivester just did it right. Now he repairing using the Youth Mate. That Ice Ringer was almost gone, but that Archivester played just perfect. Perfect, Chancellor. Uh, bad time with the Icebringer, uh, it seems that this round is gonna be longer uh, or at least the, as long as the other one because both teams want to make it right, the, the assembly team didn't, doesn't want to uh, lose since it could be the, the elimination, be out of the tournament. yes and uh, the anarchists they want to, to get this, this match done because they don't want to draft one more time and to play another match. You know? Yes, and basically Anarchy's job here is to get a Peacemaker out of the way so they can uh, keep going. But Metal Sack Assembly's uh, job is a lot harder. Yeah, and we, are, we can see that with that Ice Bringer. We noticed that that buff that we made to balance Ice Bringer uh, really made an impact, you know? Because um, before we had the Ice Bringer with a low. Uh, a low peak rate during the South American Metal League and now he is being the transporter who is making the difference for the Metal Sect Anarchist on the semi-final. So uh, Ice Ringer with low life trying to repair using weapon 3. Here comes the whole team from 
The MSA. There is no peacemaker. Yes, the, the peacemaker is out, but his, the peacemaker will respawn at any time. You can see the respawn mark on the ground. Now, Icebringer with low life. Archivester came to repair. One more time, Archivester now using the special weapon. And our chiefs are repairing the full life for that ice bringer. Where is peace? Let's see if ice bringer would may, was able to make it. And that uh, little monster jumping two times to get the bomb for the assembly team. So what a match we are seeing so far. Uh, scratch with the bomb. The clunker missed the hook. The scratch with stargazer's help trying to uh, move forward. The scratch one more time trying to get some space. The killer J is pursuing him. Uh, one more time scratch now he got some space our chipster is there but our chipster is not a good crowd control machine she's more about repairing so with scratch trying to get uh, his jump again with the cooldown now he has all the weapons available uh, but the um, the the youth mate scratch with a medium life i don't see if the stargazer is close to him but he has to oh, okay here comes the stargazer so scratch is repairing one more time and these rounds going to be tough so a pass from uh, uh little monster the archivester used the weapon the special weapon but peacemaker used it as well so this is going to be uh, dangerous for the peacemaker because that area has a lot of damage uh our chief uh, a stargazer with the bomb trying to pass and that wildfire is gone and now it's going to be a fight between transporters and Icebringer took the best uh, advantage of that situation and now, and now the Icebringer has the bomb for one more time for the Anarchist. Let's see the time of po bomb's possession of both teams. Uh, I think Blackstar you can press tab and you're gonna see the, the, the time of possession. You know it's 25 minutes of match and 12 minutes with Icebringer and that's 9 minutes with uh, Little Monster. Yes, we can, if you click on the other, on the other, yeah, there. So 43 minutes, 43 percent for the uh, assembly and 57 for the anarchist. So they're clearly having the advantage of taking the control of the bomb for the most part of the time. And even with the droppers that Icebringer could get the bomb again and the Killer J is passing right now for the Icebringer but yeah that, that doesn't seem uh, like a, uh, an open space to make a pass and here goes the Killer J no name with the bomb could be the score for the Anarchist and the score! Metal Sect Anarchist are on the finals against Humerus Mala from the North American Metal League good game well played that was very good game, very different from the first game we saw. There was a lot of strategy involved in that game with Icebringer's composition and crowd control, whereas Assembly tried to focus on damage and focusing on the little monster jumps, but that didn't work out, Chancellor. Yes, 26 minutes, almost 30 minutes of match. That was a tough match, you know. And I believe that the Metal Sect Assembly uh, was um, did a great job on the draft, but the Anarchists were amazing. Uh, trying to overcome the advantage of the opposite team and now they finally got the third goal. So 2-0 for the Anarchists, 2-0 for Romero's Bala. The both teams are going to face each other on the finals and now we're going to the third place game. Uh, it's going to be Romero's Faca against MSA Anarchist, okay? But first, let's watch the spotlight from Wildfire, That no, not spotlight, I'm sorry, the Metal Pass. You know, the medieval fantasy theme, uh, knights, dragons, and the two-headed ogre, we prepare some special material so you can watch that cool and it arrives motto. this week, Chancellor. This week on Wednesday. So, let's take a look.
Night's Dragons and the Two-Headed Ogre comes to Heavy Metal Machines on this Wednesday. We are too excited to hold. We, our excitement is always uh, flowing away from my body. I'm too, I'm too <laughs> happy. Uh, that Peacemaker uh, model is just perfect. I think it's my favorite so far. If you didn't see it yet, you can watch it on our live stream. It's actually on Twitch. You can check it out later and see what's coming on Wednesday. Okay, so now we're going to watch the Wildfire Spotlight one more time. So if you just join our live stream, this is Wildfire, one of the most used interceptors of heavy metal machines. If you want to play heavy metal machines, just join us right now and you can play with Wildfire. That is such a great pilot to start. Okay, so let's watch Wildfire and then we're gonna come back with the stats from Homero's Bala, I'm sorry, Homero's Faca and Metal Sect Assembly. Okay, uh, let's see. This is Wildfire, the pyromaniac. There are those who seek to make the world a safer place. Others who just wanna watch the world burn. Wildfire falls into the second category. Raised by the famous scientist Artificer, Wildfire learned how to work with machines from a young age. Then, she decided to build a car and join the arenas of Metal City. Wildfire uses her great power of destruction to light up the arenas. Her flamethrower guarantees that the enemies get hit, being either close or far from the hot rod, her machine. Wildfire's passive weapon is called In Flames. Every time when she hits the enemies, they remain burning for a while dealing with the pain from the fire. Wildfire's weapon one is the Flaming Spear. This is a long-range weapon. Wildfire shoots a fireball that can even destroy enemies who are fleeing from combat. Wildfire's weapon two is the Blast of Fire. It causes an explosion around the vehicle that keeps burning the enemies for a while. Wildfire's weapon three is the Volcanic Road. With the wheels ablaze, Wildfire is boosted forward, leaving a trace of fire on the floor that burns the enemies who drive over it. Finally, Wildfire's special weapon is Hellfire. Wildfire concentrates her power of fire literally and causes a massive explosion around the vehicle, obliterating the nearby enemies in flames. This was Wildfire's Machine Spotlight, and she is already available in Heavy Metal Machines. Play now! Play now! If I was you, I would play right now. Yeah, I'm so, actually just gonna go play right yeah, now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play I'm and gonna beat you, right you know? Now. This is something oh, that yeah, I'm very you good at. Yeah, you definitely need that chance. Okay, so let's watch, let's see the, the, let's check the results, the stats from Homero's Faca to see how they have uh, classified themselves into the playoffs so far. So the team five, uh, Homero's Faca is going to face the team three, Metal Sect Assembly for the third place game. So Homero's Faca is from Brazil. We have, uh, they played 55 matches and they won 26, so a win rate of 47.3%. They got the fifth place, fourth, third, sixth, seventh, and then fourth again during the stages. Their team is made by, is composed by Ishihara, Bonafai, Tiagodi, Galeroso, King Joke. The most used team composition was Little Monster, Killer J, Wildfire, and Wind Rider. And here is the Wind Rider we've been talking about, Chancellor, which is a lot more common in the South American teams. You have a good balance between damage and control in this team, and Little Monster is their pick. Yeah, and they use the Wind Rider. 35 times during 55 matches. So this is by far the most used support from that team. Okay, they uh, won against the Neon Knights 2-1, uh, right? That was a tough game, very surprising uh, for everyone. And they lost for Homero's Faca to 2-0. Um, the, the one match was 3-1, the other 3-0. So now they are on the third place game. The Metal Sect Assembly, they got, they won against the Hachi Red, right? And then they uh, lost to the other MSA by 2-0 as we just saw. So Metal Sect Assembly from Europe, tw 22 victories in 37 matches, uh, win rate of 59.5%, first, fifth, seventh, 
third, third, and second place during the stages. Scratch, Biakudark, Magenta View, Real Pain, Devil Driver. The most used team composition was uh, Black Lotus, Killer J, Wildfire, and Stargazer. So both teams has the Wildfire and the Killer J as their most used We already used have the Benz, Chancellor. Okay, the Benz. So, oh my God, this is huge. This you is know? huge. The, um, the MSA banned first the Wind Rider from the other team. And at the same time, the Humanus Faka banned the Stargazer. So they are not going to use their favorite support. Exactly. They have banned their each other's uh, signature support uh, pilots. So let's see how, how they will adapt to that. And one thing that is interesting is that the first time that we can see a Vulture inside the match but neither of those two teams are used to play Vulture because MSA didn't use one single time Vulture and the Romero's Faca used it only five times during the entire qualifiers. But four victories, yes, so they, they, they know how to play. Yeah, that's an 80% victory. But right now, I think the, the support that has gained a lot of uh, uh, value is their tipster. I think they have to prioritize <laughs> picking our tips right here if they want to keep their, their transporter alive. Chances. So the MSA got Rampage for So Rampage was one of the interceptors that they have the biggest win rate. They played 14 times and they won 10. So now Romero's Faka with our Chiefster and Little Monster. So they want to carry that bomb. They're leaving a Full Metal Judge or Black Lotus for the opposite team to carry it. And the Black Lotus didn't ha doesn't have a Stargazer to match. So it's going to be a tough match for Assembly if they want to transport with that Lotus. Yep. So maybe they will try a different strategy since they don't, don't have uh, their favorite support. Yeah, so uh, now they have to actually pick Ice Springer, I think, if they want to have a good chance of keeping that transporter alive because there's not many options to heal a transporter with Artifs are being picked. Uh, the, the MSA didn't play Ice Springer so far, so I'm curious who's gonna pick Ice Springer. Like, yeah, can MSA play with Ice Springer? I, I, I really, I'm not sure about that because they. They, um, even though they can play different roles, it's kind of hard to play a good Icebringer without, yes. uh, without knowing it. That's true, but their Black Lotus, if they p pick Black Lotus, that will have to be a very sharp Black Lotus to stay alive. So if uh, Faka focuses on damage, heavy damage, that then assembly is in trouble. Okay, to counter that little monster, they pick the Clunker. So they have Rampage and Clunker. There are two machines with uh, crowd control. And this is going to be tough for the little monster, maybe because they, they already felt how hard it is to be a little monster without uh, uh, trying to face a lot of uh, control. And it's hard for them if, the, if they didn't have any, any crowd control machine. Um, one thing that I want to see is the public, is the guys on the chat. So the boys and girls, you just can type which team are you cheering for? So it's hashtag Humerus or hashtag MSA. Now it's not, uh, they, they, they have to pick one of those. And I want to see how big is the engagement from the South American community and how big is the engagement from the European community. So, yeah. so it's Europe against South America in the North America third place game. And we're gonna have the same thing during the finals. So it's gonna be awesome to see. Um, and assembly focusing on a lot of drops, Chancellor. We have three interceptors picked by assembly. Are they going like full uh, interceptor team, maybe? I really don't know, but it seems like they will maybe try to transport with Photon. What do you think that about that? That could actually be a good idea. They would. They need more damage, though. If they want to use full uh, interceptor team, they will definitely need more damage. Then that Artificer and Little Monster are going to have a bad time. Yeah, and now the Wildfire uh, was picked by the Homeros Faka. So Homeros Faka now with Wildfire, Little Monster, and Artificer. Uh, only Artificer is not one of their... It was not their support. Their support was Wind Rider and it was Bennett. So uh, Little Monster and Wildfire, that was their most used uh, transporter and one of their most used uh, interceptors are gone, right? Yes, and for MSA they have their Killer J, which they weren't really able to use very well in the last matches. And Clunker, with them it, has, it was 16 picks 
eight victories, so that's a 50% victory win rate uh, with Clunker 4 assembly. So this is the third place gain, uh, Neto Row just asked in the chat, and the Lava Mites just uh, said that he was beaten by the MSA, so he's cheering for them. So that was a, a good... That's um, a good sportsmanship. Sportsman. Yes, yeah. that was amazing from Lava. Lava, I believe that is from North America. So this is the North American Championship. Oh, and then the Black Lotus. So this is going to be hard. They have three different interceptors and one Black Lotus. And that is going to be tough for that yes. Black Lotus to stay alive. Especially playing against Wildfire and Stingray, which are Assembly's uh, picks. So no, I mean, Fakas. Fakas, yeah. So now Wildfire, Stingray, Little Monster and Archifter. I believe that uh, Stingray will be played by Joke. So uh, Ishihara will play Little Monster, I believe, and uh, Bonafai with their Archifter. I, I don't know. This, this will be a, a tough match for both teams. Yeah. But I'm, I'm excited to see who's going to win. So Romero's against MSA, uh, South America against Europe. And this is the third place game. This is the game one from this, the match one from this game. So I believe that the teams are already joining the, the lobby, the custom game lobby. Uh, they are almost ready to play. And it's going to be fun to have you for more, uh, at least four matches during the third place game and the finals. Could be six. Yeah, right? yeah. Depends on their performance and if they will respond well. Let's see how the strategy plays. And I'm excited, Chancellor. I'm excited to see these matches. Yeah, and Sawyer is saying that Vulture didn't appear on the playoffs, and when uh, he appears, uh, when he appeared, uh, he had lost. So, so maybe it's not a good pick here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there, there's something about that, especially with this latency. We know that this latency could be hard. You know? Yes, when you're playing Vulture, you have to hit those blades to get the stacks and get your target out. And hello, Daylight. Hello to you. Uh, Daylight just joined our chat and said that we look like we are... Um, gentlemen. Yes, gentlemen. The dapper looking gents. So I, I'm feeling good on this. Yes. You know, yes. we are like our fancy edition, our fancy, our heavy metal model. You know, yeah, we could, we can could have... hold like a special live stream where we dress really well, you know? Yes, yeah, so this, this is my heavy metal model and I have different effects, you know? And you're seeing that and you can't even smell my perfume from there. Yes, that's a very good perfume, <laughs> side of mine. So, yeah, the, the, this is one of the, the, the unique abilities of this model. So, uh, are the teams ready, Blackstar? Can we put the screen? Okay, they're not ready yet. So let's talk more about the championship so far. We had the Rampage being the most picked pilot, but let's let's check the most picked pilot by uh, by role. So uh, transporter, we had the Black Lotus, then Little Monster, then Full Metal Judge, and Icebringer. So Icebringer was the uh, less used uh, transporter, but he had won on this yes, match. Yes, last match we see Icebringer was one of the most important uh, pilots in the arena because of his impact, his uh, amount of HP and ability to drop the bomb. <laughs> uh, and in good hands, Icebringer can, can be very effective. So, supports, Stargazer, Wind Rider, Archiefster, Photon and Metal Herald. So, Metal Herald was the last used, the least used pilot uh, for support. On the interceptors, we have Rampage, Killer J, Wildfire, Clunker, Vulture, Peacemaker, Stingray, and Dirt Devil. So Vulture and Peacemaker, even though they are very strong, they were not on the top four of the interceptors. They are the number six and seven, I'm sorry, the number five and six from our list of interceptors. So Bia Kudart just said some naughty things about you, Saramans. <laughs> she said that she wants to smell you too, so... Um, Let's see, it's one play. I'm glad, I'm glad they can't see me right now because <coughs> my face is probably turning red, Chancellor. Turning red, okay. So Blackstar is there, Champ is there. Uh, we have to, Scratch have to, uh, has to put Champ on the spectator. And we have uh, uh, um, Grill Pain, Magenta View, and Scratch for the MSA team. Ishihara, Bonafide, Lenfoy, and King Joke. For the I think there's a lot of pressure on Magenta right now, Chancellor, because Magenta will probably be playing Black Lotus and that he needs to stay alive. Let's see how he uses his Karma against uh, Stingray and Wildfire. They have to be very well timed. Okay, so um, 
let's just wait for i believe that it's a problem with the last pilot right the last player last player yeah so they are or just... we might have someone from esl actually playing this match chance oh tour. my Can god you that, imagine? Would, that would be awesome yeah so guys i want you to see one more time are you cheering for uh homeros faca. homeros faca or msa assembly so this is like the 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 dynasty contest between homeros and msas right yeah the, this whole uh, playoff has been made by them actually which was a great surprise because we saw roadkill uh, and neo knights the two champions of the past metal leagues being taken out in the first uh, quarters of the the playoffs okay so yeah the 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 guys are cheering for the brazil so far so uh, I'm, i'm just seeing a lot of brazilian players here i'm not seeing the europeans so where are you guys from europe yeah Where are you, T-Bone? I want to see you, T-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I so... Wonder, I wonder who Daylight is cheering for. You know, Daylight is kind of hosting this Metal League and he has uh, visitors from Europe and South America, Chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, hashtag, hashtag. Good oh, hashtag. Yeah. Yeah, T-Bone. So, T-Bone is not picking any sides. Okay. Okay, they were waiting for Biakudark. So Biakudark, it seems that we're trying to smell Saramans from France, but <laughs> she wasn't able to do it. So now she's going back she's to the going computer. Going back to the game. Yes. I'm sorry, my perfume the distracted Biakudark apparently. Two people to keep an eye on. Bonafai in qualifiers over oh, the no, past few weeks. Oh no, Devil Driver actually they're waiting for. No, it's Biakudark. No, it's Devil Driver. Or Devil Driver, yes. Biakudark just said that. Okay, got it. <laughs> so Daylight said that two people to keep an eye on. Bonafai in qualifiers over the past few weeks, he has silently performed well and helped Romero's Faca to get to where they are. On the other side, Scratch is a solid competitor. So very good analysis from Daylight, our North American community manager. If you have a team in North America or want to join Heavy Metal Machines, just talk to Daylight. He's the guy for it. So he's trying oh he's cheering for msa oh okay okay so these are the brackets you can see neo knights uh got um taken out yeah taken taken out from the homeros faca three one three one three two uh homeros bala three one three zero against hatch blow homeros faca against homeros bala homeros bala won by three two and three zero And now we're seeing Homeros Faca on the third place game. On the other side, Anarchist 3-0, 3-0, 3-2, and 3-0 against Roadkill. So Anarchist passed. And Assembly 3-0, 3-0 against Hacho Red. So Anarchist against Assembly. Two games, 3-1. Anarchist went to the finals and Assembly on the third place game against Homeros Faca. Chancellor, let's make one thing clear. Uh, Daylight saying he's not cheering for MSA. That's Daylight's guess of who's gonna be the winner of this match. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, we're waiting for Devil Driver, but I believe that if they, if this player wants, uh, will not be able to join the match soon, they will have to play with Biakudark because we cannot wait for more than 10 minutes, right? This is the rules. So, um, oh Devil my God. Devil Driver Rick. might be busy driving on a highway to hell, Chancellor. A highway to hell? Yeah, Devil Driver, you know. Yeah, this is a good name for a, a person who is driving in a highway to hell. I would love it. Highway to hell, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you know how to sing this song since Miss Fusquing wants to To sing our song, to hear sing I would need listen uh, our songs. I would need to be in a very different context, but I actually was singing that song with my best ACDC voice I can make. Okay. In the I don't know, like two weeks ago. Just. Two weeks ago, uh, Biaco Dark said that you ha uh, have you ever seen me playing somewhere something else than support? So yeah, it's going to be fun to watch Biaco Dark. Every day it's a new day for facing new challenges. So. Yeah, we're gonna give two minutes oh, for Devil, Devil Driver. Driver arrived. Okay, now, yeah, the problem is solved finally. So let's finally watch the first match of the uh, third place game, right? Yep. And let's see. Well, 
uh, I don't know if you want to talk about composition maybe, Chancellor, because the assembly has got three interceptors and a Black Lotus. It's a clunker, it's a rampage, and I actually forgot the other pick, but uh, Black Lotus will have a hard time. Killer J. Killer J. Thank you, Chancellor. No, a, ra a Rampage, a Clunker, and a Killer G, yes, that, that's right. And Magenta with the, the Black Lotus will need to stay alive because they will be facing Artificer, Little Monster, Stingray, and Wildfire from Homero's Faka. Okay, so we are, we are on, the, on the pick screen right now. So, um, yeah, I think you, you lost Chancellor your water. Chancellor just stole my water, I just I stole, noticed that. Yeah, it's, it's probably what happened. I, I think you... you you took the water to there, you know. Okay. But it's okay. My fault. Homero's Faka, the blue team on the left side. Uh, MSA Assembly, the red team on the right side. So it's a Killer J, a Black Lotus, a Rampage, and a Clunker for them. Devil Driver will probably pick the Clunker. Scratch with the Rampage. Grill Pain with his favorite pick, the Killer J. And Magenta Ville with the Black Lotus. The Homero's Faka with Ishihara. Playing uh, Little Monster, Bonafai with the Archivester, Lamfoy or Lamfair. What do you think it's better to Lamfair? I have no idea, Chancellor. Okay, but uh, we have always used Lamfoy. Lamfoy. Yeah, it's the hell in French, I believe. Or not. So, yeah, so we have yeah. a lot of like. Please, uh, Biakurak, help driver. me out. It's, it's, yeah. It, yeah. it's French. We're doing our best with French. And you cannot see our mouse, but we are doing like duck faces. Thing. And King Joke, like I predicted with the Stingray. And now, uh, warmly welcome to our dear friend Def that just joined our Twitch transmission. So, hello, Def. We are here and we are fancy. We're using our heavy metal models for the real life. <laughs> uh, too bad our, our abilities don't get a new new effects too, right, Chancellor? Yeah. But I get a perfume. Oh, you got a perfume. Or a cologne, yes. actually. But I with say. this, but with this heavy metal model, I can definitely sing Bon Jovi better. Deathly? You know? <laughs> is yeah. that is that death way of saying definitely? Yes, L'Enfoir is hell in French. But is it L'Enfoir or is L'Enfer? You know. We really don't know. But yeah, we would we would have to ask him, Chancellor. Yes, but no, the that. French guys, they are the best people to ask. No, but it, it, it's who wrote the name, you know? If oh, you wrote okay. something, but it's you. If it's the hell, you know? <laughs> and Devil Dri if Devil Driver drives into a highway to Lymphoir, that's going to be, Ooh. yeah, that's going to be a, like a blow mining. Okay. Um, we got a good luck and have fun from scratch to to Humatus Faka in the game. Lamfair, okay, it's Lamfair. Uh, okay, he likes said that it's Lamfua, so I really don't know <laughs> who believes. I believe in Biakudart. So Magenta View with the Black Lotus. Getting the bomb for the first time for the MSA on the third place game. MSA against Humerus Faka. Uh, Europe against South America. This is going to be fun. And we're going to see it on the third place game and on the finals. So Magenta View with the Black Lotus trying to find some space. The, uh, the Humerus Faka is there. King Joke just killed the Clunker. So these Black Lotus will have a tough day tonight because they don't have any support. It's going to be tough. And here comes Ishihara dealing a lot of damage and uh, Scratch just made uh, a killing for against uh, the Homeros Faka with the Rampage. He killed the transporter of their the, the enemy team. So now it's a trial of a pass. Grill Pain got the bomb and Grill Pain with the Killer J. He's very used to this pilot. He's almost dead. Uh, he's almost dead. The, the Black Lotus got the bomb again. So now it's going to be a 4 against 4 once the Clunker joins the match once again. Ishihara with the little monster skipped the, um, the ultimate from uh, the Rampage. Rampage is really being uh, a pain in their asses and then the Clunker missed the hook. Magenta View with the Black Lotus, this could be a score and it is a score. 1-0 for the MSA and it seems that the Europeans had the whole advantage. Even though they don't have a support, they have a Scratch playing his favorite pilot and they have Grill Pain playing his favorite pilot as well intercepting the bomb. Yes, they have the advantage. If, if Magenta uh, performs well with Black Lotus, they're the first ones to the bomb always. And if they're able to stay alive and keep that Black Lotus alive, then they really can make it very quick to the goal. So, Humerus Faka needs to respond and that Wildfire and Stingray need <coughs> to clean up the other team because 
uh, assembly cannot heal. They have no heal in their kit. And Black Lotus with not great life and almost repairing using the weapon 2, the Karma to reflect. Now Black Lotus with low life, here comes the uh, kill, but I don't know how Black Lotus is still alive. And then finally, finally Romero's Faka got the bomb for the first time in this match with a decent advantage and the Rampage is almost dead, but Ichihara is trying to escape, the Rampage will rebuild. And now we can go back to the little monster, nice usage of the free camera, Black Star, congratulations. And Ichihara with the little monster trying to open a space and this is gonna be tough for Romero's Faka since there, there are three different uh, uh, interceptors on the other side and now um, King Ooh. Joke missed the, the ultimate but killed the, the scratch and now he's going to pass yeah. to the Black Lotus and this is going to be tough. Unfortunately you cannot take out the blockers <laughs> yet Chancellor with the Stingray ultimate. It's very strong but not that strong. Yeah so now Black Lotus re re uh, repairing his own life with the uh, Auto repair. Self repair. Self repair, yes. Magenta View is dead, so uh, Black Lotus is gone, and Ishihara has the bomb. 1 0 for the MSA. This is the first third place game, of, uh, th the, first th the first match of the third place game. So, <coughs> this is the Stingray. Stingray with the new heavy metal model from this season, Rockaway Beach. Ishihara is there. The Black Lotus has reborn. Uh, Scratch with the clunker, the bomb is loose, who's gonna get it into the dropper, still trying to compete for that bomb, Ishihara got it, and now the Romero's Faka has the chance to move towards the enemy's score point. So here goes Ishihara with the little monster, he's going to score, and oh my god, what just happened, Ishihara, one more time, the Archivester has it, but the scratch came, and then the bomb is loose one more time, no one seems to get this bomb, and I see. I, I thought that the, it seems that the the Romero's Faka team will have it. Will try to score one more time. Scratch with the rampage. The bomb is loose, and it's a mess for Romero's Faka. They are not able to finish this round one more time. Romero's Faka, and okay, here comes Scratch with the intercepting. Now Romero's Faka, and it's a score finally. King Joke killed Scratch in the final, but the thing is, the Lymphwar or Lymphir just got the first score for Homero Svaka, one on one. Yeah, and the thing about this match is, if Artifser is able to keep uh, Homero Svaka alive, then Assembly has a hard time because they have no way to heal, so then uh, Wildfire and Stingray can just need to clean up the other team, and it's a hard thing to take a bomb away <coughs> from a little monster. So now, there are people saying that it's Lymphwar. So it's it's different each round, you know. So <laughs> I now, think they're now joking with you. Yeah, I, I believe that they're joking. So Magenta View with the the Black Lotus. This is a very good uh, match between them because it's all about strategy. That little monster is trying to get that Black Lotus since it's almost dying, reflecting the damage using the Karma. Now Black Lotus advancing through the enemy side. Still Magenta View with the, the Lotus and this is gonna be tough, even though they don't have uh, support, it's gonna be tough for Romero's Faka to stop these Black Lotus and to prevent them to score uh, so quick, quickly. So Devil Driver got the Stingray, the Stingray is almost gone, Magenta View is just going forward and only the little monster seems to try to intercept now the wildfire but here comes the karma scratches back to the game so scratch is trying to open the space they are on the final line magenta view with the full life here goes the msa and the score the scratch open if you open uh the yes. the way clear the yeah. way and this is the second score for msa so it's 2-1 for the european team great play by scratch there with the rampage making sure uh humedos focus team was inside the goal so black lotus could go in with the bomb and score and yeah that was crazy like uh, the biakudark saying that the russian meta is black lotus without a support and um it's very cool to see that both teams taking risks uh, King Joke is gone, and this is the fastest kill that I ever seen on this uh, playoffs this night. And Magenta View is still with a lot of life. He's trying to uh, advance. The clunker is repairing, but the little monster.
didn't make uh, okay the clunker repair run right now so uh, black lotus trying to find some space that it's very hard the 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 lotus lose the lost the bomb so now it's ishihara with the bomb trying to have advanced the um, the rampage is was almost gone the grill pain is dying it's all the interceptor seems to have low life but they somehow is are still alive and here comes the scratch with the oh that was a nice Ooh. jump right on time and ishihara was able to avoid that uh, uh their chipster is repairing the little monster and now it seems that humanus faka has more advantage maybe we can see a two against two a tie on the first game and then it will be a, um, amazing to see the second match since this was pure strategy one team with a lot of interceptors and no support and the other taking away all the support from the other team so now it's the wildfire carrying the bomb wildfire could be uh use it as a, uh oh my god that was a missed pass but ishihara was able to get the bomb back and now they're going to advance because they have a freeway the um killer j used the special weapon but the the Little monster are still alive and then here comes the weapon 2 of Killer J. Stingray with the bomb, he has low life, our Chipster came to help, uh, Little Monster got the bomb, he scratches there, so maybe this could be the tie for the Humerus Faka team, very good match. Here comes the, uh, the Killer J with weapon 2, but Ishihara was very very good by doing that. The Clunker missed the hook one more time. Killer J is gone. The Clunker is there. And here goes Ishihara. Could be the tie. Ishihara, Ultimate, and Scratch. Oh my god. King Joke missed the Ultimate. But Ishihara has the bomb. And now King Joke is gone. Ishihara with the bomb. Just going to score. And he missed. Black Lotus saved the day with Magenta View. And now it's going to be tough for the MSA to escape with live magenta view is trying to repair he's going backwards the archivster got the kill and the archivster got the score oh no devil driver coming from the depths of hell to get the bomb back to msa yeah he's that was amazing back from highway to hell and back with everything because if he wasn't there well that that was very close chancellor very very close devil driver make it, made the pass to magenta view uh, scratch took the archivster for riot Magenta View almost dying, so now the, the, the Stingray are trying to intercept, the Wildfire is gone, the Stingray is gone, the Little Monster is gone, oh my god, Scratch, you were a beast, awesome. and uh, uh, Humerus Faka just have one player, and it's their support on the match. Chancellor, they want to hear you say sensacional. It's sensacional! Did, did, did you like it? Yeah, that's, I, that I can, was I can great. say sensacional that, that one was, more time. I, I thought it was sensacional. Yeah, okay, thank you. I think our, our dress code tonight is sensacional. Yeah, we are sensacional. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the name of our heavy metal model, you know? <laughs> uh, Ishihara with the bomb, so maybe Humerus Faka will have the chance to one more time advance to the enemy's field. So Ishihara is almost dying. Uh, the, our Chiefster is there trying to repair, but Devil Driver took the... Oh my god, that is gonna be tough! And Grill Pain took Ishihara to uh, killing, uh, he killed Ishihara and died as well with the passive. And now Black Lotus is going to take a ride with the bomb because... Black Lotus used Nirvana, Chancellor. Nirvana? Nirvana is the youth mate? Yeah. So now Black Lotus is with low life by trying to repair with the self-repair uh, it's not an easy life for black lotus and you can see that she's almost dying uh, now with karma to reflect the damage from stingray almost dying as well so I, I believe that she will be able to repair because no one is there to prevent that okay black lotus with full life uh, the wildfire is back to the game there are two different interceptors trying to kill that wildfire now wildfire is gone lane fair is gone and here comes the msa and here comes the score sensacional victory for the msa assembly the first victory of the third place game right and that's the game they were going for with black lotus they wanted to make quick <coughs> deliveries they only picked uh, interceptors to clear the way and finish the game quick
uh, uh, Humayru Svaka did the best they could well, with more of a standard composition, but that wasn't enough. Scratch was on fire with that rampage, making sure the bomb, uh, the way was clear for the bomb to go in and killing everyone from Humayru Svaka. 10 minutes, that was a fun match to watch, that probably was a fun match to play. And it was amazing how different it was from the last match that we have seen with the both MSA, right? Yes, exactly, Chancellor. So now Romero's Faka will pick first and we're going to see how they will change their strategy since uh, preventing uh, um, MSA to not use their Stargazer but giving to them the Killer J and the Rampage was not the best thing to yeah, do. Yeah, and we saw what happened just because of the bans because both teams decided to ban the best support from each other so that completely changed uh, the, the meta of the game and well, uh, Metal Sect Assembly adapted better, I guess, to that to that situation. Yeah, amazing game. Everyone is making comments about and our sensational looks. Necktie. Yeah, this is the sensational look, the heavy metal model for the casters. So we have different unique abilities right now, and I can sing Bon Jovi very well. But I'm not gonna use my ultimate because it's charging yet. You well, know? I'm already using mine, which is smell good. It smell good, yeah, yes. Smell what good. a nice perfume. Thank you. Um, second match, now the Humerus Faka will pick first. So I don't know if the teams are ready to pick uh, our production with Black Star, Hafalino, and the guys from Start Play are here behind the scenes. Uh, coordinating everything from also, this Also, I'm seeing a lot more action on our chat, so please let us know, let us know which team you're cheering for, hashtag Humerusfaka or hashtag Assembly to see who you're che cheering for. Yeah, sensacional. I, I, I really love how they, they, they like this particular word in Portuguese, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't remember when, when I used yeah, it. I, 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 I don't think know it was on started. the finals of probably, the South America. Yeah, probably you said it like very, very, uh, with a lot of energy. Yes, like when Birikita saved that point with, with the photon, you know? Oh, that yes, was amazing. Yes. Uh, Go Metal Sect Assembly, said Bia Kudark. I want to see the Humerus Faka. Okay, so uh, now Humerus Sect is a lot, doing a lot better in the chat because before Humerus Faka seemed to have more people cheering for. Yeah, Bia Kudark said that once. Give me an S, give me an A. An a M, a, M, M, and M. Oh my god, N how do you say L. that? M, S, and A. <laughs> it's two blames, has some traumas from that last final so <laughs> I will not remember that yeah okay it's two lambs um, heavy metal machines is a free to play game available on steam you can download it right now it's download it's download no it's heavy metal machines dot com slash play okay and we also have the discord is discord dot gg slash heavy metal machines you can join our community and know everyone from our uh, from our community, Shublames, Biakudarki, Zika Fools, Trukers, and everyone will be there. So we have the draft, the second match from the third place game. Uh, it's Humerus Faka against MSA. MSA has the advantage of winning the first match. So now Humerus Faka, one more time, banned. Stargazer. Stargazer. So they don't want to see you playing and uh, miss Biakudarki. Yeah, they don't want Biakudarki in this game. And Wildfire is gone. So it means that one team will have the Wind Rider, right? Yes, and they know that's or a they good can thing have. because the statistics for Assembly is picking a 29 times Stargazer uh, with 20 victories. And the second most picked support for Assembly is Wind Rider with 7 picks. So that, that's, that's the best ban. Yeah, Biakudark said that she's too busy cheering for her team. So yeah, makes sense. She, she doesn't want to play. <laughs> uh, Humanus Faka with the Killer J. So Grill Pain won't have his toy to play, right? Mm -hmm. And this will be tough for the... For the um, MSA because they don't have the Stargazer to match with the Black Lotus and they don't have the Killer J for Grill Paint. Yes. So they have to pick probably Rampage for Scratch, but I want to see uh, how it's going to be their transporting strategy. You know, yes. this is the, the biggest point for me. Well, and now we also have and Wind Vulture, Rider. Vulture is not banned one more Vulture time. Vulture is not banned and Wind Rider is up, so we'll see what the teams will do to respond to each other. I thought that Wildfire ban was very impressive. Actually, I was not waiting for a Wildfire ban. 
Yeah, that was unexpected. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. So clunker, the clunker for the MSA so far. Um, Which they also, well, they have, uh, the, the MSA has picked during the Metal League 16 times clunker uh, with eight victories. So that's a 50% win rate for them. Uh, it's a curious first pick. Also, uh, let's see what they're thinking with that because Windrider is up and Artifser is still up, so they're not going for the transporter support game. Uh, I wonder what they're thinking, Chancellor. Yeah, I, I, I'm really curious to see because that was unexpected as well, you know? Yes, and with Vulture up, can we see a Vulture here? Has, has Vulture been played by Humerus Faka? Humerus Faka played Vulture five times and won four of four, them, so that's yes. an 80%. Uh, win rate with Vulture with, for, uh, with Vulture for Humerus Faka, so we might see that. That's a yes. dangerous pick. So it's the Clunker probably for Devil Driver and the Little Monster probably for Scratch. So it means that Ishihara won't have his favorite transporter to use, right? And another cool thing is I want to see a Vulture on this match. I don't know why, but I feel like we have to see how Vulture is playing on the most competitive uh, way of playing heavy metal machines because this will be good for us to see uh, his impact. We are already uh, working on a, a balanced, on a nerf, but it'll be cool for us to understand more about this pilot. Yes, of so course. So Rampage and Wind Rider for Homer's Faka. So what Faka is doing, they, they have banned uh, Assembly's main support, they have picked Killer J and Rampage, which, which are two great uh, interceptors uh, that Assembly uses, and they have adapted it to their main support, which is Windrider. So this is a fun mixture of, you know, doing your own thing while also sabotaging the enemy team. Yeah, can you see how much crowd control the Humerus Faka team has right now? You know, that, that little monster will have to jump a lot. Yes, a lot. And Grill Pain and Scratch won't be able to play with Killer J and, and exactly. Rampage again. This is incredible. Yeah, without, without Killer J and Wildfire and Clunker, Rampage, they, that leaves them with Dirt Devil and Peacemaker that they have played. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do, do, okay, we have a Metal Herald so far. So the first Metal Herald you're going to see today. And Metal Herald is the, last, the least used um, support. support on this entire Metal League, right? With just 35 appearances uh, compared to Stargazer with 200. Yeah, not only few appearances, but a bad performance as well, Chancellor. That's Just only 13. 13 victories, which leaves 37% win rate for Mato Herald. So okay. I'm curious to see what Assembly is thinking Ooh, with this composition. Now Humerus Faka is complete with the uh, Full Metal Judge. So they have Full Metal Judge, Wind Rider, Rampage, and Killer J. MSA with Clunker, Little Monster, Mato Herald, and probably, uh, I don't know, Stingray maybe? Or Daredevil or Peacemaker. I want to see a Vulture here. Yeah, well, well we might. But did, they didn't have a. They haven't played with a Vulture so far. I'm wondering if we actually might see another. Oh, okay, there you go. Peacemaker. Peacemaker, okay. No Vulture, Chancellor. No Vulture yet. So this is the second game of the third place match of Heavy Metal Machines Metal League North America. Uh, team 1, Killer J, Rampage, Wind Rider, Full Metal Judge, they are the Humerus Faka. Team 2, Clunker, Little Monster, Metal Herald, and Peacemaker, they are the MSA. If MSA wins this one, they will be the third place of this Metal League and Humerus Faka the fourth place. Remember, the, the fourth place got $500 and the third place got $1,000. So it's the double of the price. Twice the yes. Price. And I think that uh, Assembly is in a very tight spot here, Chancellor, because if Peacemaker is out and you see Killer J Rampage focus him, then Assembly will not have a lot of damage, Chancellor. Yeah, the, it's going to be tough for them. They will have to use that Metal Herald very well and without dying, you know? And yeah, that's it. this is it. Let's see how they will perform. Uh, Daylight said that both they made a good draft, so... Uh, Daylight is our draft specialist so far. <laughs> he, <laughs> he has been uh, nailing up. everything. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see uh, how good those strategies will perform inside the arena, inside the Metal God Arena. This is Heavy Metal Machines, free to play, a fun to play and fun to watch game, right? Uh, I think the teams are ready on the lobby. I believe they were in the last time. 
black star? So, do you are ready to, to... Yeah. Okay, so let's show the lobby so far. So, I believe that Bia Kudark won't play for MSA one more time. And uh, for the... Um, for the team two, that is uh, MS, uh, MSA uh, for Romero Faca, now we have Tia God playing, and we don't have uh, we don't have uh, Lemfer. Oh, that's true, Chancellor. And we're waiting for uh, Assembly to show up in the lobby. Grill Pain is there. He won't be playing his Killer J because his Killer J is with Romero Faca. Yeah. So Grill Pain is there. Um, Scratch probably, Magenta View and Devil Driver, the players from the MSA team. I wonder if Magenta will be playing Little Monster Chance. Okay, Def is cheering for Romero's right now because he wants a third match on this third place match. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And plus, we have the finals to watch as well, said Bia Kudark. Uh, okay, Devil Driver and Scratch is probably gonna come at some time. So assembly is with the peacemaker, right, Chancellor? Yes, the peacemaker. And their performance with the I peacemaker. I think Will Payne will play will play peacemaker again. Yeah, but they have one. Uh, they have used peacemaker once in this tournament, and it was not a victory. So the win rate for their peacemaker is zero. Zero. Zero percent. Yeah, that is incredible. That is a lot of pressure, especially because that's the main. Uh, uh, way for your team to deal damage so if peacemaker is out and that that leaves a metal herald and a clunker to deal damage and they're not very good at that okay so the team is i believe they are ready to go msa uh the homeros faca is ready black star asked if the msa is ready as well and it's gonna be it's gonna be fun right Yes, and that's what Daylight is saying as well. Uh, Peacemaker is will performance uh, will decide the match, I guess, because if Peacemaker does not perform well, or if Humedus Faka is able to neutralize Peacemaker, uh, it should be an easy game for Humedus Faka. Okay, non -pl no player from the. Okay, now they they started. Uh, remember, this is the last week from Rockaway Beach season. We will have the next season six, season six with uh, Knights, Dragons, and the Two Headed Ogre coming to Heavy Metal Machines on September 25th, right? And okay, on the left side, MSA with Real Pain playing the Peacemaker. Um, on the right side, Bonafide will be, will be the Wind Rider, Chia God with the Killer J, Ishihara with the Full Metal Judge and King Joke the Rampage. Uh, Magenta View will play. Oh my God! Magenta View will play the Clunker. So Devil Driver will pick the Metal Herald and the Scratch will carry one more time with Little Monster. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see how the, this match will play out, and also to see Judge actually because. Judge, uh, during this tournament, was picked 78 times with, with 42 victories. That leaves him with a 53% uh, win rate. Uh, that's kind of balanced, I guess. It depends a lot on the performance mm -hmm. of the player who's playing Full Metal Judge. And it's, it's a very aggressive transporter. Right, Chancellor? Yeah, and welcome to our Turkish community manager, Okan, no 62, no exit, who just joined our chat. Be welcome, uh, Okay, and please leave your uh, comments about this game here, about your analysis, since Daylight is doing a lot of... Yeah. Okay. And what, what's, what's No62, No Exit's prediction for this game? Does he think that Assembly will win, or does he think that uh, Humerus Faka will win the game? Yeah, and Daylight said something very important, like uh, Bonafide is very good playing with Wind Rider, so maybe now he's gonna show out his potential with Wind Rider since he won in the last Metal League the best play of the qualifiers with a Wind Rider go. Do you remember? Oh, in the, the Temple Self of Sacrifice. Yeah, in the Temple of Sacrifice. Yeah. Okay, so Grill Pain with a lot of Fugus is starting this match. Second match of the third place game of Heavy Metal Machines North America Metal League. So the green lights just 
uh, turn on and we're going to see who's gonna take the bomb first the peacemaker was able to get the bomb first for scratch so now it's going to be tough for the MSA to get this bomb uh, since there's a lot of crowd control coming from the other side uh, Killer J there, the Rampage is there, the Scratch is carrying the bomb um, one more time the Rampage is trying to kill and this is important, that pick from the uh, Metal Hair didn't come from nowhere you know like uh, that the, the weapon 2 from Metal Hair can actually kill the the rampage even with the the shovel you know yeah and it's gonna be very tough for king joke to be alive as we saw so now scratch going and trying to advance for the first go of the match the killer j is back to the game the clunker is trying to open some space the scratch with the bomb and now uh, the full metal judge with the judgment youth mate the the scratch is gone and ishihara has the bomb for the Humerus Faka for the first time in this match. The Clunker is almost gone, the, the Rampage is trying to open some space and to protect his uh, transporter and that's going to be a tough match for that Rampage, right? Uh, Tia God with the Killer J tried to use the Ultimate but didn't uh, found anyone. Uh, Wind Rider using the Ultimate to prevent all the damage and Ishihara is advancing towards the center of the arena. Yeah, that, that Rampage not only has to deal with uh, Metal Herald's weapon too, but also Peacemaker's weapon too, which Rampage cannot avoid the damage, so we're seeing Joke struggle to keep his health bar up. Okay, so King Joke pursuing the Peacemaker, but it seems that the Peacemaker is very good. One more time, the Peacemaker against the Rampage, you can see on your screen, they're just spinning around on that Metal God uh, part, and... The bomb is loose, the, the Scratch has the bomb, so now it's time for the little monster to get it. But Bonafide with a nice usage of the Buffalo's got back the bomb to his team. And now he's going to pass for his transporter. The Full Metal Judge wants the transporter come back to the game. Bonafide with the, um, with the Heavy Metal model from Season 1. And Devil Driver disconnected, so someone has paused the game. Okay, so we're gonna wait for Devil Driver to fix his uh, connection issues, but what we can talk about this match so far? Well, it's, uh, it's a hard uh, match uh, because of the Peacemaker situation, Chancellor. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Who do you think is gonna take the, the victory here? Yeah, it's, it's hard to say, but it seems that the Peacemaker could overcome that, that the strategy from Humerus Faka. I believe that if Group Pain uh, could be able to keep doing his job like he's doing i think the chances for msa to finish this third place game with the second straight win it's they are bigger yeah i i place my bets on humerus faka because it seems like they have more ways to handle uh, the yeah, other strategy. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is it true it seems to me that assemblies all all of their eggs are in the same basket with peacemaker so that's a uh, hard uh, Hard thing, hard strategy. Yeah, and all the community managers are here. Uh, me and Sarah Mans, we're here, and the others are on the chat. And this week, we're gonna have more surprises for you about the community team, right? So, yeah, Peacemaker is there. And yes, it's a special day after all. The Metal League is very important for us, and we are working on improvements for the next Metal League. We're listening to the players' feedbacks to learn what we should change to improve the quality of the experience, you know? We know that there are some things that we want to change and we want to improve and we are working to make it happen for the next season, for the next Metal League, right? Yeah, so if you have been watching Metal League so far or if you've played in Metal League, please go to our Discord channel, which is discord.gg slash heavymetalmachines. Leave your feedback, let us know what you think uh, that Metal League can improve, where it can improve, or if you can think of any changes. We're open to all this feedback. It's very important to us because we want to make Metal League better each, each edition. Five minutes. So we're going to wait five minutes for Devil Drivers. Is it right? Yeah, Devil Drivers. Okay. So, um, what we can talk while this, the, we, we have to wait. Let's see with the what the community is, is saying. So, Pups is cheering for Humerus Faka and saying that we are beautiful. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Pups. Thank you, Pups. 
Uh, <laughs> this is our sensational look. Sensational look, yes. It's our special model. You know, the heavy metal model for the community managers is the, the shirt and the tie. So, uh, what do you want to talk right now? I'm trying, I'm thinking about like the meta. If this match counts as a, like a face off of the European meta against the South American meta, could be, yeah. We have a wind rider in the game, but I'm not sure. Maybe I think Metal Herald is actually more used by European teams than by uh, South American South teams. South American, yeah. So I guess we kind of see here a face off of those two metas and see which one will come out on top. And what about Vulture? We haven't seen a Vulture so yeah, far. I, I and there wonder. were a lot of talking about how strong was Vulture. So I'm not getting what is wrong with Vulture that no one wants to pick so far. Perhaps they are saving it for the final. We have seen like really unexpected picks in a final. Yeah. So it might happen. The photo from the last Metal, exactly. Metal League was That's, amazing. But was you know, the, the final will have Romero's Faca, Romero's Bala against MSA Honorkiss. And we have the MSA Honorkiss using Vulture for 22, 22 times and they won 19. And on the other side, Romero's Bala used Vulture 15 times and they won 10. So maybe they, these both teams will use Vulture yeah. since we have Sawyer in one side and other dangerous players that yes, can play that, Vulture. That might actually be a reason for them to ban Vulture if they don't want yes. to deal with that because Vulture gets stronger the more the longer the match progresses so it's like Vulture is a ticking bomb and that adds a lot of pressure to the game so if you want you don't want to extend a match against a Vulture for too long. Right Chancellor? Right. Okay, I was too concentrated on my, my visual, you know, because my hair is already a mess, like this model doesn't allow me to stay with my, my comfort hair, and I believe that we are very fancy this night, but I, I, I'm not used it with this thing on my neck. Oh, it, How do you it's think too about tight. yeah yeah it's too tight. Well, it, you can keep thinking that you look good. So uh, yeah, every time every it. time you feel like oh I cannot breathe because I cannot talk and then you're just like oh but I look good while I'm not breathing. Okay. So everything is fine. Uh, I want you to say a special thank you for Rafaelino Blackstar and Aguinaldo from Start Play. It was a pleasure to be here for the third consecutive time and having so much fun. This is the third time that we are doing the Metal League in a row and we are always improving and learning how to do it so every time is easier than the, the time that came before and tonight is very, yes. everything is working and fine. And tonight you, know? you have me on the desk. Yes, I have you, so finally yeah, that kind I have of, the it, chance like, to. It's like our live stream has evolved, like, look look at this this place, look yes. at it, there's a ball spinning behind yeah. Yeah, yes, it's not our... I just hope it doesn't go off, you know, but it's it's an improvement. It's a very, uh, it's an evolution of Do our live Do you think we have to use our special sensational models for the live stream? I think we can make like a special live stream where we look like gentlemen. And okay, like, like gentlemen. Yeah, know. Like, you know, with the top hat and all that, like we can make uh, fun jokes with it. Okay, I don't have a top hat. Um... <laughs> You were got you guys are beautiful. Don't worry. Go Chancellor. Okay, someone is cheering for me. So um, I, I hope that I can win this one. Okay, so while we don't have the guys back to the game, Dev Driver maybe, is on a maybe highway we can to hell. Get to the stats of the team and analyze it with everyone, so they can take a look at the numbers and they can maybe they can think of something they want to say with us. What do you think? Okay, so let's get to the stats of the teams on screen so we can analyze it with the community. So metal sect assembly. Okay, so first place on the first stage, then they they got lazy. <laughs> they 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 didn't play that well on stage two and stage three, but stage four, five, and six they were third, third, and second place. Twenty two wins in thirty seven matches. Yeah, that's a fifty nine point five percent win rate for them. They mostly use uh, black load as a support, and then. Killer J and Wildfire as interceptors and Stargazer as support. But we have Stargazer banned in this match. Yeah, and... Oh, Antiseptic is cheering for you. Thank you, Antiseptic! <laughs> you cannot see my face, but I'm smiling. Uh, wild, wildfire, Killer J and Black Lotus. So, do you know that the most used uh, composition for all teams 
was Black Lotus, Clunker, Rampage, and Stargazer. So Black Lotus and Stargazer is definitely something that all teams have uh, so far. So let's see the Romero's Faca, the number five. And yeah, 26 wins in 55 matches. So 47.3%. Yeah, that's that's a lower win rate than Assembly had. In this team, we have Ishihara, Bonafide, Chia God, Galeroso, and King Joke. Uh, actually, we haven't seen uh, Galeroso here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's Lenfair on it's actually, this place. Yeah, yeah I think we, we used the wrong name the to wrong make name. the... Yeah. And the most used composition for Homero's Faka is Little Monsters Transporter, also Killer J, and Wildfire's Interceptors, and the signature Windrider support. And yeah, so right now we're checking what's happening, and we're still waiting for Devil Driver to come back. Yeah, right Devil Driver is definitely in a highway to hell right now, but I hope <laughs> that he can take the Star Way to Heaven. So we're gonna watch uh, his coming back to Heaven Metal Machine. Are, are we gonna sing? Are, are we gonna see you sing to the end of this Metal League chance? Yes, I'm gonna sing the most metalish song ever. I wonder which which song that is. Which song is that? Chester? I want that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heart. Tell me why ain't nothing but a miss. Okay, I'm just kidding. And we sang number five. What is happening? Number five is Homero's Faka. Oh, okay. So uh, no, actually, it's just because of that series, Brooklyn Nine Nine. You know, there's that <laughs> video that yes, uh, that you're Jake, a huge fan of. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Brooklyn Nine Nine. I feel like Jake Peralta sometimes. You know, uh, yeah, like the the I, main. I can character. see the the inspiration. Yeah, the guys are the the special is ready, Def. Yes, now I charge it now. I use it. So I, I, it's like Vulture, you know, when you guys uh, said, go Chancellor, I, I, I can charge, it's like my killing. And in So the yes, end, we want to see a lot of go Chancellors in the chat to a, see what else we can get out of Chancellor it's during, a snowball the, during effect. this live stream. It's a, no, a snowball effect. So in the end of the live stream, with a lot of go Chancellors, I can sing like from more time and, and I the highest I cannot tom. wait to see that. And I'm so <laughs> glad we have this recorded because we can watch it any time no, no, no. later. I'm just kidding. The guys, oh my God, Def just got crazy here. <laughs> uh, Def Driver, his computer has turned off from... I don't, he's reconnecting right now, so finally we'll We're have gonna go the chance to, the to uh, watch that match again and see who's going to win Metal Sect Assembly or the Homero's Faka. And remember, we have still the finals, Homero's Bala against uh, Metal Sect Anarchists, right? Uh, I believe that they are reconnecting, so we can go back to the match, right? No. Not yet. Not just... yet, but uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, Perhaps the, the, our but... comments. We're losing our comments. No, oh, we oh, lost comments. We, we lost can't com not see the comments anymore. Unfortunately, yeah, we, lost the, we are blind here. The we black don't screen. have oh. your. Uh, presence here with us anymore yeah so we'll have to just guess what they're saying chancellor these are the how about a game whoever guesses the most comments right uh wins gets 10 wins in our personal scoreboard yeah it's i'm, I'm glad that we uh, i'm we are already uh out of battery on our tablet yeah so i cannot see the go chancellors in charge my special oh so that was your strategy chancellor. yeah i don't know why but it's you, you guys can can see that I have a black screen here, like <laughs> I'm trying to to press, but it's it's yeah, I don't think that we're gonna be able to watch the comments. Well, so I'm sorry, guys. No special weapon for uh, anymore. I'll, I'll for see us. if I can do something. No, about please that. don't no, don't please do that. Don't. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Devil Driver is reconnecting, I believe. He's what? Yes, he's now recovering the game, so he's going to be ready at any time soon, right? We certainly hope so, right, Chancellor? Yes. Because we are actually running out of things to talk with you about. I don't know, I can talk about the weather. Let's talk about the weather then. So tonight, today is not a sunny day here at Florianopolis, but guys, if you, if you were just uh, curious about uh, knowing Brazil, like visiting us, you just can come to Florianopolis and we'll be more than happy to have you at Hoplon. 
Yeah, and show you around, show uh, the hoplitas, what they're working with. We can show uh, some you, spoilers. Yeah, like, you might actually uh, see some spoilers. Like extra, extra spoilers that no one has. Yes, right like now. spoilers like from things way ahead of what people usually see. Yeah. Oh, my tie is... is... <laughs> okay, man. It's bad. You're very conscious about your tie. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm too conscious today. Too conscious. Uh, Black Lotus. Black Star Lotus. We can put the match. Oh, put your, the match while the double card is recording. Okay. So, uh, we can go back to the match and Saramans is looking for, yeah. So, let's see this match. So, Bonafide with the, the Wind Rider trying to pass the bomb is on the droppers. The blue team, Scratch, has the bomb. Oh my god, he didn't pick it, but now he has. And he's trying to go. Uh, Devil Driver is in autopilot so far, but he's reconnecting, so he's going to join the match anytime soon. And Scratch is using a lot of patience to wait for that moment. So, like Dev said, Scratch is dancing right now and trying to kill the rampage. Uh, the youth made from the Full Metal Judge came, and Full Metal Judge is in trouble because a lot of low life is Scratch trying to survive. It's hard for him. He's almost dying and the Killer J on his pursuing all the Interceptor, he's alone? Oh my god, I feel, I'm sorry, but I, I believe that Scratch is going to die. But he somehow, somehow managed to get it, but Ishihara got it, so Ishihara with the Full Metal Judge uh, going towards the score point and now the score for Humeros Faka. 1-0 for this match, but they don't have Devil Driver so far. So. There's a player missing for the MSA. Yeah, we can clearly see that without <coughs> that player, Humeros Faka just started uh, pushing their way through the arena to, to get the score. Okay, so uh, it's 1-0 for Humeros Faka. The first game ended with the win for MSA. So let's see what they could do. Um, right now to overcome this situation. So Tia God with the bomb, King Joke is dead, so Romero Faka has one player missing right now. Tia God is still with the bomb, he has weapon 2 ready. You can see the rockets on the side of the pilot, uh, of the driver. Um, Tia God almost dying, the Peacemaker is here, the, the Peacemaker killed. Tia God, uh, it's the revenge of real pain for not being able to use the Killer J. Ishihara with the bomb using the Full Metal Judge. Scratch is almost dead. Uh, Bonafide leaving some trail for the for the, the the Ishihara, and I believe that with without a player, the um, MSA will have some hard times to stop this offense from the um, Romero's Faka. Ishihara one more time on the dropper zone. He has the ultimate. He's ready to use, and here comes Ishihara waiting for the right moment. He's now ready, the clunker missed the hook, so yeah, I believe that Ishihara will join the match. He yeah, yeah, you. finally, so now judgment from the Full Metal Judge and we're gonna see Ishihara going to score one more time. Peacemaker with the youth mate and the bomb is loose, who's gonna take it? And it was, oh my god, clunker, you can, you can go that di direction. And the Full Humero's team is dead, so we're going to see. A full MSA uh, carrying the bomb and advancing on their defensive field, okay? That was very, very, very unexpected for a team that yeah. doesn't have, that has one player, uh, one extra player in the match. Yeah, it was very difficult because uh, Full Metal Judge used a special weapon but didn't really hit anyone. He didn't really get, like, not even the shield from the, the hits. So that was a wasted ultimate, unfortunately, for Full Metal Judge. Uh, the bot is with the bomb. So here comes the bot. The bot lost the bomb. Now King Joke. King Joke almost dying, and here comes the bot one more time. Oh my god, look this bot. Uh, yeah, so we have people actually commenting about... Uh, oh, act surprise, we do have comments back, by the way. But it's sad, because we wanted to see like a professional match, and when you have a bot in there, it really waits on the team, because, you know, it's a professional level of gameplay, and they're way ahead of a bot. Yeah. Scratch with the bomb now trying to open a space 
and Miss Full Screen is commanding, so we now can check the comments. Uh, Scratch lost the bomb, the bomb is loose, let's see who's gonna take it. Magenta View with the clunker, he has the youth mate. Um, Magenta View one more time with the the youth, uh, with the, the clunker trying to find a space to pass to Little Monster. Now he used the hook to grab the rampage. He is being the transporter and the interceptor at the same time. He scratches that, so Magenta View is with you, the mission. So Magenta View now being pursued by the full team from the Humanus Faka. Now his dad, Bonafide, killed him. The youth mate from Girl Pain came. And now Ishihara with the full metal judge and the bomb trying to open some space. Trying to use King Joke uh, Rampage to open some space for him yeah it's a difficult situation for assembly unfortunately they have a missing player and Humedus Fakir just going their way but actually assembly is doing a good job of resisting because the bomb has been on Humedus Fakir's side of the arena for a while now okay so Bonafide with the bomb trying to find the space trying to pass to Ishihara, Ishihara is on front on the of him trying to to pass the bomb so devil driver devil dri driver was flagged as afk he didn't connect so far he can connect at some time but uh, something definitely happened and ishihara with the bomb i believe that msa will have to use via kudarki if we have a third match but ishihara has the bomb yet he has the youth mid ready bonafide with the bomb now humanus fuck is trying to score for the second time the peacemaker is gone so now it's the best way for Humerus Faka to advance since they don't have their, their main interceptor uh, Bonafide with the bomb trying to advance and it seems that, they, that he can go and he can go all the way and here comes the clunker and the youth mate didn't work it because uh, 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 Rider used the youth mate and Scratch got the bomb back and now it's going to be tough for Scratch to get out of so much damage you know so Scratch going backwards trying to find a space, he doesn't have a, a support because the, the Metal Herald is actually a bot and Ishihara tried to move forward but there was the Peacemaker to block the way, Magenta View with the bomb and now it's gonna be tough for the MSA to find an open space. You ignored my comment. I what wondered. comment? I have no idea. Yeah, Zika, we don't know which comment. Well, actually, my comments are not for chance Lord. They're mostly for you to pay attention to something that's going on. Oh, I commented about uh, the player being out. And, you know, it's easy for a uh, professional level of game to take to advantage of that. Yeah. Yes, I remember. So, Scratch with the bomb trying to advance one more time. Devil Driver is still out, so it's probably in a highway to hell. And Scratch trying to find his stairway to heaven so far. This is the second time that I used this joke and you didn't laugh for the second time in a row, Sarah. I gave you two chances to not repeat the joke and you <laughs> keep doing it. Okay, I'm sorry for that. So Scratch low life trying to survive, but he's gone. Bonafide got the bomb back and now he's going to pass to. Uh, oh my god, that was a wrong path, but he's going to try to pass to Ishihara. There's a lot of people around them and Bonafide trying to find an open space and safe space to make the pass. And he missed it! So here comes the bot! Oh my god, look this Metal Herald bot! Oh, he's so amazing! Look this Is it really a bot? Is he really a bot? Or he's like a bot wind rider, you know? Yeah. Uh, player in our community. This bot is, can do everything, I believe. So now he's using the youth mate to save his teammates. <laughs> he's amazed. I'm really amazed with this bot's performance, actually. I'm really proud of that bot. Okay, so Scratch, yeah, the, the IA just had been proven, you know? Uh, Ishihara, uh, Ishihara, no, it's Scratch with the little monster. Bonafide pursuing him. So this could be the goal to tie the match for the MSA. We're looking to Scratch, trying to find an open space. One more time, Scratch used the special weapon. The Devil Drive, uh, uh, the Magenta View used the special weapon. Now the youth made from Peacemaker. This could be a go. And oh, that Bonafide. Daylight, you were right. Bonafide's been a beast. Oh! But oh my Whoa. god, using his head. You know, that was an amazing goal. 
Chancellor, we actually have a situation. What a control of the bomb. What are we gonna do if we have a bot being champion? We're How are we gonna deliver the prizes to a bot? We're gonna give the, the money back to us since we're, we developed oh, that bot. that's great. Okay. I hope they cannot hear us. <laughs> I hope that. Okay, Zizu. Yeah. Okay, one more, one more pause from the uh, MSA team. I believe that they want they want to wait for the Devil Driver to come back. But it seems that Devil Drivers face some real hard times, and maybe there's the they have to to play this match, uh, win or lose or lose, and to then switch. use yeah, and then use Biakudark who can actually place. Yeah. Right, Biakudark. I'm seeing you there. <laughs> uh, Okay, um, we are facing some technical issues, so I'm going to talk about the brackets. Uh, so far, the new knights are the most, the biggest surprise for me because they they lost, but they were the top seed. You know, Road Q uh, lost as well, but they were number seven. They were without Neto, so they didn't have the full uh, starter team. They had to re replace with Bugs. So Road Q lost, but they were uh, the seventh seed. And now it's time for the Neo Knights to... Uh, and, and the Neo Knights actually lost, but they were seed one. That was very surprising result from us. Romero Faka did a very good job by defeating the actual, the current uh, European champion so far. So, yeah, that, that go with the head control of the ball better being highlights, said Nerdo. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, could actually say, yes, it was an awesome go. And Def said that he clipped it. So, a lot of cool things happening on the great Metal League Season 5 uh, Grand Finals of the North America edition. So, yeah, something, something is, is happening, definitely. And our team is now checking what is wrong with the with the the dev driver player so we but we cannot wait forever you know so uh, maybe they have to play a third match because yeah we we don't have like uh, uh, we, we cannot uh, wait for more than i don't know five minutes we already waited for five minutes so they have to play without devil driver and then uh, put biakudark if they lost and if they uh, if we need a third match right so, yeah, that's it. So, where I was, Saramant is here back to us. How are you, Saramant? I'm doing good. It was a good walk. I took a stretch. I went to the woods to get some air. You know, I hope you, you did a good job without me, Chancellor. We're yes, back. I did. I, and you know that I, I always. And we'll be do back with jobs. the game, too. Huh? We'll be back with the game soon. Okay, the game will be, yeah. Uh, I don't know what you say actually because you decide the thing so I want you to <laughs> no, I, that's what I'm saying we'll get back to the game very soon okay unfortunately Devil Driver is facing, facing some technical issues uh, he is not able to come back to the game yet so we have to continue because uh, assembly is out of pause time so they cannot pause anymore then okay. the game is on the game is on and we have a scratch with the bomb. Even though they don't have one player, they were able to score and now it's one on one. If MSA won this match, they will uh, uh, be the third place of the Metal League North America. But if they lost, we're going to have a third game and they have to put Dia Kudark to replace uh, his opponent. So this that's uh, his teammate. So now we're gonna see the magenta. Oh, it's the oh my god! That bot is pretty well. Look how well he's playing and carrying the bomb. But Chia God got it, and now it's time for the Killer J to carry it uh, all the way. Uh, Do you think the bot is still gonna perform well in this match? Chance yeah, but I could actually say that they have to win this match without, with or without the Devil Driver. So this seems to be. Uh, their teammates encourage them and check out with the bomb as a killer J is not like the best effective player to carry the bomb he's almost dying but yeah the bot is there the bot trying to kill someone the bot is always almost dying but check out is alive and trying to make some yay what a peacemaker play from real pain on that one 
and bot metal herald with the bomb now he lost Bonafide with the bomb, Wind Rider against no one, and here comes the score for the Romero's Faca team, 2-1 for the Brazilian guys. Yeah, it's a, uh, a sad thing that this match is happening like this, unfortunately we have to go on, and you can see when a Peacemaker is in the long run, you have to get him out or Peacemaker really blocks the way. Right, Chancellor? Yeah, that's right. So, third round could be the last one if Romero's Faca uh, score, but we have the, the problem that um, uh, MSA doesn't have one player, so maybe we're going to have a third game with a different composition by the MSA. So, a lot of things going on on this Season 5 Metal League North America, right? Uh, Magenta View with the bomb, he is the clunker, he's trying to kill that Killer J. The, uh, uh, the Full Metal Judge with Ishihara is trying to kill him. Now he's almost dying and Ishihara got the bomb back and Peacemaker is trying to do something to help his team. So Ishihara with low life trying to uh, move forward. Bonafide uh, left the trail of repairing points on the field and now Ishihara will have the chance to score for the third time for the metal spot. Can we take a look at the stats of the match and see the damage and how the team is performing? So let's see that Peacemaker dealt 16,000 damage Chancellor against uh, 21,000 uh, from Jokes Rampage. That's a lot of damage from both teams. Uh, Joke is, de is uh, still D d dishing out a lot more damage and Ishihara with 17,000 it's a good number as well he has more than the enemy's peacemaker so Ishihara with the full metal judge trying to uh, advance he has the youth mate ready he's ready to use it sometime the killer J use his special weapon uh, one more time now Ishihara is using the youth mate he's trying to kill someone to get the the shield and here comes Ishihara and the score for Homero's Faka so 3-1, it was a victory for the Brazilian guys and now we're gonna have the final match between both because uh, now we're not gonna have Devil Driver um, making uh, MSA... Um... Devil Driver might be back, it was a technical issue, he, he was already available but he was unable to join the game. Oh, he wasn't able to join the game since yes. I think it was because he was flagged as AFK? Could be, yes, that's something we'll have to investigate. This is not something that we will ignore, uh, we will investigate what happened and then we'll have to decide what to do with that situation, yeah, right Chancellor? For the tournament we know that uh, unfortunately it's not... We, we cannot stop the tournament because of that yes, and we cannot exactly. solve this problem in the middle of the exactly, tournament so exactly. uh, yeah in, unfortunately uh, it, it happened but it's something that we have to go uh, forward and you have to and yes and then get back to it and decide what we're gonna do but the tournament needs to go on mm -hmm. so now the third match between between uh, Homenos Faka and assembly assembly let's see who's gonna pick first I believe that it's assembly since they were the top seed team of this bracket and let's see if they're gonna change their strategy because on the first time it worked very well for the, the assembly and maybe they will have they will yes, try to do they, the same thing yes now uh, they will start it so they might go for that same strategy that worked again Humerus, against Humerus Faka but this time Humerus Faka is also ready for that they've responded in the last draft we'll see what they will do right Chancellor? Yeah, uh, Devil Driver is saying that he was um, able to join, but he's not able to join the match. So probably it's because he was too long away from the match. So yeah. there's nothing that we can do right now. And unfortunately, the, 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 um, this is how the tournament works, okay? So third match, so both teams still have a chance to win. And it's going to be fun, right? Yeah, and now things are a lot more lit up. So both teams, they both want this win. They really want to go to the see who will get the prize for the third place so yeah it's it's a good amount of money okay so what about seeing a uh, metal pass promo for the next season because we're gonna have the medieval fantasy theme with the knights dragons and two-headed ogre yes with <coughs> an, some amazing models coming this wednesday so let's see
Okay, so the teams are ready for the draft. Let's watch the draft for the third place, the third place match for the third game. So the first team to ban is the Metal Sect Assembly, and they ban the Wind Rider again. They don't want to see that Bonafide playing uh, with Wind Rider again. Yeah, which is very understandable since uh, Humeros Faka most picked uh, support is Wind Rider with 35 picks and uh, 17 victories with that. Actually, it's not uh, very effective uh, with numbers. It's a 48% win rate for Wind Rider, but it's still a core pick for Humeros Faka and a good way to dis. dis Whoa! Black Lotus was banned from Homeros Faka, so they will be able to use that Stargazer, but not with a Black Lotus. Yes, and I guess they're trying to avoid uh, going with uh, against the same strategy that uh, Assembly used in the mm -hmm. first match. They w don't want to deal with that Lotus and three Interceptors that got them the, their first loss, actually. So Assembly will pick first now, and I believe that they're going to pick or the Killer J or the Rampage. I believe that's going to be the Rampage. Because the Killer J, I, I don't know, Grill Pain can play the Killer J very well, but his Peacemaker is actually pretty good as well. So I think they will have like a mixed yeah, strategy. Yeah, I think Rampage would be a first good pick here, especially after seeing what Joke can do with that mm -hmm. Rampage. So it's a good strategy to take Rampage away from Joke. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, uh, Stargazer. Yeah, okay. Assembly. Stargazer, yes. The Stargazer, which is their most picked a support as well. That's a 29 pick, 29 picks of Stargazer for Metal Sack Assembly during this Metal League with a 69% win rate. We'll uh -huh. see how Humerus Faka is going to respond uh, if they're... They haven't been focusing on picking Transporter and support during the first phases of the picks. They have mostly been picking their uh, interceptors, so we'll see yeah. what they will do. I, I, I'm guessing that they will go with Killer J and Rampage. Are we going to okay, see... Okay, Rampage for sure. What if we see a Vulture here, Chancellor? If Black Lotus is out, we might see Vulture, which, since Vulture is very good at uh, taking down other transporters that have a high amount of health due to Vulture's stacks, being able to kill really fast... Uh, mm -hmm. Buffy transporters. Okay, Rampage and Little Monster. So that Stargazer will repair uh, a transporter, and this transporter is not called Black Lotus or Little Monster. So probably we can see a Full Metal Judge or an Ice Bringer here. But I, I really don't know what the, the, the Metal Sect Assembly will do since they don't have a viable chance, a viable pick for their transporting role. Yes. Uh but Metal Sect Assembly has picked Black Lotus and Little Monster mostly throughout the tournament. Uh, they have picked Full Metal Judge twice, but they didn't win a single match with Full Metal Judge as Transporter, and they never picked Icebringer. So maybe it's today. There is extra $500 at stake because the fourth place got $500 and the third place got 1000 So it's the double of the price. Yeah, I understand that the best pick here would be a Full Metal Judge. To go with the Stargazer, I don't see uh, why you would need a nice bringer with Stargazer, but we'll see what, how, what they think is best for their composition. Okay, so it's Wildfire for Assembly. Maybe they would try to transport with Wildfire. I have that, seen that, some, time, some yes. teams doing that, uh, especially Hachi Blue during the qualifiers. Um, and they have another pick here. So who's going to be? Yeah, so Humeros Faka has not picked their, their support yet, uh, but have picked their transporter, whereas uh, Assembly has picked a support, but no transporter yet. Okay, so maybe we're going to see another interceptor, maybe Killer J, to put in the, the Killer the Grill Pain hands. I don't know. Remember, now they have Biakudark, and Biakudark will play with that Stargazer. So Devil Driver out won't be a problem anymore, but they have to optimize their lineup according to the players that they have. So they don't have the Devil Driver playing the clunker as they used to. They might be considering a Peacemaker here. Oh, okay, so it was a clunker. It I was, was a gonna clunker. Say, yeah, I okay. was going to say Peacemaker to deal with that Rampage, but then, but then they wouldn't have a... a 
good dropper. Mm -hmm. So they, they really wanted to have... The yeah, they have a little monster on the other side, you know? Yes, yeah, so that clunker will have to <coughs> hit those hooks and little monster has to avoid that if they want to keep possession of the bomb. So Killer J uh, for the... Romero's Faca, yeah. So they, they got all the, the best interceptors from Assembly and this is gonna be cool to watch, right? Yeah, let's see how Assembly is gonna respond to that. They need to pick now a support. Uh, no, sorry, a transporter. Um, we'll see maybe maybe a Full Metal Judge here or maybe something completely different. Do you think we can see an Icebringer here? I don't know. That because would be that very would... risky. This match yes, is... Especially with a Rampage on the other side. Yes, you know? that's not a good idea. I guess Full Metal Judge is the best pick. There's a lot at stake here. Uh, they're fighting you know, for the $1,000 uh, prize of the third place, so yeah. Do you know what I would do to be very bold and risky? You would pick a Vulture Transporter. Yes, that's right. Vulture Transporter. He's very... Uh, he, can, he can transport very well. Also, the, uh, Dirt Devil, so this is a, a, a good thing as well, especially when you have like low machines, slow machines on the other side, like uh, Rampage and Little Monster to use your special weapon. So maybe they will try to transport with their dev when Wildfire by being uh, repaired by Stargazer. But this is it. On the Team 1, the Metal Sect Assembly, Stargazer, Wildfire, Clunker and Dirt Devil. On Team 2, who matters Faka, we have Rampage, Little Monster, Killer J, and our Chiefster, Bonafide and Ishihara will be able to play again with their first composition of transporters and support. So let's go to the custom lobby because the teams are ready to start this match, the third the third place game, the third match of this contest, so we are almost there to watch the finals, Romero's Bala against Metal Sect Anarchists. And we have been seeing Assembly play a lot of Killer J and Rampage, and that seems like their favorite picks, but Wildfire is also a strong pick for, for Assembly. They have picked Wildfire 19 times during the tournament, and they won 14 of those 19 picks, so that's wow. a 73% win rate with Wildfire for Metal Sect Assembly, so that is still a very strong pick for Metal Sect Assembly. We'll see how Wildfire will do having to transport the bomb, because it's probably either Wildfire or Dirt Devil that we'll see transporting the bomb. They both are able to leave Hazard behind, so uh, Wildfire transporting the bomb can use her Nitro to set fire to the floor, and pilots chasing Wildfire will will take damage while doing that. Uh, having Stargazer patch her up could extend the amount of time Wildfire is able to transport the bomb, and Dirt Devil leaves the mines behind. Dirt Devil can also use Weapon 2 to zone um, mm -hmm. other pilots while he's carrying the bomb, so that might be interesting. We'll see how Humerus Faka is going to deal with that uh, with the picks they have. Okay, so now they're ready. Team 1 against Team 2 is MSA on your left side, the red one against Humerus Faka, the blue one on your right side. So, uh, guys, in the chat, who are you cheering for? Let us know in your comments. So, hashtag go Humerus and hashtag go MSA, okay? Uh, MS... Go on. After this match, we'll see the final, which is Humerus Bala against Metal Sec Anarchist. I'm really excited to see that match as well, Chancellor. Okay, so Scratch, Magenta View, Byaku Dark, and Devil Driver against Bonafai, Ishihara. I believe that was Limfair and uh, Chia God. I, I, I had to see again. So Pubs is cheering for Humerus and Daft is cheering for the MSA. So, yeah, that's right. Bonafai, Shihara, Lenfair, and King Joke. We don't have Chia God so far. And on the other side, Scratch, Magenta View, Biaco Dark, and Devil Driver. Uh, Bonafai will play the support role, so as we expected, Ishihara with the transporting. Uh, Lenfair and King Joke. King Joke again with the, with the Rampage, but this time Lenfair will be the Killer J and not Chia God. Scratch, um, Magenta View, Biaco Dark, and Devil Driver. We can expect Biaco Dark playing with the... Stargazer, Magenta View one more time with the Clunker. Devil Driver is there, so we don't we don't have uh, Grill Pain on this oh, match. Grill Pain is out. That was unexpected. Like they just had Devil Driver with technical issues, and they are believing on their players, on their player, and putting him again 
to face that. Uh, yeah, actually, it makes sense. His name is Devil Driver, so he should play with Dirt Devil, you know? <laughs> That's it's the true. Dirt Devil Driver. Sense. And that probably made decisions for Assembly easier to first pick Stargazer instead of Killer J. So that wasn't maybe something that was hard to decide. Yeah, scratch with the wildfire. Now I got it. So, yeah, they are ready to go. Are you ready to watch? I'm ready to watch. I'm very excited when I see different compositions like this in the arena. Uh, I like to see how they play out, especially playing against like a more common and traditional uh, composition, composition with Middle Monster and Artificer. We'll see how they will do. We, I have seen uh, even uh, compositions of full trans, uh, interceptor teams working, so maybe, maybe they have a chance. Yeah, maybe they have a chance, but what they don't have is a chancellor, since I'm here with you. Yeah, I have a chancellor right now on the desk with me. Wow. Devil transport, I guess, said Death. So, yeah, I believe that the Devil Driver will transport, since he, he can... Uh, left the he can leave the the mines and the the hazards the the obstacles during the yeah because if rampage comes for dirt devil with the bomb dirt devil can drop weapon two and then rampage has to get away or else uh, weapon dirt devil's weapon two uh, deals a lot of damage if you stay on top of that helicopter shots okay so magenta view scratch devil driver and via kudark on your screen these are the MSA here you can see Shihara, Bonafai, King Joke, and uh, Lenfuo or Lenfair or Lenfu or you know <laughs> something. <laughs> Ishihara with the bomb trying to advance, and this match is gonna be the last one between Romero's Faka and Metal Sect Assembly. Um, Ishihara with the little monster, he really likes to play with little monster, and now he's trying to get away from that damage the the scratch uh, scratch is trying to oh my god it's impressive how many weapon one from wildfire scratch has hit it on that ishihara uh character so now uh, the the clunker missed the hook the stargazer is there the killer j is dead so we don't have one player for humerus faka and then ishihara is going towards the enemy's base one more time it seems easy for uh, Ishihara but the, the, it was amazing that play from Biakudark with a teleport. Uh, Rampage took the bomb back to the Humeros Faka team. The Killer J is carrying the bomb with uh, Lenfuo. Here goes Lenfair. He's going to score one more time and oh! Almost Devil Driver was able to save that point but it's a score for Humeros Faka and now they have the advantage. Yes, and whoever wins this match will get a thousand dollar prize for the third place in this competition. It seems that Assembly's uh, composition is not working really well, so yeah. especially if they don't get the bomb first. So one more time now, the Dirt Devil from the other, the other team is trying to get the bomb. Byakudark is there and it seems that the bomb will be one more time for Ishihara. The Homeros Faka had beaten the uh, Neonize, the European champions, and now they are facing the second place of the Europe, uh, European Metal League. So they are facing the top two teams from Europe, and now they uh, already won against Neonize, and they are trying to win against MSA. So Ishihara trying to get the bomb, but it's scratch carry it with the uh, wildfire, and it's using the motto from the World Cup. Oh, that's true. And it, the pressure is actually for MSA, the pressure is with Magenta View when uh, Assembly has possession of the bomb, Humeros Faka has possession of the bomb, Clunker needs to get that, the pressure is with him, so now it's working and we've seen Dirt Devil take out two of uh, Humeros Faka's uh, players. Yeah, and now it's working, like Metal Sect Assembly with the bomb, there is a Killer J just waiting in a rampage, you can see they're, they're just waiting for the right moment to attack. So, Scratch still with the bomb. Uh, King Joe killed the clunker. So, it's four against three for the team. Uh, Homero's Faka this time. And MSA with some trouble. The Killer J, oh my god, that Rampage trying to kill. But here comes the Biakudark. And now Biakudark is gone. So, 
Stretch is gonna have a tough day without Bia Kudai for a tough 15 seconds. Scratch, still with the bomb. He killed! Oh my god, what a kill! So Ishihara, with a lot of patience, trying to auto repair with the, the self repair system, using the youth mate, trying to score. Oh my god, Scratch! That was amazing! One more kill for the wildfire, using now the youth mate, and Scratch is alive. He's going towards. The MSA is still alive, and now he's going, Biaco Dark is there, everyone is there, Romero's Faka, only two players, and oh, that was a beautiful play from the Bonafide, from Bonafide, from the Romero's Faka, but Scratch has the bomb yet, and he has all the patience of the world to move forward, so Killer J tried to use the special weapon, Rampage missed it, so this could be the time, here goes the team, and Metal Sect Assembly score, Tied match, one on one, very good round for Metal Sect Assembly. Very well thought out, very well performance from Scratch, waiting for the right time to go forward, his team helping clear Humerus Faka from the way, so Scratch could go with the bomb. Scratch, while carrying the bomb, also did a great job with his ultimate. That was amazing. Yeah, and two times, you know, he was without Stargazer and he used Weapon 2 to kill Ishihara and then the, the um, ultimate and then the, the Nitro to use against the Killer G. So exactly. that was a, a s perfect sequence of plays. Yes. Uh, Ishihara now has the bomb and the Humerus Fak is trying to respond to that score by scoring one more time. Ishihara uh, being, uh, taking some damage from the Dirt Devil now is jumping but is still not very good. Uh, the um, the bonaf Bonafide tried to help, but it wasn't enough. And now Ishihara is dead. The Clunker is trying to carry, but he doesn't have a lot of HP. Now Biakudark helped him with the Stargazer. And now Magenta View is carrying the bomb and trying to find an open space. I don't know if this Clunker is going to transport this bomb, but something is going to happen because this uh, MSA team doesn't have a transporter. Can we see the stats? I'm very <coughs> curious to see the amount of damage this Dirt Devil is dealing. That's... Where is the amount? Oh, yeah. There you go, 8,000 8, with 9,000 from Wildfire and Rampages from Humerus Faka, it's only 6,000, so not both the Interceptors from uh, Assembly are dealing a lot more damage than Okay, Humerus Faka has only Ishihara trying to defend, so this is a great opportunity for Scratch to move forward, to advance and wait for his team to wipe up the, the, the path. So now uh, the, uh, Rampage got back to the game, but Stargazer was there to repair uh, her wildfire and seeing that the Metal Sect Assembly has the moment, the momentum of the match, like they have all the, the good energies around them because everything is doing right for them. It's like they, they have all the, the, the right play, players on the right place. So Scratch with low HP, trying to survive, Stargazer was there to help him. So now King Joke is dead, so no rampage for Humerus Faka. Uh, Killer J is there, but they are trying to kill him. Uh, okay, 3 against 4, the rampage will reborn in 4 seconds. So Scratch should have, uh, should enjoy this moment. The, the, the rampage got back, so now it's hard for them and uh, War Chiefs are one more time with their ultimate uh, save the day for Humerus Faka by using and pushing the enemies uh, pulling the enemies to the dropper so one more time our Chiefs are trying to pass the bomb to Ishihara now a successful pass um, Ishihara with the ultimate ready ready to use at any moment now with their Chiefs are helping him uh, the, the um, Rampage tried to kill someone there but didn't work so four against four this game their devil is there trying to cause some damage the 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 little monster now had to use her special weapon because she was almost dying and it's a very tough match for ishihara right now because there's a lot of damage coming from the other side yeah metal sect assembly stargazer is going all over the place to keep her team alive while they try to take the bomb from ishihara which is a very tough thing to do when that, that little monster keeps jumping. Devil Driver is also making a great use of his weapon too. Yeah, he came back from the depths of uh, the depths for, of the hell to help his team. You <laughs> yeah. know, like he's the devil and he drives all the way to there. So Devil Driver now transporting the bomb. 
trying to oh that was that was tough for devil driver but oh look this clunker sensacional like i said in the other metal leagues it was a very cool play and a very cool youth mate coming from that clunker yeah that i know that you like it so he's in trouble Ishihara is dead, so now the Humerus Fakra has only Killer J there. Killer J is gone, so they have only our Chipster. It's like a killing festival for the Metal Sect Assembly. And it seems like Scratch is going to score now. The Rampage is there, but the Wildfire has the Youth Mate. Rampage is trying to uh, avoid uh, the score. I believe that the whole Humerus Fakra will, team will be born. And we're going to see if the wildfire will be able to advance because the things seems to be very tough right now so uh scratch with the bomb the dirt the, the killer j was almost dead but the archivester helped him stargazer is back and i believe that they are gonna risk because stargazer is there to help uh wildfire with scratch dodging the weapons uh this rampage they made an outstanding job there the killer j is dead the killer j is gonna use his passive to kill someone one more time the rampage and this is what the rampage must have but uh, have to do so it is amazing you scratch now with a lot of time the the rampage is gone so this is a chance for scratch he's going to score and ishihara jumping the youth mate from the devil from Clerker and getting the bomb for Humerus Faka. This game is much better than the last one, right? Yes, this game is on fire, but the pressure is on Humerus Faka because... Oh my god, the Scratch has the advantage. He's going to score the Dark Devil, the, the Killer J is dead, and the score... No! Backwards Bonafide saved the day. It was amazing, sensacional one more time. Wrong pass! Oh my god, I'm going. I, I, I think I, I'm going to lose my voice this this way, you know? We might have Chancellor doing hand signs to narrate the last match of this Metal League. <laughs> I have to narrate the I hope the, the, you the all finals. understand hand signs. Okay, so Scratch with the bomb. Let's see if the Metal Sect Assembly can win this time. Killer J is gone. One more time for Scratch, one more chance. Here goes Scratch, he's going to score, and it is a score! 2-1 for the Metal Sect Assembly. That's amazing, that's a great comeback to them. The strategy is working very well. Scratch and Dirt Driver are doing a great job. Also, the community apparently wants a new emote for the game, where we have Chancellor saying sensacional. Mm. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be awesome. Uh, okay, third round could be the last one for MSA. Humerus Faka, it's have to uh, tie this match if they want to get the prize. So Ishihara with the bomb. One more time, he's moving uh, towards to the enemy side. Now Ishihara just facing a dirt devil and having the archivester to help him. He's going to try to kill that killer J, but uh, that uh clunker but it seems hard for him so now the hook he jumped so it's a good opportunity for ishihara to advance but stargazer was there to repair that clunker and it seems that it's hard for ishihara to advance on this point of the arena so ishihara jumping uh, he could jump two enemies and now he's ready to uh score this could be the the answer that humerus faka was waiting for uh, Ishihara with the bomb now has our Chipster's help and it is a score! So two against two, that was amazing! What a answer from the Humanus Faka side right after the score! So this will be the fifth and the last round for both teams. Who score now will get a thousand dollars as a prize. Man. Third place in the Metal League NA. This match is on fire. Both teams are performing very well. That was a very clean delivery from Humerus Faka. Uh, or Tiff, sir, great ultimate, just clearing the way and allowing a, a little monster to make the score. Okay, Ishihara has the bomb. So it seems that Humerus Faka wants to finish this this thing for good. So Ishihara is still with time. Dirt Devil is there to try to 
cause some confusion, some uh, some trouble for that. Yeah, I, I just lost, I just <laughs> get lost myself in the words. So Ishihara trying to get a bomb, he killed the uh, the the Stargazer with Biakudark. So now it's time to Ishihara to think with patience and advance. So he lost the bomb one more time. Now they are bomb fighting. Uh, Stretch got the bomb, and this could be the the, the space that MSA was in need to get some breath at, and to get some air and then respond to that goal from Romero Faka. So Scratch with the bomb, Stargazer is in there. Now Stargazer is out, Scratch trying to advance. A lot of patience, the Killer J is almost dead, but that Rampage played very well. So now the, the Killer J is actually dead. What? Uh, what? What? Uh, what? A uh, youth made rap. Yes, both ultimates were great. Devil Driver, a very well timed Dirt Devil ultimate, but Ishihara had a jump with Little Monster and he was not afraid of that monster, Chancellor. Okay, so Little Monster is gone right now. So let's see who's gonna take this bomb, and I believe it's gonna be the MSA team with the Stargazer. So Stargazer made a pass to Dev Devil Driver. Stargazer trying to help his teammates. Uh, Devil Driver is gone with the Killer J's rockets, so it's time for their chief sir to carry the bomb and pass to Ishihara. Little Monster is back to the game and Ishihara is controlling her. So now Ishihara lost the bomb one more time, that bomb is, bomb is going to the droppers, but there is a Devil Driver and their Devil Driver trying to get that bomb back. Devil Driver is dead, so Killer J has the bomb and now he's going to try to pass to that uh, Little Monster. Stargazer with Pawn and yeah, th this is gonna be an easy pass for the Romero's Faka. Lane Fair, still with time, he, he, oh, that clunker played very well. One more time with the youth mate, pulling everyone, uh, pushing everyone to him and now he's almost dead. I think he has one HP, but he's not dead in it yet and that was a pass for, oh yeah, he's alive. Thank you, Blackstar. And yeah, Scratch has the bomb, Stargazer is there to help him out. Scratch with the bomb and now we're gonna see some, I don't know, some action maybe. The, the bomb is too concentrate on this part of the arena, you know? By action you mean just a change of scenery, right? Because yes. Because action is on fire in this match. But yes, they're having, both teams are having trouble taking the bomb out of that part of the arena. And can you imagine playing as Stargazer in this game? Yeah. It must be crazy the amount of clicks and fingers you need to have to keep up with all that damage and heal your team. So Scratch with the bomb, here came the Rampage, Scratch is almost dying. So Scratch is finding a place and he was crushed by King Joke. Bonafai has the bomb one more time. He's trying to make a pass, a safe pass for Ishihara and he got it. So our Chiefster has the ultimate ready to use at any part and I believe that they were not used on that part that was tough for them. Right? So one more time, Ishihara with the bomb, trying to find a space and oh, nice jump from the little monster. One more time, Ishihara with the bomb, trying to advance. It's a kind of hard and yeah, like I said, they're using on that part, trying to repair everyone. And now youth mate from, this, from the little monster, Ishihara has the chance. He's trying to advance. The clunker is ready, trying to use his hook. Ishihara is there. He has the jump. The clunker has the hook and oh, that was a good hook. But the, the bomb is with their chief, sir. Here goes Bonafai. He's trying to score. Bonafai. Bonafai. Sensacional. Romero's Faco with the third place of the Metal League North America. They won against Metal Sect Assembly. What a match. What a third game. And what a third place game, right? Yes, exactly, Chancellor. And can you imagine what's coming? Because this is not even the final yet. Uh, and apparently you do need six fingers to play with Stargazer in professional scenery, so yeah, great work from both, te both teams, great strategies. Six fingers? Six fingers. Oh, that is awesome because I have ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. But yeah, you, you can see that with the, the screaming and the, the, the emotion, my hair is just being messed, okay? Uh, Stublem said, Boa Jovis, it's almost Bon Jovis. Um, <laughs> Congratulations to Romero Faka, congratulations to Metal Sect Assembly, that was a nice third, uh, pla third place match. So now we are ready for the finals, I believe, right? 
almost ready, okay, they had a lot of time to get ready <laughs> and they're still not ready, but it's uh, Metal Sect Anarchist from Surgic against the Romero's Bala from Bard. So two different teams, let's see the stats from Romero's Bala. The team number four uh, from our um, seed. Our seed, yes. So Romero's Bala, seventh, sixth, fourth, first, fourth, sixth. So they, they, they like that hill, you know, it's like a mountain for them. That, <laughs> that. Yes. They are that, from that, South that's... American servers, 16 matches they won in 26 that they played. They played a few and still they won a lot. They, they got 61% of win rate. Uh, their team is made by Bard, Sawyer, Pups, Rick Like and Daniel Pena. Most used composition is Little Monster, Vulture, Wildfire and Wind Rider. Do you think we're gonna see a Vulture this time? Perhaps. Sawyer is a great uh, Vulture player. I'm eager to see Vulture show up uh, in Metal League. Here you can clearly see like a uh, South American signature uh, support, which is Wind Rider and a little monstrous transporter. Wildfire seems to be picked a lot by all teams since Wildfire is almost in all uh, most teams used composition. I'm eager to see Vulture Chancellor. Yes, I, I really want to see a Vulture playing this, this finals because it's the finals, right? Um, let's see so the stats from MS Anarchist, the number two team from our seed, right? So Anarchies from Europe, they won 39 matches in 54, uh, win rate of 72.2% of matches, 6th, 3rd, 2nd, 5th, 1st, and then 3rd, user Surgic is the captain, I, I really don't know what it means, T-Bone can help me out, but I believe that is Surgic, the captain, Wallon, Bad Time, Wanking Tows, and No Name. They are the anarchists, they won uh, against the assembly and now they're on the finals, right? Uh, very cool day right now. Yes, very cool day. I'm excited to see how these teams will do against each other because they have very different compositions. Yes, they, both teams can use their favorite compositions and see who yes, is the best. Yes, and like it get, doesn't get in the way of their <laughs> own composition because yeah. they have very different gameplay style. Uh, while Homero's Bala is focusing on dealing damage and taking down the opponents with damage, you can see that Anarchis focuses on dropping the bomb. They use a clunker chance. Do you know, it, it would be fun to watch like they play uh, they, they play uh, against each other with their most used team compositions and then swapping it so they have to play with the composition of <laughs> the, the other opening teams. yeah that, yeah, would, be, that would be fun that's kind watch. of a, a fun thing we can do with the community actually yes. if you think about it <laughs> like the most used compositions and then the other team has to use your composition and see how you deal like a well, it actually, they might not work out because if you play a lot with that composition, you probably know the weakest, like the weaknesses of your composition. Yeah. Right? But yeah, it, it would be fun. What do you think? Let us know in the comments, actually, if that's something you want to see, because it seems a lot of fun. So two more minutes to see the draft of the grand finals. The first match, Romero's Bala, who had the, uh, the fourth place in our seed during the qualifiers against MS Anarchis, the the top two, right? Yes. And it, this is the first time that we're not gonna see the first team against the second, you know? Neo Knights is not exactly. there. Exactly. And Metal Sect Assembly is exactly. not there. So it's the, the second against the fourth. So we started this playoffs already in Shock Me and Chancellor by seeing Neo Knights and Broadkill out so early in the competition. This was not something we were expecting, but we're happy to see. We're yeah. happy with what the teams are delivering and their gameplay. It's and on it's point. awesome to see the how we're going to see another t another uh, match between a Homeros and an MSA and a MSA team you know one more time uh, Europe against uh, South, South America. America yeah so this is the, I think this is the right uh, match for a final in the North America sounds server, you know? right to me too Chancellor. okay team one is anarchist they banned vulture so I don't I, I think we're not gonna see the vulture <laughs> yeah I think this, this final this, this uh, there's a lot at stake here so the winning team will take two thousand dollars home that's a lot and you don't want to risk that having your your op opponent play with their best interceptor yes and let's see who Humanus Bala will uh, will ban, right? So, yeah, I, I really don't know who's gonna be the, the, 
the winner. So let's see this the stats from them. Uh, Romero's Bala had, has played with Vulture 15 times and they won 10. So it's a 66.7% of win rate. So no Vulture, no Stargazer for, no, for both teams. So let's see who Anarchist will pick first. Remember, um, they both then one of the the opponent's uh, most used composition so rampage first for the anarchists so they will follow their strategy of getting a rampage uh, every match yes right? just remembering rampage has been picked 44 times by anarchists during the the metal league they have 32 victories with that it is a 72 win 72 percent win rate with rampage that's a very strong pick to lead open to honor kiss. Uh, just to be sure, Zika just asked us about the, the banner, you know, inside the arena. So we need at least one Metal Pass season to produce the banner inside the arena since it's a, it's an asset, it's a visual asset. We cannot, tonight we're gonna know who is gonna be the winner, but we don't have uh, time uh, doable to, to uh, put the banner inside the, the arena and already released on this season. So. The banner of this winner will come when the season seven arrives, right? Like Roadkill that won the the South American Championship, will the, the uh, Metal League will come, will have the, their banner on this Wednesday. Yes, me and Chancellor, we did a live stream last Thursday where we showed the content of what's coming in the next season of the Metal Pass, and with that, you have seen the banner for Roadkill, winner of the South American Metal League. Uh, is on, on the arenas already. Okay, Humerus Bala with Little Monster and Killer J. They've played Killer J nine times and they won four. So it's a 44.4% percent, percent of... Yes. Uh, yeah, finally we're gonna see the row banner there. Um, so, yeah, they... Killer J, they don't, they don't have Vulture. They can wait for Wildfire later, so they are... They're uh, betting on the Killer J to drop that bomb, right? Yes, and we'll probably see a Black Lotus sometime here for assembly since it's open. And Humerus Bala has already picked their little monster, which is their most uh, picked transporter, as you said now, right, Chancellor? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so I wonder what they will do against that because they've already picked both their favorite uh, dropping uh, interceptors. Yeah, and okay, Clunker and Archivser for the Metal Sect Anarchist, so we're gonna have the pick from Romero's Bala. <coughs> Which pick do you think that will be? Because, well, they already have a little monster and a killer jade, the most uh, picked interceptors for Romero's Bala are Wildfire, Vulture, and Killer Jade, so maybe we'll see a Wildfire to help a Killer Jade deal damage with the. Uh, with for Killer J, Wildfire help Killer J. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're gonna see maybe Wind Rider, or do you think they're gonna pick Wildfire and let Wind Rider for last? Like they already have uh, support on the enemy team. Yeah, yeah they, I think it's Wildfire. I think it's the, uh, the, what they are worry. It's what they don't want to show yet. You know, so we will have to think what what's most okay. Oh, so Wind, it's Rider. Wind Rider. Okay. Yeah, yeah that. That's their favorite pick, so for transport. It for makes support, sense. They don't it makes sense, yeah. yeah. But I, I would say that they will go with Wildfire as their less interceptor, or perhaps a Peacemaker. We'll see, maybe? Yeah, probably a Peacemaker. I believe in that because Sawyer can play very well with Peacemaker, and they have a Rampage and a nice bringer on the other side, so this is a good way yeah, we've to kill a Peacemaker. Metal's Bala has them. only picked Peacemaker twice in this tournament, and they won both, so their Peacemaker 100 has a 100% win, win rate. So maybe, yeah, uh, that's yeah, my guess is Peacemaker or Wildfire. Let's see yeah, what... But, but Sawyer really likes to play with the Dirt Devil. I don't know, I can't see it. <laughs> that's Somehow true. he's... Oh, a Stingray! That okay, was unexpected. Unexpected, totally unexpected. Have they picked... No Wildfire! This is the first time they're picking Ever. Stingray during this competition. That's... that's bold. That's, that's bold. bold, yeah, move. that's... that's risky. So, I think they were on the custom match lobby already, or preparing that. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. What what do you think? Which team do you think has the advantage so far with this draft? Well, that's very hard to say. Well, get 
honor case has a lot of drops. Well, they have a clunker to drop, they have ice bringer to drop the bomb, and they have rampage. That's a lot of drops that Homero's Bala will have to deal with. So the jumps from Little Monster are going to be very important. And let's see if they can keep them away from Little Monster for them to transport. Okay, so Surgic, No Name, Bad Time, and Winking Toss, they are already there. Uh, which one they, which player they bang, they bench? It was Wallum. Yes, it was Wallum. So Daniel Pena, Pups, I believe that we're gonna see Sawyer and Bards for the team too, or maybe Ricky and Bards. I, I really don't know. And Who's some interesting information about these teams is that Metal Sack Anarchist has like three of four actually of their players are started playing heavy metal machines in 2017 Chancellor. But for Humeros Bala, they have the old one of the oldest players, which is Sawyer, that started playing heavy metal machines in 2015. That's a four years ago already. Yeah, and, oh. and Daniel Pena joined on January of 2016, so she he is very old as well, you know. Yes. They are the most veteran players that we have. Okay, Ricky is there. So Ricky, Pups, Daniel Pena. I don't know if they're gonna go with Bards or uh, Sawyer. So let's wait for that. They're, they're probably, yeah, I, I would say they would go with Sawyer because of the, or maybe not, right? Because yeah. Because we haven't seen a strong pick for Sawyer in that that draft. So it Yeah, might no be. Peacemaker, no Vulture, no Daredevil. I don't know, Sawyer can play a lot of roles, but I don't know if they want to do that. Yes, because Sawyer has been playing for so long, his pilot, like pool of pilots he can play is big, and he knows how to play with all of them, but Stingray, that's the first now, Biakodark is saying that she's going to cheer for the other MSA. So, another MSA against another Humerus. You know, she's going to cheer for them. Yeah, it makes sense, too, because they both play in the same region. And, yeah. And you can see that Blackstar is very rich, you know. Look how much fame he has. Yes, Blackstar can sure use the, you know, the event to use some fame to buy some models. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations, Black Star. Black Star. <laughs> okay. Uh, waiting for them. Come on, Homeros Bala. Where's the fourth player? Oh, I'm so eager to watch this. Yeah, so uh, let's see what the people were talking in the chat. Uh, go, MSA. Uh, go, Homeros. Almost sitting on 400k. Okay, Jeff, you were just busy. You know, you have <laughs> too many, too much money. You should money, 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 money. Fame, actually, you know. Uh, please, Romero's, put your fourth player in the match. Yes, Chancellor is eager to start narrating this match. Yes, I want that so much. And I want to make some comments. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so who do you think is going to be Sawyer or Bards? I really, well, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know who, who's coming. Maybe Bards, I guess, because of the Stingray, but it could be Sawyer. Sawyer is coming, okay. Sawyer is coming. Oh, now right. I know that it's Sawyer. Where is Sawyer? Relax, okay. Maybe Sawyer had some problem with the internet. Zika Fool, look at me in the friend list. Congratulations, Zika. So <laughs> now we can show you in the finals. Look at you. Actually, we showed Zika on the last finals. It was Hachi Blue against Roadkill, you know? That's true. Already okay, got some. teams are ready. Right? Sawyer, Ricky, Pups, and Daniel Pena. Bards is benched. And the other side, Surgic, No Name, Bad Time, Winking Toss, and... The Wallon, uh, Wallon is benching. So. I think we're gonna see like the action will probably start very early because it's hard to tell which team will get to the bomb first, Chancellor. Yeah. So, so Little Monster has the advantage of being able to pull the bomb towards her, as we have no Peacemaker in this match. Peacemaker won't be able to help with with weapon two, and mm -hmm. there is no Black Lotus as well, which always gets to the bomb first. So I think we'll already see some. 
some heavy destruction heavy fighting, destruction fighting for the bomb in the beginning mm -hmm. so yeah let's see who's gonna take the first bomb but first let's take let's see who which player will take each character so daniel Peña will transport that is new for me i'm not used to see him transporting pups with the wind rider uh ricky with the killer j and sawyer with the stingray uh, Surgic with the Rampage, No Name with the uh, Clunker, Winking Toss with her Chipster, and Bad Time with Icebringer. We know how how well Bad Time can play with that Icebringer, yes, you know? Yes, we have seen his, his, the impact it has on the match uh, in the last match that they played, and it's insane the amount of drops that Bad Time is able to do with Icebringer. Uh, he really made a little monster cry uh, in the last match. Okay, a nice bringer. And Ooh. it's, yeah, it's hard. Maybe, maybe Assembly will have the advantage of getting the bomb because of Clunker. Clunker <laughs> might be able to pull the bomb towards Icebringer, and then Humedos Bala will have to drop the bomb from Icebringer. Yeah, especially Wing Rider, she must, uh, she have to, she has to hit the Buffaloes in the right time, and the Killer J will have to be all the time around that that ice bringer right so uh the teams are ready let's start the final of the metal league north america and the whoa that was, was a lot of jumps from for daniel pena with the little monster here comes Romero's bala with the little monster and i believe oh the clunker is gone whoa 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 that ice bringer there's a lot of woes yes i know <laughs> but that ice bringer was almost gone you know that Romero's bala team has a lot of damage coming from everywhere there was tough for uh ms anarchy so one more time daniel pena with the little monster trying to avoid the 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 Trying to avoid the ice bringer now. The rampage is there. He's trying to get the the repair points, but yeah, that was not Where? enough. And ice bringer finally got the bomb. Yes, I was looking for that ice bringer. He almost went down because trying to drop the bomb from little monster, and then he had to go heal uh, while his team got possession of the bomb. I'm glad that he was there to get it. Okay, the return of Zizu said that. Uh, so far so okay the ice bringer has the bomb and now it's gonna be tough for the humedos to take this bomb away I, there's two pilots that you have to pay attention it's uh killer j and wind rider they have to find a way to drop this bomb because ice bringer has a thousand health points so it's gonna be hard for them to kill this guy not only that and their support is artificer and artificer can easily hit her healing uh, skills on ice bringer uh -huh. because of ice bringer's size it's a huge truck the clunker has the youth mate ready the clunker is trying to do something with his hook ice bringer is there still trying to advance so uh, it, it's critical for the Humero Zubala to score when they get the bomb first because it seems that like it's gonna be hard for them to get this bomb away yeah, they have two chances of dropping, which is why Chancellor asked you to pay attention to Wind Rider and Killer J. Mm. But if they don't hit that, then it's a really a hard time. Very critical situation. Okay, the Stingray is gone. The Killer J is gone. The stringing, stringer, Stingray is reconstructing. And now the Ice Bringer going to the first score of the day. And it's a score. Okay, so Anarchist got the first score of the finals. And it seems that no one can stop this Icebringer. A nice buff that we made, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely, because Icebringer was not showing up. And I'm sure Bad Time was very happy when he heard about that buff. Okay, this is the Icebringer Bad Time. The Ice Power. And That's the Fafnir's treasure yeah, model. Yeah, that is from, an amazing it's a model, beautiful right? beautiful model. Okay, the bomb is there. Let's see who's gonna take it. And it's the MSA team. So it seems like the Homeros won't have any chance. To, whoa! Almost dying, winking toss, and he's not dead yet. But Sawyer has the bomb with the the, the shark stingray and baby shark. Do 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 do. He's carrying the bomb all the way, trying to find a space. Rafaelino almost. He spits his water here in our studio so yeah it's yeah this this song will will be inside your heads for the rest of the day 
Okay, winking toss with the bomb, trying to fight. Yeah, <laughs> miss full screen. I knew <laughs> it. That you... Miss full screen is still watching. We actually have a situation with Chancellor at Hopland where we have to keep Chancellor from singing that song. And now it's too late. Chancellor has done it in the Metal League Finals. Okay, so winking toss with the bomb, trying to pass to the Ice Bringer. Ice Bringer was there, uh, ready to just get the get the bomb. So it was it was amazing, you know. Um, yeah, don't flood the studio. We, I won't. I promise. So Death is there. Uh, Death, uh, not Death. <laughs> Sawyer is Death trying to kill that Ice Bringer, uh, but Bad Time is there. Oh, that was a good usage of uh, Weapon Two of the Killer J, but Ooh. he didn't. Uh, he didn't kill the Rampage with the passive because of the shovel. So Ishihara, not Ishihara, Daniel Pena had some real hard times to keep himself alive. And No Name had the bomb, he tried to pass, that was a mess, but the, the clunker, the Rampage got it back for the MSA. So a trial of a pass, but it didn't work well. Hickey with the bomb trying to go forward. He's now almost dying and he didn't kill anyone. So Romero's has two men down and at the same time Daniel Pena has the bomb for them. So the clunker got it, the little monster almost lost the bomb, uh, Ice Ringer actually got it. So it's gonna be tough for them to get the bomb back one more time. Stingray reborning, Killer J reborning and now let's see how good is this Romero's Bala trying to intercept this bomb from Ice Ringer. Yes, and Chancellor, you mentioned that you were surprised to see Daniel Pena carrying the bomb, but Daniel Pena used to be a great Black Lotus player back like a few years back, so Daniel Pena has some experience yes, the transporting experience, the bomb. Yeah, you were right. Uh, bad time trying to go with the ramp. Oh, here comes the ultimate and he missed it. So now backwards, bad time trying to go. Using the youth mate, he didn't froze anyone. The missed weapon too from our from uh, Wind Rider. Bad time is always dying, but our chipster came to re to uh, help him. So it seems that it's going to be a score. And oh my God, it, it is a score. Two zero for the anarchists. Yes, uh, and it's impressive that Bad Time playing with Ice Springer, not only is, is he great at dropping the bomb with Ice Springer, but even with the size of that truck, he, he has been dodging Stingray, Ultimates, and Wind Riders, uh, Buffaloes. Yes, that was amazing. Uh, oh, or sensational, like my dear friend. No, I, I would go with a Basie. I really enjoyed a Basie. A Basie? Yeah, yeah. We have a Basie now, okay? A Basie, okay. Winking Toss with the bomb, it seems that like it, it's always Winking Toss who got the bomb in the first place. So Sawyer made the pass, that pass <laughs> was a mess and no name has the bomb and now he's going to try to pass for his teammate uh, bad time but he's being focused by all the other players so the clunker is trying to make a pass and the pass, uh, yeah he didn't yet. So no name with the bomb, Pups is trying to uh, repair himself, he's almost dying, so the Killer J is there, now another trial of getting Ooh. some space, <laughs> what a hook, right? <laughs> that uh, Clunker does Whoa, he not lost the bomb. want a little monster on him, that was a bad hook, Yeah, that's not the fish you want to catch. Yeah, that's not, but uh, now he was able to get a pass it, oh, baby shark, do 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 do. Yeah, Miss Full Screen, that was for you. So that was a great use of the huge made from uh, Stingray's uh, Shark model. So now Daniel Pena has the bomb and Humerus can try to score for the first time. So, uh, oh, he lost it. He stepped into the dropper, but Pups has the bomb. He's trying to find some space. Everyone was around him. Now he's trying to pass the bomb to his... Uh, yeah, to his little monster, it didn't work it well. So little monster with the youth mate trying to get some space. Oh, I, I hate when that happened. And yes. it seems that like bad time can do it all the time. He has you know? such good control of that ice bringer. He uses all his weapons for the right purpose at the right time. He just pushed weapon two to push little monster away from him. He's like, nope, I don't want you following me. Okay, ice bringer with the bomb trying to 
get some space one more time. Uh, yeah, that was... Oh, that Killer J didn't kill anyone. So now it's three, it's two against four. For MSA, this could be the last round, the last score for this match for the European team. And here goes the Ice Ringer, bad time, carrying the bomb. Here goes, bad time, bad time, bad time with a good time. Victory for the Anarchists. And the Icy Power was showed by bad time. That was amazing. That's even more amazing when you consider that in general stats, Icebringer is the least picked transporter. Icebringer, as I said before, has been picked 42 times and won only 18 of those 42 picks. That's a 42% win rate. And here we have Bad Time. He doesn't care about those numbers. He just picks Icebringer, yeah. does his job. He knows how to, to play yes, Icebringer and... well, you know? So we're going to the second match right now, and it's very important that right now Humerus Bala has the advantage of banning first and picking first. And I don't know what they will what will they do. You know, like what what is missing for them? What they have to do to win this? Yeah, second I think match? after what we've seen here, they will probably ban Icebringer. Perhaps it's it's been tough to deal with. And let uh, Black Lotus and Stargazer. They well, they can pick one. And then uh, uh, Honor Kids have to deal with Vulture too, so it's it's a tough pick. Next, ban Icebringer, not Ice, please. Yes, I think Dev is agreeing with you, you know? <laughs> yeah, because clearly Icebringer set the pace of this game because Icebringer didn't have the bomb, he didn't have trouble getting possession of it back, and with the bomb, he didn't lose it. Yeah. Uh, what I can say, this is fun to watch. I'm very happy that we are having this broadcast with the finals of the North America uh, Metal League because it was a pleasure to be here for the third time in a row. So let's see the draft. So Stargazer and Vulture one more time. So no Stargazer for the MSA, no Vulture for the Humeros Bala team. They kept, they kept their, their bands, right? I wonder if they already thought of a strategy to deal with Icebringer, maybe, because we know that Humerus Bala does not play yeah. well with Icebringer, does he? We know that, we know that um, Rampage is a very good pick against Icebringer, and uh, Peacemaker could be, right? Yeah, well, actually, Humerus Bala has played three times with Icebringer, and they won two. They might maybe take the pick away from, from Bad Time? Mm, I don't know. We might could be, be this... could be, but I don't know. I, I'm feeling like it's it's hard for them. Oh, wildfire! Fire. Fire. That pick was That's unexpected. Not what, yeah. Yes, not I don't know what Black they are Lotus, planning. Not rampage. Yeah, no. that I don't know what they are planning, but uh, they are believing on this new strategy. Yes, they could work. Have something in mind because that's that's a lot of there's a lot at stake here, and that was their first pick. So I'm eager to see what they thought of doing. They need a rampage or their their devil against the ice. Death is saying so. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, yes, let's see how how anarchists are gonna respond now with the picks because they cannot pick Stargazer, and maybe they'll do Black Rampage. Rampage. Okay, Rampage. that was the first. Yeah, that that was the most. Uh, okay. And a clunker. clunker. Okay, well, the Humerus Bala will have the again. chance to get the Icebringer one more time, but I'm not seeing them doing that. Yeah, but Honor Kiss, Rampage and Clunker are their most picked interceptors, so they're they're in the comfortable zone here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I truly believe that. So, 1-0 for MSA and Humerus Bala now has the chance to pick first. We already saw the pick with Wildfire, now Killer J. I don't know if they're going to pick Little Monster, but could be. Uh, I, I, I'm really um, unsure about the, what they're planning. Like, I, I cannot predict what is coming. Yeah. Photon. Photon! Oh, okay. this is the trick here. Yeah. Right. I think they believe so much in the Brazilian power with Photon from the yes. last Metal League that now it's a Photon coming and it's gonna be interesting to we see. We have seen this happen before and it was amazing, so we might be very surprised with the outcome of this match. Yeah. Definitely two picks we were not expecting here. I would pick Peacemaker for them. Like, Peacemaker is low and Photo needs people around her to uh, use his weapon 2 to, and his weapon 3 to get uh, repair for, her, for herself. 
So yeah, I would choose Peacemaker since Sawyer can play so so uh, good with the Peacemaker. Do you think this photo is gonna be the transporter, Chancellor? Yeah, probably. Oh. I, I'm not seeing the Wildfire doing that. Uh, even though I know that Daniel Pena can transport with Wildfire very well, but I believe that Daniel Pena will pick the photo and they will let uh, Wildfire for another uh, for another like pups for another player. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I think it's Wildfire for pups. Uh, Killer J for Ricky, Photon for Daniel Pena, and let's see who's gonna. I, I would pick Peacemaker for Sawyer, you know. Um, on the MSA side, they have the Rampage, the Clunker, and uh, our Chief Sir. So I believe that they were gonna. Yeah, Peacemaker for Sawyer, like I predicted. Now, finally, Very. finally, <laughs> yes, I got the. Yes, we're the... gonna see Sawyer performing with his Peacemaker and also Wildfire, although we were. Uh impressed with the pick at the moment it was picked but wildfire is the ice most picked again. interceptor so they have ice bringer again you know it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy for homeros even though they win this yeah, one yeah the 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 ma last match went very well for honor kids there is no reason really for them to adapt to this since uh homeros bala decided to go with this completely yeah different they have strategy. one victory as advantage so yes. this could be the game for msa yes. and for homeros they they must win this one if they want to play on the third game and compete for the championship. Because it's not only about the money, you know, but about having your banner inside the arena. It's a very good it's, thing. Yeah, it will stay there for a long time too. Uh, so yeah, the winner of this, this match will take $2,000 home. It's not all about the money, but you know, $2,000, it's a pretty good price. Yeah, it's a pretty good, pre pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty gold. Yeah, pretty you can gold. say pretty gold too. Okay. Uh, Birikita called them traitors because they picked Photon, I believe. Uh, well, in uh, a yeah, way, I don't if you think about it, they're representing the South American meta game. So. Oh, no, it's because he's cheering for them, you know? Oh, okay. and, and the other people were call, calling him traitor. But yeah, I think the Brazilian community will support Romero's Bala and the European community will support the MSA. So. Metal League, North America, the middle term, the middle latency between Europe and Brazil. We're seeing a Humeros team against an MSA on the third place game and a Humeros team against another MSA on the finals. Brazil against Europe, uh, South America against Europe and a very co good contest. We're going to see the difference, you know, the, the meta of both communities. They are very different. They use the pilots in different ways and we're going to see how they will do it in this match could be the last one if msa win could be the second if romero's bala win so and we frequently see both communities actually arguing sometimes sometimes about what is best and how to best play the game because each community plays in a different way and here's a chance for them to prove which one works best in the metal league uh, north america final okay so joke is saying that the peacemaker will melt the ice from Icebringer. Uh, and Stu Blame said that your head, your, your forehead is uh, shiny, you know? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing, but it's, yeah. She said, he said that Saramante suas entradas estão reluzindo. Okay. Yeah, we, we still, we're not wearing any makeup also, so that might be something we'll see around for the next Metal League. Who okay. knows? We already have fancy clothes. Uh, yeah, Daniel Pena has left, so let's see who's gonna join the Homeros team. Um, user Surgic Bedtime, oh my god, now sorry oh, has left. The, no, the... guys, you have to join, not leave. <laughs> uh, surgic Bedtime, no name, and Wanking Toss, so we're not gonna see uh, Wallon on this match, right? Oh, we already have some amazing here. See, Miss Full Screen, heard amazing. you saying you're amazing. Yes. It's because, yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah, My it's throat very is, amazing. is full of. It's bem uh, bacional. Bem bacional. Sem bacional. What do you think? MSA. Share the cachaça. Emma sensacional. Share the cachaça? Yeah. Oh, they heard us drinking cachaça here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I will send some cachaça to France one day. So I'm gonna see how they can play heavy metal machines with cachaça. Okay. Uh, Ricky joins. So bars, Ricky. We're gonna see bars for the first time. 
right? He was not playing on that yes. composition. So, Sawyer, Pups, and Daniel Pena. Which two will join the match? We have actually Daniel Pena already. Oh my god, what is going on? They left again. They having they are having some troubles with the connection, right? Yes. Okay, so let's wait for them a little bit and yeah. Cachaça for AJMM kit, yeah. Oh, that would be awesome, but I, I yeah I cannot <laughs> I cannot do that for now. Uh, Daniel Pena now joins, so Ricky Daniel. Let's see if it's gonna Sawyer. be Sawyer or Pups. I believe that it's gonna be Sawyer. You know, yeah, I, because I, of the pick. I've seen Sawyer playing with the Peacemaker for a while. It's Sawyer, there he is, and we're about to start the second match of the Metal League NA Finals. If um, Honorkist win this match, they take the prize, and if Bala wins the match, then we go for a third match to see who will take it. The second seed against the fourth seed, so no first seed, no third seed on this final. Yep. Right? So they are ready, and they will start. Good luck and have fun, said Black Star. Oh my God, what Great a man! Great example for the community. Great example, yes. Healthy. Uh, never, he never was toxic. Healthy attitude. No, Black no. Star Thank never. Thank Congratulations, Black Star. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just surprised the enemy, but I prefer one T. Yeah, you don't drink. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, the Birikita didn't uh, drink alcohol. Remember? He doesn't, I guess, ne? Yeah. Ne. Yeah, ne. <laughs> okay. So Sawyer with the Peacemaker, like we predicted, Bards with Wildfire, Ricky with the Killer J, and Daniel Pena with the Photon. We can see Winking Toss with the Archiefster, No Name with the Clunker one more time, Bad Time with the uh, Icebringer, and uh, Surgic with the Rampage. I believe that the MSA has the same, exactly the same team and same players playing there. Yeah, this is a very dangerous actually composition from Bala because no one needs to help Pena transport as Photon. He can handle the situation and then you have three interceptors on the other team all the time. That's gonna be tough. That's a lot of pressure and, and, on and, metal sec assembly. Yeah, and he's Daniel anarchist. Pe I'm sorry. Daniel Pena he is, and knows very well how to dodge the enemy's weapons, but it doesn't mean that they will be able to dodge all the weapons. You know? Yeah, but if you think we know that they that he's good at doing that, but is he? Uh, no one is perfect. You know, it could be hard for him. But it's a lot of artillery and fire on top of anarchist. And it's a lot harder for Clunker to hit that, that hook on a photon also. Yes, so this that is true. pick it's actually it might have been a bit neutralized if you think about it. That was a good way for Bala to counter that pick from, from Okay. Anarchist. The green light on the screen. Let's see who's gonna take the bomb first. And it's Daniel Pena with the photon. So the combination of uh, Killer J not Killer J. Oh my god, already? Uh, that, yeah, Photon that's... and the Peacemaker really helped the Humanos Bala to get the bomb first, but it seems that this time, bad time, we'll have bad time to, uh, with the, the, the opposite team. And that's also a weakness of Photon, it's a very light car, so Icebringer can push Everyone Photon. Everyone can one. push Yeah, her. everyone, but especially Icebringer's weapon 1, and we know that bad time is very good at using those weapons, so Daniel Pan might actually have some trouble dodging from Bad times yeah, I one. think they, they got uh, Wildfire and... Oh my god, the youth mate and he is oh, gone! Ready? Yes, what a play from Sawyer! So now... Oh, okay, so now <laughs> finally Homeros has the bomb and it seems like, like their, their strategy is working, you know? They are... Uh, they are... They was able to kill the Icebringer and it was amazing how... How they made that, you know? Like, oh... Sawyer, uh, Daniel Pena lost the bomb and the Rampage got it. But uh, they are doing their job, they are killing and keeping that Rampage, that Icebringer with low life and that is amazing. Yes, that's what happens when you have three Interceptors and also Photon is able to deal guaranteed damage, you know. All Photon has to do is hit that weapon more and then the damage goes in. Yeah, so now Killer J with the youth mate, the Peacemaker is there, the Killer J's weapon made, the Peacemaker missed the, the first weapon, 
So yeah, bad time with low life as we expected now recovering himself. But great use of weapon two now. Weapon two from Killer J and Daniel Payne will take the bomb and let's see how well he can transport. He has the youth mate ready, so this is gonna be a a key factor for Daniel Payne if he wants to advance in the middle of whole, the whole team fighting. And in the meanwhile, in the comments of our Twitch channel, people are talking about drinking and drive, and that's not something we, yes. we would we tell recommend. you to do. Yeah, we don't recommend you drink and drive at all. Someone okay. mentioned drink and drive, and that's a lot more dangerous too. That was amazing by... The, a great move by, the, the, by Sawyer with the, the Peacemaker. He's trying to... I don't know, just something with this clunker, but uh, yeah, it's... Whoa! There was a nice combo from Killer J and, and Peacemaker, but then our Chipster got uh, uh, close enough to help him. So Photon now trying to intercept this bomb. Wildfire, Peacemaker, and one more time. It's gonna be a tough day for bad times. It's gonna be hard times for him. So yeah, uh, Zika was surprised for how fast uh, Daniel was made was able to get his youth mate. Oh, Sawyer actually, I think. And Sawyer, oh yes, yeah, Sawyer. Sawyer uh, got his ultimate for Peacemaker very early in the the match, and he used it perfectly. Mhm. Mm You're right. So now, who has the special weapon? Is the Ice Ringer, but it was ineffective. I think it's it's like uh, Bad Time can play Ice Ringer very well, but this is his uh, worst. Um, Worst skill with piece, with ice breaker, you know. He's very good with weapon one and two, but he uh, I didn't see him uh, 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 hitting a lot of weapons, uh, special weapons so far. So Daniel Pena repairing himself, trying to uh, get some space, trying to get this bomb out of his field. Uh, now the ice bringer got the bomb, and it's going to be for the MSA one more time. The bomb zero against. 0-0 uh, with MSA against Kumeros Bala and <coughs> Icebringer has the ball. And Icebringer is struggling <laughs> a lot to stay alive. Icebringer is down. Sawyer, Wildfire and Killer J are just dishing out so much damage on that Icebringer. They don't care about dropping the bomb if they have Icebringer down. So, I wonder how much damage Sawyer's uh, Peacemaker dealt. So far? 10,000. So oh my god. Far, it's it's by far the top. Yeah, double. Yes. Like you, both that's both <laughs> interceptors from Honor Kiss dealt five thousand each, so they have put together to deal only Sawyer's uh, percentage of the damage. That's yeah. amazing. No wonder uh, Icebringer is going down so fast, Chancellor. Okay, Daniel Payne tried to avoid. He was able to make a pass. Now he's trying to get the bomb back because he thought that he would lose. Uh, Bards with the wildfire, maybe he was able to score. Here goes Bards, and it is a score for Romero's Bala. 1-0 for the South American team. Yeah, this is the second game. They have to win this, and we might go to a third game then. Jason. Yes, I believe that because Icebringer wasn't able to move further on uh, the... Yeah, apparently this composition completely neutralized bad times uh, Icebringer because we are seeing the opposite of what we have been seeing this far. Okay, uh, Zika is not cheering for third game, so actually he's cheering for MSA. The first bomb possession will be from for Daniel Pena with the uh, with the photo. Now he's trying to... Oh, th that was tough for a photo, you know? Yeah, she's so light. Exactly. She's so light. Is that a joke? No, because you know photon light. Oh, the, you, you were right. <laughs> she's so light. Yes, yeah, photon yeah. is so light. I, I like this joke now. So uh, ice bringer with the bomb. Let's see if Anarchist can respond with another score. Uh, Sawyer is trying to kill on top of your screen. Ice bringer against three. Here comes the rampage to help, but ice bringer is almost dying, and I think it's gonna be tough for this ice bringer to do something. Um, without the help of her sister, you know, and like he was. You can see how skillful Sawyer is with Peacemaker because of the way he uses his weapon, his weapon 2. Most people will turn on weapon 2 and start following their target with the marker. Sawyer uses it in a different uh, place and then turns to hit immediately, so you don't know that's coming for you. That's very smart from Sawyer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, uh... It's hard for you to dodge if you're not seeing the, the, yes. the aim, you know? 
So yeah, um, who's there? I think it's Bars with the Wildfire trying to, to deal some damage. Uh, Killer J missed the weapon too one more time. Uh, the bomb is there with Icebringer. He was able to go. Look how messy is the track right now. The, the <laughs> yes, so the amount of hazard and <laughs> so many things going and on. And Icebringer is still alive, but there's three people around him, and he has no. Uh, uh, okay, now their chips are came and he's trying to help him, but he's gone. He's gone, and now the rampage is gone as well. So. Uh, Humerus has four players against two from MSA and MSA was able to manage and make a pass but uh, Artificer is gone and that was a bad pass and it's going to be fight at oh no okay so Killer J with the bomb trying to pass this bomb to the Photon Photon got it so here goes Daniel Pena trying to find his pace and yeah that was not easy for him you know, the Clunker got the interception, but the bomb is loose, and Sawyer will, will, will be able to get it. And Sawyer one more time with the bomb, but almost dying, trying to pass the bomb, and he, the, the, the Ice Bringer got it back. Yeah, that's it's still, bad time is still struggling to stay alive. Maybe now they'll get to the delivery, Chancellor, because... Icebringer is getting close. Yes, Icebringer with the bomb could be the tie. Icebringer one more time and he scored! What a play! I thought that the, the Humerus would be able to, to save the bomb, but the Clunker came and this is a score. Tied game here, one on one. Yeah, that's that's a very good match. Very high level of gameplay here from, from both teams, both strategically and mechanically. I'm... Oh... This is why we're here. This is why this is the finals, right, Chance? Okay, this is the finals. This is the reason. So, uh, let's go and let's see you. Who's, oh, that, that Peacemaker missed the weapon too, but uh, Daniel Pena was able to get the bomb as well. So, here goes Daniel Pena trying to score for the second time on this match. It was hard for him. Oh, this Peacemaker, the, this uh, Icebringer is very hard to dodge. And I don't know why... You, that but yeah okay thank you <laughs> um uh, is just messed with my comments here so i couldn't see the chat you know but um daniel pena with the this is the this is the 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 downside of taking photon you know she was so light that a clunker could easily get the bomb from him uh, again so yeah. now the the bomb is uh, with the ice bringer and he's advancing on your on his own field. Yeah, Photon is very close to Ice Bringer, just you know, like kinda like a parasite, just driving right by Ice Bringer to keep hitting the Whoa. Weapons. W it was special weapon but didn't work that well for the peacemaker. Yeah, Go. Ice Bringer is bad time is being able to stay alive for longer. And Daniel Pena with Photon has been having more trouble to get to the delivery. Okay, another usage of the special weapon and now he was he got two people. Okay, uh, I'll never say anything about you again, bad time. So the Peacemaker made the pass to the Photon and the Photon is trying to... Get, oh, that was... Ooh. Ooh, that is so sad. It's like paper and rocks, you know? <laughs> yes. But, uh, and this time the rock won. <laughs> So, um, the bomb is there and no one seems to care. Okay, now <coughs> the bars, now the wildfire got it with bars. And we've seen wildfire carrying the bomb very efficiently in a past game. We'll see if bars can do the same. But Photon is up. Where is Daniel Payne? I don't know where is. Oh, Daniel Payne is there. Maybe they changed their strategy. Maybe now it's going to be bars the one who's going to carry and. Uh, Photon will just be a support like she was designed to be, she was meant to be, I don't know. It seems like this is the new composition that they were trying. Yeah. You know, Photon is not trying to get the bomb. Maybe That's, this is... It, this is one of the advantages of this composition. It needs... Whoa! What? The, that what? Has... Where did Sawyer come yes. from out of that explosion? The, the, I, I don't know why that became a pass, but yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh, two, whoa! Four oh. deaths! So wow. now it's a Killer J against a Nice Bringer and a Clunker. There, these are the three pilots that we have. Now they are fighting against each other there, and the Ice Bringer is just uh, walking. Okay, now Ice Bringer has the attention one more time for us. 
Uh, whoa, nice usage of the youth mate trying to kill a lot of people. The other youth mate, but that was perfect. Avoid by the enemy, uh, by MSA, and it seems like the MSA will have the chance to score one more time. But Icebringer is almost dying, and now he's saved. No! Daniel Pena with the kill. So a photon killed an Icebringer, and now it's time to see if this photon is able to deliver it. Yes, this time Daniel Pena has his special weapon with photon, so it's a lot easier for photon to stay alive when she has all her weapons turned on. Let's see if Daniel Pena will make it past the droppers and all these curves. For you, Tubi TV uh, underline VG, we are uh, broadcasting the MSA against Humerus Bala. So it's the South American uh, best uh, team so far against the best European team so far playing on the North American uh, server. So they have the middle term latency and we're seeing who's gonna be the great winner to get $2,000. So uh, Daniel Pena with the photon on the last stretch line from uh, the enemy's field. I wonder if Sawyer has his ultimate. How long until Sawyer has his ultimate? Can we see that? Here goes Daniel Pena trying to score and what a score! score. They didn't need it. Man, that was like, uh, uh, that, that was money, you know? He, 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 he uh, throw that in the, the the, the oh my god, I just it's kind of like a blind <laughs> spot. No yeah. one was expecting no that one to the, be. I, I cannot express in words how <laughs> surprised I got by that goal. <laughs> yes. No one expected that bomb to be released so early. Yes, 2 1 for Humerus Bala. Let's see if they were they will be able to make this match, uh, <laughs> create a third match. Yeah, this full screen has the. Perfect. Oh, actually, we cannot translate this because it's only funny in Portuguese. Yes. But the lattice hands <laughs> that made that bomb drop so early. Okay, so Icebringer with the bomb. If Homeros win this time, we're gonna have a third game. If MSA win, we're gonna have MSA as the great champion. So right now, the Icebringer is dead and Bars has the bomb. Two men down for three the room, for the three men down for MSA and no one is down right now for. Can we check the damage, the stats of this match? So twenty four thousand and twenty three for Wildfire, while Rampage has well, sixteen thousand and Clunker fifteen. 000. Yeah, this is the reason why it's been so tough for this Icebringer to keep himself alive, you know. Yes, exactly. So the bomb with the Icebringer. Trying to get repair and oh my god that was ooh you know the killer J took the icebringer away from that uh, damage zone and now wildfire killed three people in a row three oh MSA is vanished you know now Humanos will have the chance to advance and to get a lot of field a lot of yardage to uh, yeah to cover. So Daniel Payne and all the, yeah, they came back to defend. Daniel Payne is there, a lot of patience. This is critical for Romero. They have, they, they have to score to force the third game on these finals. So Daniel Payne with time, with patience, they killed Icebringer, so just a Rampage and a, and a Clunker, and here they go, and Romero's Bala didn't score! Oh my God! That was amazing, sensacional for the <laughs> MSA team. So the Clunker saved the day and now he's keeping the bomb with MSA. Yeah, that was a great save by No Name, very well done. Keep them from in the match for a bit longer, but we'll see if they can deal with the pressure because Bala does not stop shooting Balas actually. Yes, they he's... keep hitting an honor kiss with Balas all the time. Yes, bad time faces some good, uh, some uh, good space right now. He's trying to, to yeah, it's the basic. He is trying to advance, and uh, yeah, th that was a critical moment, you know, because if somehow MSA managed to overcome this match and win, it's gonna be that point will be like. The, that, the, the, the key factor for MSA to win, but it doesn't seem that like they have a chance because look at this play. Sawyer got the bomb and Sawyer is the slowest player, uh, the pilot from uh, Humeros, and they are there. You can see that the, 
uh, photon carrying the bomb easily. Photon turned on her special weapon even though there was no one from Honorkiss there. I think it just I should be wanted. faster, you know? Oh, Stronger. that was a good, yeah, that was a good play from the, the Icebringer. Let's see how long Bad Time is able to stay alive this time because every time he rebuilds into the arena, he stays alive for about 10 seconds. Okay, Bad Time almost dying. Let's see if he can, but it, it doesn't. Oh my god, that was less than 10 seconds. Congratulations, Saramans. And that was a great pass for Daniel Pena. Here goes the Daniel Pena with the photon. The Archivester is in the middle of the way, and now, yeah, the Killer J took away the Archivester from Weapon 2 of the Peacemaker. Daniel Pena with the bomb, now he's going to the final line, and finally, we can see some uh, score from the Humerus Bala, and this would mean that they will force the third game. So Daniel Pena with the photo, waiting for the right time. Their team is there, Peacemaker with the youth major. Here goes Daniel Pena, he lost the ball, but he got it back. He's trying to score, he missed it. But Barnes is there, and it's a score! Amazing! <laughs> Humerus Bala with the victory, and we're gonna have the third game. Great strategy from the South American team, right? Yes, as always, uh, really happy to see this in the finals. Yeah, that was, uh, I, 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 I don't know, it was amazing, you know? And it's very cool to, to see how their strategy worked. It is, it is incredible how it worked, you know? Uh, and I, I'm excited to see how they will uh, do right now like w what is the options that they have in the draft well they can have two supports maybe to deal with all that damage because there was a lot of damage that Bala was able to dish out and I'm really excited to see this because this is a match worth of a finals of a metal league so excited to, to see what these teams will bring to the table now because now both of them are on the edge of winning or losing this championship Chancellor yeah, I was reading the chat and yeah, there's a lot of people cheering here and I'm super excited to see it. Now, now Humerus Bala will have to keep this strategy picking in the second place. Because now they have outplayed the, the <coughs> best strategy that we have been seeing from Honorkiss, which was that Icebringer and a lot of control. And clearly that doesn't work against tons of damage. That's, that's difficult. We'll see what they will bring. Yeah, I don't know what they will bring, but it's going to be fun for sure. So remember, this is the finals of the third place. Uh, the, this is the finals <laughs> of the third Metal League. Oh my God, two bombs? Two bombs. Is the, yeah, there's two oh, bombs, you know? Yeah. That's, that's a surprise. That was a surprise. <laughs> that's even more dangerous And they are now. they're spinning, they're turning Does that the mean there's time. two of us, maybe? Yeah, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I don't have two. Two of me. Yeah, I couldn't handle two of you, actually. That's too much. Yeah, it would be too much, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> Death is there. A giveaway of Cachaça? No, we won't have a giveaway of Cachaça. <laughs> but you guys can... We're gonna make a giveaway for the Metal Pass Premium for the next season. Okay? Ooh. So all you have to do is... Uh, take a screenshot of this picture and post in our Discord server. So it's discord.gg slash heavy metal machines. You can post, post on the general chat of your language and you just have to take a screenshot and say, uh, what do you want them to, to well, write? We can make a pose. Okay, yeah. let's make a pose. And... That's the pose? Yeah. All right, that's good. Okay. Um, so if you want to, we're going to make this giveaway on the next live stream. We're going to pick all the names that made that and we're going to... Yes, we have randomly. live streams every Thursday. If you didn't watch our last live stream, it's available on Twitch to see who, what is coming in the next season of the Metal Pass. Okay, but we have to watch the draft. Yeah, let's right? get to the this draft. This will be the last draft, I promise to you. So, Vulture Stargazer banned one more time. Let's see who MSA Anarchist will, play, will pick first. So this will be tough, right? Yeah, they're cheering for Humerus Bala and MSA because they are the two teams on the, on the, what just happened? I, I just noticed yes. I have not been using my Wi-Fi Your here. Your Wi-Fi, <laughs> so yeah, you're screwed, man. Uh, 
let's see who they are gonna pick first. So it's a rampage, okay? They're keeping their strategy. So do you think that Romero, that Romero's Bala will pick Peacemaker and Killer J one more time or Wildfire and Peacemaker to to guarantee the damage? Yeah, that's that's a good question, Chancellor. They have already surprised us once. I don't know what we can expect here, uh, but it seems that um, anarchists are not really thinking of a change, maybe. Hmm? They don't want to change the thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, Killer J, yeah, so they have Killer J. I, I don't know if they are gonna pick Peacemaker or Wildfire. I think they believe that Anarchist can't play Peacemaker. Like, they know that they don't have um, the abilities to play, but even though they played once, yeah, right? Yeah, Peacemaker has been played once by Anarchist. They won that match, but compared to Rampage, Clunker, and Vulture, which they played 44 times Rampage, 32 times Clunker, and 22 times Vulture, one match with the Peacemaker seems too little. Okay, so this will be the last match for, for this day. The great finals, let's see who's gonna win. And I believe that all Metal League's finals we had the third game. You know, it was MSA against Neon, the um, uh, MSA Assembly against Neon on Europe, three games. Um, Roadkill against uh, Hachi Blue on the South American edition, three games, and now um, Humeros Bala against MSA Anarchist, third game. But in all, all editions, the team who had the highest seed has won. Okay. But that, okay, the highest, not necessarily the, the top the one. The top, okay. Yes. So we'll see. Whoa, they got the Peacemaker. Also, they're going for it, they, and that's three interceptors, Chancellor. Yes, that's Rampage, Clunker, and Peacemaker. So they're going to answer bullet with more bullets. Yeah, you see that there are seven available <laughs> interceptors, and five already was taken. I guess no one wants to talk the, about yeah, support or, or transporter. We yeah. might see two teams of only interceptors. Pull damage. Yes, and that's, you know, that's balance. I would pick Stingray just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, it's gonna be fun to see. It's an interceptor game, you know. This is why we made so. Who are you cheering for? Let Whoa! Us in the the oh game. my goodness! So there's only Stingray available now for the interceptor. Man, this is fire against fire. Yes, they are fighting fire with fire. That's amazing. If you want to know who you're cheering for, let us know in the comments with hashtag Anarchus or hashtag Bala to see who you think is going to win. Yeah, it's going to, yeah, this is going to be fun to watch. Uh, and very explosive as but well. But one of those, one of them won't, will not be able to pick full interceptor team, you know? Yeah, but if you think about it, uh, Anarchist, none of their picks is very good at transporting, though. Yeah. While Bala Rampage has and Wildfire and Dirt Devil, Devil, which are, we've already seen that are really good at it. But Clunker, Peacemaker, transporting a bomb is a disaster. Yeah. And Rampage... Oh, it, it's a Black Lotus Oh, here. so they're going for that fast win. Without without uh, repairing. So they're yeah, no using their strategy, their strategy to get the bomb and uh, clear the way with interceptors. Like yeah, the best way to advance is killing everyone in uh, yes. ahead of you. But we'll see if that will happen because Bala has, is also bringing a lot of damage to the table. That Black Lotus, that Karma might not be enough to keep her alive. I don't know if you agree with me, but I feel like this match will be quick. You know, not because they're not balanced, but because it's easy for one of those teams to wipe up the enemies. Like yeah, whoever hits the skills most efficiently will get more time with the bomb and progress yeah. in the arena. So. Are you seeing a photon coming on this last pick? I don't it know, because sense. they have Dirt Devil, you know, maybe they will... We would like to go with the Stingray That pick. would be an advantage for Bala because then they... Whoa, call, Full Metal okay, Judge, okay. That the most... But uh, Full Metal Judge, uh, the most interceptor-ish Yeah, uh, like transporter. the transporter able to deal like the most, most damage. damage. Yeah, you're right. So I believe that Daniel Pena will play with Full Metal Judge, uh, Sawyer with the Daredevil, Bards with Black... Uh, with Wildfire and Ricky with the Killer J.
It would have been interesting to see a photon happening because then they would have some healing and again like the last game they wouldn't have to worry about someone healing the transporter mm -hmm. because photon can take care of herself. Yes, you're right. So uh Let's see who's going to win. Yeah, we were reading the chat, guys. We both, yeah, we're, we thought, uh, we, we, we're very we, curious to see what you're saying, but both of us did it at the same yes, time. Yes, we got a new, a new way to check the comments. So, MSA on your right side of the screen with is the blue team, the Metal Sect Anarchists. They are a new team, but at the same time, they are old players, like veteran, right? And... Uh, that was crazy. Yeah, Birikita just uh, uh, asked us to notice how many interceptors uh, we have on this composition, and this is something that tells us tell us about more uh, uh, a lot about how we are we, how balanced is our transporters and supports. We have to do something on this direction, or at least understand what is the 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 point. What is causing like yes. this, the, these these decisions from these teams to pick these compositions? But nonetheless, it's an interesting game, very explosive game, we'll but, see. Yeah, but at the same time, Roadkill was the team who won with like three supports, less, less Metal League, so yeah. It's good to, to see some changes and different yes, strategies. Different strategies. Uh, definitely, this is a different strategy, right? Uh, yeah, they ban Stargazer, they ban the Vulture, so... Yeah, also no Artipser, no Windrider. That's yes, it. because of the latency as well. Like, Windrider is very good, but with the latency, he yes. has become not that useful. Yeah, even though, like, the teams are pretty used to it and they perform very well, even though they're playing in the North American server. Let's make the most epic final of all time. Right, Blackstar? Let's do it! So, Romero's Bala is the red team against MSA, the blue team, and these will be fun. I'm eager to see these teams in action, and I want to know what's going to happen once they get to the bomb, because that's so, a lot of damage. Wallon we'll is back to the game, and Pups was benched again. Oh. So, I believe that this will bring a, a, a difference on their composition. Especially because they don't have the same exactly characters, you know, they, someone has to play with the Peacemaker. Yes, that's true, Chancellor. Okay, let's see who they're gonna pick, Daniel Pena with uh, the Daredevil, Sawyer with the Full Metal Judge. Okay, they, they swapped their, their picks that I predicted. I, I really don't know why, but it seems... Uh, uh, I think it makes sense for them. I, 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 maybe I don't Do know them yet. Do you think there is a chance that Full Metal Judge will not be transporting, perhaps? Yeah, there is. Maybe they they're are, going to use yeah. uh, Full Metal Judge as an interceptor. Ricky with the Killer J. So on the other side, Surgic with the Rampage again. Wallon will transport with the Black Lotus. So this is why he came from the bench. And Wanking Toss with Peacemaker and No Name with the Clunker. So. Uh, the Clunker and the Rampage, they were there since the beginning, but the news here are the Winking Toss with Peacemaker and Wallon with the... Uh, and as we said before, in this tournament, uh, Anarchist has used Peacemaker only once. They won that match with Peacemaker, but we are not sure of how well they perform. And this is the last match, so there's a lot at stake here. Okay, so... Whoa, yeah, the, the, the guys... <laughs> Yeah, that was very satinish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the guys are very, very. Yes, uh, we're all excited for excited this. Excited for this match, and they were supporting Romero's in a very weird way. But <laughs> it's it's there. Is yeah, they have their right. Okay, so let's see who's gonna win Romero's ball against Metal Sect Anarchist. This will be fun. This is the grand finals of the Metal League North America, the third game. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see that. Uh, can you see that Daniel Pena's motto? Oh, that beautiful Dirt Devil motto, yeah. Yeah, so when he used his youth mate, we're gonna see not a baby, but a daddy shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay? So let's see. Uh, the green light shows on the screen. So Who's gonna win? Humerus Bala or MSA? The first bomb possession is for the Black Lotus as expected. Uh, MSA with the bomb trying to advance and trying to find an open space. 
MSA with the blue on the blue team the, on the bottom of your field uh, on the arena and Humeros Bala with the red side. So one more time, Wallon trying to advance. Uh, he's trying to dodge all the enemy's weapons, and it seems like it's hard for him because he's almost dying. And Bards, oh my God, with the kill and taking the bomb. So Humeros Bala now has the advantage, and their devil is is asking, asking for the bomb. Yeah, but it was Sawyer who got it. So <coughs> who is transporting is actually the uh, Full Metal Judge. Sawyer with the bomb. The Black Lotus will respawn. Yeah, respawn already. So he avoid the weapon three from Rampage and the Clunker's hook. And now Sawyer is trying to advance. And now he is gone. But Daniel Pena has it. And now comes the Daddy Shark for no one, just for me. Thank you Where so much. Where is the doo 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 doo? Sensational. Yeah. So yo, that was amazing. The Black Lotus died because of the respawn of the wildfire and now the 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 rampage is trying to protect the bomb why they can't advance so rampage is almost dying and i believe ooh, almost <laughs> that was too close yeah that was too close and that's why he used his nitro too because he saw that dirt devil was getting close and if you're a rampage and you stay uh stopped and their devil uses his weapon too, that's very dangerous. Yeah, it seems like Humeros will... Yeah, they, they won! They, they won, they, they actually killed three of the enemies. So now it's time for Humeros to advance on the opponent's field. Only the Clunker there, and the Clunker got it. But then Sawyer makes a pass for himself, I believe. No, it was on the dropper and the Clunker got it, but the bomb is there. And oh my God, what's happening? It's a back, uh, they're passing backwards. <laughs> I, I don't know what's the there. Clunker it's, really wants that. Bomb that too. Clunker is it's kind of crazy and some, somehow, <laughs> you know. Uh, Black Lotus with the bomb. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, double tap of panic. Uh, Wallon trying to advance. The Dirt Devil was there, uh, Black Lotus reflected with Karma, Black Lotus is almost dying, there's no support for, for Black the Black Lotus. Black Lotus has used Nirvana too. Nirvana, okay, now this is why she's advancing so fast. Uh, one more time with two dashes, but it wasn't enough, the, the Killer J came, the Rampage took the, the Killer J for a ride, and now Humanos uh, Bala is trying to intercept with only the their devil. The other players were spread around the whole arena. Uh, Black Lotus with the bomb yet. So let's see what they're capable of uh, since they don't have a support and this match has no support for each side. So Black Lotus one more time and this was a killer J trying to kill with the passive but nice usage of Karma. Yeah. Oh that was Karma. I didn't see the Karma like did, that didn't hit. Yeah, so uh, the Clunker took more, took the white fire for Walk this time. Uh, Black Lotus advancing. There's a lot of interceptors right now. Black Lotus somehow is still alive and who uh, help? Oh, dear, this is the 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 ultimate from Full Metal Judge, but it wasn't effective enough, you know. Full Metal Judge on the offensive mode is trying to attack the Black Lotus. Black Lotus is still alive. A lot of patience. It seems like the MSA will will uh, make a nice usage of their patience to win this match and they are gone so Homeros has only two players against four from MSA this could be the first goal of the day and Wallon almost the bomb is there and Rick is saved but Rick is dead and now Rick is gonna try to kill Black Lotus has it and let's see if this is a score and it is Sensational, amazing score from the MSA team. And yeah, the, it's not looking very good for Humeros Bala because the pressure is on them. They're not really able to stay alive for long and Anarchists are doing a great job with this composition. Can Maybe we can take a look at the stats and see how the damage is going. The damage, okay, yeah, it's very... Very balanced. Yeah, it's I very believe. similar. Okay, they they, they can't uh, deliver the same kind of damage that Sawyer used to with the with the the peacemaker. But it's fun that Killer J killed the Rampage, and Rampage is trying to use the shovel to protect himself, but it wasn't enough because uh, Killer, Killer J, J made a turnaround. Yes, 
uh, oh, now he's coming back. This Black Lotus is coming back and trying to, I don't know, repair himself. But they, they don't have, they don't have support. You know, he's just delivering the bomb closer to the enemy. So Bards with the bomb. Now it's a wildfire with, with it. And it's the second time that Bards and Black Lotus's possession of the bomb in the middle of the arena with weapon too. Bards is really uh, sharp with that weapon. Yes, he is. So Sawyer with the bomb, so now it's the time for the transporter of the, the Humeros Bala team. Both teams has, have three different uh, interceptors and one transporter, so no support for them. Let's see who, which uh, transporter team is the best, you know, uh, interceptors team is the best. Sawyer got the bomb back, uh, Bards was almost dying, now he's, he's, uh, he's dead. And Sawyer is trying to advance somehow in the middle of that a madness uh, of transport of interceptors now the miss oh that was tough two two uh yeah he's trying in a row. to survive against the peacemaker and a rampage those two are huge and they will not let fumato judge pass and and uh, the both transporters die you know they they're not having a, a an easy life so far so now the clunker has it and the clunker is looking for his Black Lotus to pass this bomb. Lotus is uh, reborning right now. Uh, the Clunker is almost dead and he tried to pass, but it was the Killer J who got it. And now it's going to be tough for them to find a, an open space to pass. Their devil with the, the bomb and now one player remains for the MSA and it's the Rampage there. So it seems like the, the Their devil will have a free way to go and here comes Rufus with the respawn effect for the MSA. Uh, Daniel Pena with the Baby Shark and he scores! 101, what a match! This is the third game and it's a tie. Yeah, it's too dangerous when you get like most of your team wiped uh, when the other team is right before the delivery line. So that was too bad for anarchists. Okay, so let's see who's gonna score for the second time. One for MSA Anarchist, one for Romero's Bala. Very tough match for both teams. A very good show of competitiveness. Competitiveness. I, I can't even pronounce it. We all got what you need. Yes, yes you got it. Don't worry. From both teams. So yeah, that was like a mess. Uh, Wallon with. Oh, that was a good usage of the weapon too. One more time, but he's in trouble and he's going to. Yeah, he's just trying to dodge, he's not trying to advance, to move forward, you know. This Black Lotus is having some hard times to advance. Uh, Wallon, one more time, trying to deal with now the transporter. And the, the Rampage is gone, and Wallon is still there. So one player down for the... Uh, whoa, the, the, four just, <laughs> the whole gang the is whole there gang was there. Black Yeah, Lotus. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Uh, I don't know how they, they, they've done that. And Wallen is just driving around, not seeming like it's going to die. Not seeming like he soon. wants to advance. He's waiting for his teammates to, to kill everyone, but it, they are not doing that, you know? And Wallen now with a low HP, and he's trying... Oh my god, that's going to be tough for him. And... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was close! Oh my god, Clunker is gone. Wallon is with low HP, but he has an advantage and he's moving further on the enemy side, trying to... Oh, he's, he can't. He just can't. You know, he's always coming back and showing a lot of patience. He reminds me of Executor on the finals of the Metal League on Europe, you know. But now Sawyer got it and Sawyer is advancing with the ultimate ready to use. Here goes the Full Metal Judge. Uh, Sawyer with good control of the bomb, uh, the clunker picked the, the wrong person, Sawyer lost the bomb for the, the peacemaker and yeah it's going to be tough for them, the, the, the um, uh, Black Lotus has the bomb one more time and this match is, I don't know with, with how many uh, how many minutes, yes 8 minutes, so it, it's, 
it's tough for both teams, I believe, because it's one on one and not none of them seems to have like a clear advantage, you know? Yes, and this is a very good example of what a Black Lotus can do. It's such a slippery pilot, it's hard to hit and so fast. Wallum is playing Black Lotus very well, just not able to progress in the arena because, you know, the, the arena is on fire. Yeah, it is. Uh, Black Lotus with the bomb uh, now in the enemy's field. The clunker came with the youth mate. So good one for the clunker. One more time, the Black Lotus trying to uh, advance, waiting for his teammates. And now the youth made of Peacemaker, but it doesn't seem like it's a clear advantage for the MSA. They are trying to advance one more time. Uh, MSA is moving forward. Yes, I believe that they are. Um, Actually not, you know, like I was waiting for the right moment to narrate at that moment, but it doesn't seem to... Oh, now now he got it. Now Wallen is advancing and he's going to the enemy's final line. He was hit by Weapon 2 from Killer J, but somehow he was managed to be alive and there's only a, a, a Dirt Devil there and here comes the score, maybe? Yes! 2-1 for MSA Anarchy, so they are one goal away from winning the Metal League North America. Yeah, it seems like when uh, Anarchists get close to the score, there is very little that uh, Bala can do because they seem to somehow lose control of what's happening. Okay, 2-1 for MSA, who Metals must uh, score on this round to... Uh, to take it to the fifth round. So let's see who's gonna pick the first bomb and his Black Lotus one more time. So Wallon with patience, and it seems like being patient uh, is, rewar is a rewarding thing for them because Wallon is somehow uh, using the self repair to have full health. You yes, know? <laughs> this Black Lotus clearly does not need a support because she's able to get out of trouble and have her self repair activate to <coughs> restore it. Yeah, so now Wallon trying to advance, the Sawyer is almost dead, no, Sawyer is dead now. So three interceptors trying to get this, uh, this Black Lotus and they were not enough. Daniel Payne is gone, so now Pometos is down by two men. Trying to advance again with this advantage, it's, a, it's the proper time for them to advance. Almost in the dropper, but somehow Wallon was able to... Uh, Hit, step away. Yeah, step away the control. Oh, that was a nice weapon one from White. Oh, and here comes Daddy Shark. Do 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 do. What a youth mate from the Dirt Devil. Oh my God. Turn I, uh, things around. Yes, I was waiting for this moment my whole <laughs> life, my whole career. You know, uh, that, because the 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 pilot the, the the motto is maybe the baby shark, but that ultimate that is definitely the, That's definitely the daddy daddy, daddy shark. shark. Yes, um, yeah, that that say special ready, Chancellor. Yeah, this is my special. So uh, Sawyer with the bomb now. Uh, Bala is trying to score to force the fifth round. Bala overcome too many times this time, and now he's using the uh, special weapon to get some uh, shield. Here goes Sawyer, the, oh, that was, oh my god, that was tough for both teams. First the Rampage got the bomb, then the, the Dirt Devil killed the Rampage. And uh, that Black Lotus has low HP and now he's going backwards, trying to repair himself. And now reflecting with Karma all the weapons and using it, he, that was, that was definitely amazing. You know, he's almost dying and now finally, oh, the Killer J. You know, one team picks the bomb and the other lo lose it again, so it's hard for them. And now Rampage is almost dying, and yeah, their devil got it, but their devil lose it. And it's it's just a mess, you know, they're all fighting for it. And Peacemaker with uh, 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 like na almost nothing life uh, was able to pa pass the bomb for the Black Lotus. And these Black Lotus, it seems like they, he really loves to go backwards to repair himself. Yeah, and that's something we actually see uh, mostly the European community do, which is go back to have a, like a breathing room when they're Ooh. transporting. So Killer J got the bomb, now Killer J will pass the bomb to Sawyer, but 
You know, there was not a good pass and he just left there. Peacemaker got it. Oh, he's dead. What a play from Winking Toss sniping that Killer J from very far. Great so, shot. Yeah, great shot now. The ultimate from from um, Full Metal Judge, but it wasn't enough. Sawyer is down, so Black Lotus has now two men uh, in advantage from uh, Humedus Bala. One more time, the Black Lotus has the bomb and has the advantage of keeping it with the, the full life. So now a lot of damage came to this Black Lotus. It was not enough. Uh, Sawyer tried to kill Can it. we check the damage table to see how these teams are burning the arena down? Yes. So 18,000 for Daniel My Pena, goodness, that's a 16 lot of damage for Wallon. For everyone. The, the most damage, dangerous pilot for the damage point of view was... Oh, what a youth made from Bards! I would say that the most dangerous uh, pilot for MSA was Black Lotus actually reflecting all that damage. Yeah, it's a lot of bullets and <laughs> explosions that Black Lotus can uh, reflect with Karma. Mm -hmm. So Sawyer with the bomb now going into the middle of the arena. There is a clunker trying to intercept Sawyer, and it seems like Humerus had a, a good way, a, a good moment to advance towards. So Sawyer is still with the bomb, dodging the hook, trying to find a space. It seems that it's hard for him. He's almost dying, so he. He tr he's trying to get some shield, but Black Lotus got the bomb again and now he's using the ultimate to move forward one more time, trying to repair, that. yeah, that, that is going to be tough for the Black Lotus, but yeah, somehow he was able to get the bomb back and Daniel Pena killed with the ultimate, the Peacemaker, so no Peacemaker for the Anarchists. Yeah, this is <laughs> really a match. Both teams are struggling so much because there's so much damage to deal with. And yeah, Homero's Bala trying to reborn and go back to the game and trying to get this bomb away from that Black Lotus one more time. A lot of karma usage there. And this is why this Black Lotus is top damage for his team. Uh, Wallon one more time being able to reflect damage. And whoa, that was a good shot. And now finally the Black Lotus is dead and, and uh, um, Wildfire is carrying the bomb, it's Bards with the bomb carrying it and Clunker took it with the Hawk, but Sawyer was there just waiting for it and Sawyer has the youth made weapon ready to use at any time. So let's see if Sawyer is gonna use now, yeah, he's using, so he's, he's shooting everyone, he's shooting the Peacemaker and now Sawyer is able to continue it, Bards is almost dying, Daniel Payne is always, almost dying, but the Rampage is almost dying as well. And there you go, three interceptors, two interceptors and one transporter against the MSA. Here comes the Humerus Bala trying to be the government, trying to take down the anarchists. So Sawyer with the bomb trying to advance, they killed the Peacemaker, here goes the Bala and it's a score! We're gonna have the fifth round. Every Metal League final has a lot of emotions and surprises. Chancellor, I think you've summarized this match very well with what you just said. Everyone is almost always almost <laughs> dying <laughs> all the time. This yeah. Did, did you notice my joke saying that Romanus Bella was trying to be the government to take down the anarchists? <laughs> okay, oh so let's see who's gonna take the first bomb, the, the last bomb possession, the last first bomb possession of this <laughs> Metal League. So it's Wallon with the, the Black, Black Lotus and the Clunker is gone one more time and Black Lotus is trying to advance, but there's a lot of damage, and one more time we're gonna see it becoming harder for this Black Lotus. So, almost dying, but there's interceptors all around, and now it's the Dirt Devil trying to do his job, <coughs> and now the Transporter with Full Metal Judge, and yeah, it's not, that was not a tough, uh, uh, an easy life for uh, that, that Black Lotus, right? Yeah, it's a very tight spot to be in. Both teams are under a lot of pressure all the time here with all these skills that they have to dodge. 
and both teams have two scores so one more and we will know who will win or who will lose Chancellor. okay wallon with the bomb one more time now it's there's a uh, uh, the, the path was blocked by a lot of mines from their devil wallon advantage advancing could be this time the goal from msa anarchies they are very um they're showing some good moves here uh sawyer with the youth mate trying to kill but it, it, there was the limit, you know, that was the limit, literally. And Killer J got the bomb first for the uh, the Homero team. So Sawyer is trying to carry now. The Peacemaker is almost dead. Everyone is almost dead, like I said before. And Sawyer has full life. So here comes the, the youth mate, but the Rampage didn't move. So Peacemaker is almost dying, but Sawyer doesn't want to kill anyone. He wants to score. And the Clunker used the special weapon to got the bomb back to his team but it was killer j with ricky trying to get it and ricky is almost dying and then daniel pena took the pass and daniel pena with the 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 baby shark dirt devil is advancing and trying to score and leaving hazards for his enemies and now he's gone but ricky is there and ricky is dead and Rick is trying to kill another people with another person with him. But yeah, there, there's too much things to say because this game is frenetic. <laughs> he has so many things going on. Black Lotus is advancing now to deliver the bomb. Black Lotus has Nirvana ready, so the, it's a great distance. Uh, Black Lotus is able to cover. When he she uses it. Her so own yeah. Time. Oh, that that Killer J weapon was like the, on the right moment. Wallon with the dashes. One more time. One more dash. Here goes Wallon trying to escape, trying to go further. Here goes Wallon one more time. A lot of damage reflecting, trying to dodge. He's he's not being able to avoid all the damage you know and now he's one more time with low hp and trying to advance but th that killer j was dead and almost took the bomb i don't know how but he tried and the dirt devil has the bomb and is trying to advance and he's leaving more hazards for the rampage and one more time daniel Pena makes the pass for the pass for uh, the sawyer full metal judge so let's see what's happening right now because Sawyer has the ball and Humero's Bala didn't uh, didn't step very further into the enemy's uh, side. You know they 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 struggle to advance and one more time the Black Lotus has it. Yeah, and you can see that the teams are very focused at delivering the bomb, especially Humedus Bala. They are not wasting any time chasing the, the other pilots for the kill. So I've seen that Peacemaker leave with just, with just a slick of his health so many times, but uh, Sawyer is very focused at going forward and taking the bomb out of their side of the arena. Okay, one more time, Sawyer pursuing the Black Lotus, almost dying. Now he he's almost dying for real. He went to the yeah. To we the have weapon. many levels of, of almost, almost dying, dying going yes. on here. I believe that uh, we're gonna we can have like a meme for uh, Miss Full Screen on uh, social media <laughs> almost uh, next dying. week. Almost dying levels, you know. <laughs> Daniel Pena with the bomb. Um, one more time. Now it's time for Homeros try to uh, advance. They. Like I said, they this round was tough for them. They didn't have the bomb for much time, and Peacemaker just used his weapon. Oh, one more time the Daddy Shark, but no one, uh, no one uh, fall fell in that bait. And Daniel Pena one more time. Now he's trying to, to um, he's trying to carry because he can jump. It's his passive. And one more time, their devil trying to advance and rampage took everyone. So it's gonna be a Black Lotus game one more time. I'm, I'm I think I, I said one more time, uh, times enough. You know? Yes, but we we love it. It's one more time of many good <laughs> things. So keep them coming, Chancellor. Okay, Black Lotus with low HP coming very deep into his own uh, field, and oh, that sniper, that was amazing. Yeah, great amazing. predict from Sawyer. Yeah, Sawyer did it. Exactly. I don't know if it was on purpose, but uh, it was definitely beautiful. Three you of know? them hit a black lotus going yes. forward. Chills, that was... literal chills. Uh, the devil with the hawk, he missed it. Uh, black lotus is almost died. Whoa, nice weapon Whoa. kill. And now two, three men down for MSA, and this is the perfect chance for Homeros, you know? They have to advance it if they want to win, but Clunker was perfect. 
And oh, that killer Jay, that, that, that shark one more time. Sawyer with the bomb going to the last threat line. Here goes, here goes Sawyer. He's going to score. Could be the last score. And Rampage. Rampage saved the day. Try to pass. Black Lotus has it. Oh my God. That was so close. And Black Lotus is going against his own goal now. This is not possible. Here goes Black Lotus. Wallen, full life. Now he's going to avoid. Oh, that's that bars wildfire was amazing. Oh my God, One was more close. time, another a lot of people dying, and this rampage has the youth mate. You know? And this rampage now is going to his own goal. And what is happening? Oh, good clunker, good clunker, good move. And the Rampage trying to pass the bomb. And the Clanker took it, but the Clanker will die this way. And the Clanker didn't die. But the Peacemaker got the youth mate. And this is incredible. Uh, hard to, to, to predict, you know. Almost Humero's Bala scored, but it, was that, it wasn't that time that they were um, uh, able to do. Yes. Yeah, can you imagine the pressure these teams are suffering with so many abilities and... That was so close to them. You have to keep a clear mind to be able to get back, come back from that situation. Yeah, Def called this match the Third World War, you know, because, <laughs> whoa, this is a bug, but we're not going to talk no, about that. Yeah. No, it wasn't a bug. I, I think. think it was, but okay. No, he didn't. He didn't. The, the bomb didn't pass. He, he got stuck. Okay, now I got it. Uh, Killer J tried to, 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 to hit that Black Lotus, but I didn't notice. And yeah, I didn't notice that the Black Lotus was full life. Now one more time, Sawyer trying to deal some damage. Black Lotus has the, the Nirvana ready, a special weapon. The damage is massive for the Dirt Devil, 32. And Wildfire, thousand. they both, they're both on the 30. So thousands. even without Peacemaker, Humero's Bala, is, they were, they are able to provide a lot of damage to, and, to yeah, do a lot of damage. Yeah, apparently, actually, Killer J is not dealing a lot of damage, and I don't know if that's expected of that Killer J, because he might be focusing on controlling the other team. Yeah. But Killer J's damage was 19,000 only. Whoa, this is, yeah, this is low damage. Okay, Wallen with the Black Lotus. I, I, I think I lost the count of times that I, 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 I've, I've said that he is with low life and he's trying to recover and he's going backwards and you know it's it's just I think it's like uh, yeah I think this is like whoever makes the first mistake big mistake will be punished because both teams no are, one wants to make a mistake you know yeah. they don't want to miss to fail and but it's very it, important it there's will money happen at stake. eventually one of them will make a mistake and the other team will be able to cover the arena again and make the score okay black lotus how uh, how long have this match uh last so far 26 minutes okay one of the 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 longest ones that we have so far uh wallon with black lotus okay so let's see how msa will perform one more time now uh, low life, going backwards. Okay, I, I got you. I got your game, Wallon. <laughs> okay, let's see what you're do, gonna do right now, Wallon. One more time, man. Th he's going like on his own field, trying to repair. This is what happened when Can you don't have support. Can we check bomb possession too? Bomb possession. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa! This is massive. This is yeah. This is just. Seven, 72 percent yeah for because usually when Humero's Bala takes the bomb they're able to cover a lot of ground and then they lose yes. it but they progress they, faster yes they are very objective like yes. they're always trying to score even though they don't have support but this black lotus is struggling to stay alive so what we're seeing is that black lotus stays with the bomb for a long long time but doesn't really go forward mm -hmm. and they uh, yeah and the the Humanos Bala, they are able to pass the bomb a lot of times, you know. They love to pass the bomb between them. Yeah. Uh, okay, Black Lotus now in a most dangerous part of the arena for uh, the first time in a long, long time. And uh, the um, the Full Metal Judge used the special weapon, but it was usually so far. So Wallon, one more time, full life. 
going forward. Let's see who's gonna what's gonna happen right now. Wallon trying to score. This could be the last one, and it is Metal Sect Anarchists are the great winners of the Metal League North America. That was unexpected because suddenly the Black Lotus start to be more objective and just finish the job. Yeah, the Anarchists, the rest of the team interceptors were able to clear uh, Humerus Bala's uh, pilots and then uh, Black Lotus had a clear way to move forward and there you go. Amazing, right? Amazing. That was a very cool match, 73% against 27% from Bomb's Possession and this is it. Congratulations to the Metal Sect Anarchists. They are the great winners of the Metal League North America. So we had Neo Knights at the European uh, Metal League. We had Roadkill on the South America and now the, the Metal, Sect, Metal Anarchist. Sect Anarchists from Europe as well. The second place is for Humerus Bala. The third place is for uh, the Metal Sect Assembly or Humerus Faka? I, I really <laughs> I forgot. Get, oh, Humerus Faka. It was Humerus Faka, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I forgot about the brackets. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think it was too yeah. much Black Lotus dodging <laughs> weapons yes. for my brand. And also, we have two Humerus and two Metal Sects, so it's hard to keep track of all those names. Yeah, so it was amazing. Thank you so much for your attention. And now that I've charged my, my, my special weapon, I can sing finally. So let's sing. Happy birthday to you! It's Sarah Matt's birthday tomorrow, guys! Oh. <laughs> That's what you're doing! Congratulations, you, Sarah Matt! The gift is our community. <laughs> yeah. I love that gift. Thank okay. you. Thank you, everyone. Guys, thank you so much for staying with us. I want to say a special thank you to Rafalino, Black Star, and Aguinaldo from Start Play. It was a pleasure to be here for the third time, and we're going to have more Metal Leagues coming. Stay tuned in our social media channels because we're going to now soon. We are working on a new a new format. way, yes, a new way to a new format to uh, execute the Metal League, and we are getting your feedbacks. So thank you so much for everything, and congratulations to all the participants. Uh, see you in the arenas, and this this week we have the next the new season coming to the have Metal Machines, Knights, Dragons, and the Two Headed Ogre. Okay, Saraman, you want to say something? Thank you everyone, I came here to see good plays, I got lots of good plays that I saw, so I'm happy, thank you, thank you Chancellor, it was great, and yeah. And yeah, okay, <laughs> and with that, yeah, we are ending our broadcast, okay? Yeah! Yeah!